wasn't Mando Rags. You need to learn. M -m -m Mando. Oh Come shit! On. Yeah, I'm still calling it Mando, even though it's Boba Fett. It's the same fucking thing. No, it is. They feel the same. It, they're exactly the same. They're they're dusty, dirty shows. At least we got a nice in in some of um. At least we got in Mando. There was some. They they were in a starship, a nice Imperial ship at the end, and it was clean, and there were lights, you know, and it was like, oh, that's that's nice. Like we're, they're not oh. they're not in some dusty, dirty. West old west style town with mud houses and I go, oh, this is nice. It's like a it's like a civilization here with electricity and stuff. That's cool. Um, at least like what's cool about it, I think, is that with Mando we have like a more heroic character who's trying to do good in the galaxy, while Boba is more of a character that's trying to do good in the galaxy, like through heroism of different kinds. Yeah. yeah. Kind of a neat sort of comparison, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And they, they, one of them has like extremely um, important and valuable like body, like armor. And the other one, well, I mean, you can pretty clearly see that there's a huge difference between the two in that regard. There's a nitpicking and biased. Because you know how one of them has a visor that's sort of like the shape of a T. You know, and has a very distinct look, and the other one is definitely um, <laughs> different than that. I couldn't resist putting out that tweet while we were waiting. Yeah. <laughs> I get like I, I know we complained, but like it, it's really sank in. It's like you can't even you know if you wanted to argue, Boba Fett didn't care about the money. He really just was doing a job, and he hated his masters for having taken advantage of him and never cared. It's like no. Watch the movie. He cares about money quite a bit to the point where he finds bounty hunting is just the fucking most efficient way to get that money. I never the really point. cared for innocent people. He fucking like Darth Vader, like boss of the bad guys, is doing his shit, and Boba's like, "Yo, I might lose some money with you doing this. Best not fucking lose my money, buddy." And Vader's like, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll pay you for any damages." Like he got Vader to say like, that. He had like five lines. <laughs> And, like all of them have been contradicted in this show. <laughs> it's not I even don't the lines. Care about money. Fuck it's you. It's not even characters no, oh, that we get my contradictions notes. of. It's like equipment and like animals. They're contradicting animal behavior. Lame. It is so so lame. They do not give a fuck about what came before. They just want to do new thing. The Tuscans took me in as one of no. No, no they, I mean, they took you in against your will and dragged you across a desert and forced you to... And then the, all of the children beat we'll you, you and the other ones watched in approval as the children all beat you. They were making him dig his own grave. What, what, he was That's digging literally... Up, he's digging up the bulbs. I don't think he was digging he's his He's digging coin. up the black melons. Oh, did I did I misunderstand <laughs> that scene? He was he was digging their water. He was digging for their water. Yeah, they were using was, him as slave it was labor. Slave labor. Yeah, which is arguably well, I'm not gonna say arguably worse. Fucking, I'm not having that conversation right now. I'm just saying that he he was beaten, dragged across the desert, and enslaved and forced to do work for him. Yet they took him Huskins in as one of their own. In. They saved me. Fucking dumb. And apparently, <laughs> black melons. Why are they called that? <laughs> You get that nice crusty. I guess it's not water in there, and and he seems to imply that they are addictive. Great. Maybe that's why the Tuscans behave the way they do because they're all of their hydration comes from some underground addictive substance, and so maybe it does something to their brains. Or... <sighs> what if we get what if we get a scene where Boba's talking to some. Um, some 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 black lady and he's like oh I, I really like black melons and she's like hey and he's like no I mean the, the I grew no, up I mean surrounded by water color. melons of color melons of water mm. so watermelons maybe you never see we got we got <laughs> we're on stream labs first then as an unusual thing we got the the premiers of the Boba Fett's have been getting super chats so we're gonna read them out too. Which will be lining up right, nice and neatly, because we we, we just watched the newest episode. Um, Log. 
And then I'll try and do today's ones, and then go to 165's ones. So many things to do. Let us get started. This relates to quotes from Revenge of the Sith, but adding the word fuck, and someone suggested. Ironic. Uh -huh. He could save others from death, but not his fucking self. Huh. Beautiful. Gandalf bonking, bonking his head in Bilbo's house. Was fuck. I mean, we weren't doing Lord of the Rings, were we? That's cheating. That is absolutely cheating. But I like it anyway. Uh... Oh, is Fringy here or is he muted? Fringy! Are you there? Uh, I know how to get him to come. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, 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 oh no, 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 You get, no, you get no, Fringy no. to come, Rex. You do it, Rex. You know how. Well, he can't come until he arrives. I mean, he can't get here if... I mean, he clearly he's not present if he's not... I mean, I I did the thing. I, I did the call, the Fringy call. He's He has not arrived. He's not here. Does Fringy normally come when you say that? He does. Normally? <laughs> no, 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 normally. Oh, yeah. My oh, partner yeah, asked me to play Dark Souls 3 a month ago. My first Soulsborne game. I beat it today. Used mouse and keyboard the whole time. Skipped all the cutscenes, didn't listen to dialogue, don't know what happened, and can't remember any names. Nine out of ten. Nice. Nice. <laughs> well. That's the way to do it. I wish we could do that with Boba Fett. <laughs> it would just be, you know, boom, boom, and then credits. And be like, oh. Dun, dun, even dun, though... dun, dun, And like, yay, we can go home. Did it. Uh, try to say this. Dude. Try to say this. I don't know how to say that. I'll copy it and paste it in for you guys. You can try. All right, yeah, let's give it a look. Let's give it a give it a so spin. Long. Lento Is that a place in Wales? Nailed it. Oh, everyone, Fringy has come. Hello, Fring. Hi. Yeah. Hi, we're uh we're just doing some super chats. Yeah, no, I, I I figured. And we're reading out. I'm reading out that word. I read out that word down there. That collection and of letters. What is the origin of this word? A super chat. Sure, but I mean, oh, sorry. Beyond the super chat, what is the origin of the word? I have no clue. No a... clue. Hmm. Molly, you've been quote tweeted. It's impossible for people to change ever. Once you are the one thing, you have a belief system. It's impossible to change. Go through a near-death experience, find yourself in the desert. <laughs> I just Christ. like the idea that you, you love money, in a desert. then you go to a desert, and that changes things, bro. That you was are. before I was in the desert. You are who you now are. Now I am post-desert. Do you think he's never been in a desert before? Hey, look. Luke was old. Okay, and he went to a That's desert. True. <laughs> yeah, this is the new. This is the new Lucas old. Boba <laughs> nearly died in the desert. <laughs> See, like this comment here that you're this tweet here. I want to know what is the perspective that he learned, and how is it delivered to him? How did he learn this new perspective, and? What is the new perspective, actually? Because I don't think that's even really been made kind of clear. If anything. He just doesn't seem to care about money anymore. If anything, I could believe that his position on bounty hunting was solidified after what happened to him with the fucking Tuscans. He could be like, fuck all of you. Fuck people, yeah, man. I'm just, yeah, I'm world. just in it for myself. I don't trust but anybody. Maybe, but maybe he meets that one plucky youngster who helps him out. Yep. And he's like, I I need, like, I'm Django now, and I need my Boba. I need, think, you know. Do you think Boba would still have worked with Vader if he found out that uh, in Attack of the Clones, he went around and slaughtered all the men, <laughs> the women, and the children? He's like, you Dude, slaughtered Tuscans. Empire... Those, the sands of Tatooine belong to the Tuscans, Vader. You Dude, can't go doing you that. Do that? Dude, Boba yeah. Fett would take his protege out to the dunes to use Tuscans as target practice. Yes, he would. And to be honest, if Vader had told him about that, he'd have been like, did you get paid for that too? Because, fuck, that's just nailed it, bro. He must have collected the bodies up, right? Tuscans, are, they're small bounties, I... but they piss people off, so... I mean, yeah, if you no, get the Bo whole Boba tribe, here, like, yeah. Boba, Boba hears that Vader did that, and it's like, what? No, you can't. Are they? St where, how? When was this? Where are they? I'll go give them robot parts. <laughs> <laughs> where Where are the Tuscans? Are they safe? Are they <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. 
What's what's great so is you could have you, you could have him out there target pra- you know teaching target practice to his, his you know his little trainee is like now remember when they're on the banthas they're nice and slow they they have a predictable method of movement they're practically stationary but you want to make sure that you want to hit the rider off the bantha because the bantha is valuable right so you don't want to hit it aim high if you're gonna if you're gonna screw up with your aim make sure it's high. Panthers aren't valuable. They're, they they just you find them in the desert and you let them go when you're done, Rags. They're like little trolls. Think, it's weird because you'd think like a horse is valuable. You know, like a beast of burden can be quite valuable. And you'd think doubly so in that kind of a setting and scenario. Like you have yeah, this creature. Yeah. yeah, this you have this creature that is incredibly if you need to use it for its resources, it's there. Like imagine how many people a Bantha could feed if you slaughtered it, right? Yeah. But using it as a beast of burden. It seems to be very sturdy. Um, it can survive in the harsh climate. So just that alone, it rules out most creatures in the galaxy. It just being able to exist in that kind of environment. So, hey, like we're going to take this bantha, we're going to sell it. Or maybe it's just a valuable resource or something. It, or it's good target practice. Like hit him and not the bantha. Uh, he could be really cool, but he's not. He's the opposite of cool. He's lame. I agree. He's very much the opposite of cool. Mm-hmm. And if there's anything I know, it's cool. Um, I grew up surrounded by cool. Mr. Fringy, sorry to contact you through here. This is Streamlabs. But we're in a bit of a pinch. Do you want the goo on the children or in the children? Oh, oh no. no. So I'm just trying right? to use these Streamlabs messages to defame me, I see. Wow. Uh, speaking of incomprehensible things like Lovecraft horror, current Star Wars, Boba Fett, Disney, Australia, <laughs> Fringy's goo, Metal's tears, Rag's grandma technique, Moore's patience with video essays. In conclusion, hey Fringy, don't let the emus win. Uh, yeah, we're we're working on it. The <laughs> things there have been some um, th- things are a bit tense uh, right now on that front, but uh, hopefully we'll we'll pull through it. Dude, that's that's ripe for a TV show, isn't it? Like, the, the, and you show the other side of it, like the emu scientists yeah. who are like, "We've gained a lot of ground, but it's not over." It's <laughs> not, yeah. And tensions they are rising. Still, they still, they still occupy our lands, because the emu, you know, but the emus, you know, you just gotta. It's tense. That's mm-hmm. that's the best way to describe it. Hi, rags. Hello. Loved your speech about D&D on Storytelling EFAP. I would adore a D&D or something like that with Jay, Frog, Muller, and yourself. Please make it happen, you cute doggo. Also, hi, Rag. One day, maybe. Oh, hello. Okay, um, I, glad I, you liked I, it. Hopefully one hand. day it will. Yeah. Metal Saber. What was that? He was, yeah. What, what were you saying? It was just the list. It was everyone in here except me, so I was just like, oh, okay, I get the hint. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, they said frog. You're, you're, you know, that could be you and Fringy in some ways. No, no, he's German. He's the opposite of yeah. a Frenchman. Yeah, M- Mattel, you and Fringy are a joint frog, I guess. That's the oh, new no. law. Yeah. Between you, you are a frog. Uh, he asked Kick Metal. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Go away. Love you, Jay. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so goodbye. <laughs> Just, oh God, Metal! I hate you. I am not joking. <laughs> <laughs> not joking. You are disgusting. Metal, I have jested in past, but not now. Must, must leave this place. I grew up surrounded by jests. <laughs> Born in it, molded by. It. He needed to say that about water. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hello, I just finished Order 166 EVAP, and it was a lot of fun to listen to you guys and get your thoughts on Plinkus Review. I know it's January, but Merry Christmas! Merry Hello. Christmas! Hello! Hi, Merry Hello. Christmas! Belated Merry hmm. Christmas. Uh, hello there. First time donator despite being possibly the biggest admirer of everything you do. EFAP surpassed everything media related for me. I'd rather loose every film I hold dear than this podcast. Please never tire, good sir. Also, hi Rags and Frogo. Wow. Hey, hello. thanks for the kind hey. words. I praise, man. Wow. Someone said, like, you know, Fringy and Rags die or you lose all your favorite films. I'd be like, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but you gotta go. <laughs> Look, okay? He's pretty good. 
Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I like the <laughs> idea of just as Rags is there gargling on his own blood. Just, oh, it's like, look, the prestige, all right? <laughs> it's just a really cool movie. I just, I really like it. I mean, to be fair, not trying to open a huge conversation, but it would be a lot to think about if you wipe out all of movies that are good. Well, I guess that would be like, a what question would that do of, uh, culturally, you know? Well, there, there is a question of the utility for the whole world, right? Yeah. The stories that inspire people. I mean, because you can even go back as far as like Odysseus and things like that. Just archetypal stories about heroism that are just gone. And, you know, it's Poems, bringing in rags worth uh, that, I don't know. Parables. Yeah. Maybe rags yeah. does have to sit there gargling and pull <laughs> his own blood to <laughs> ensure <laughs> that, <laughs> ensure that uh, the prestige may live. Sorry, Sorry rags. No. Nope. So, Streamlabs, caught up. Now. No, you can't just say yeah, no. Yeah. Nope. Now, Boba Fett super chats. Here we go. These, these are from the premieres of the three right. Boba Fetts. So, you got Remember Star Wars? Boba Fett. Yeah. yeah. Boba Fett. Um, this one says, remember seismic charges? We did this episode. <laughs> yep, we yeah. sure did. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. So cool. Wait, did it even do the noise properly? I don't, I swear, I don't Probably. remember. I it was we muffled. Were, we were complaining it was muffled. over it. So. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was in a place. Where it, was it was a bit was... muffled because of all the sand. Yeah, and the, yeah, the... So it's not good then, Hate right? sand, it's, it muffles seismic charges. Do you guys remember yeah. um, when we covered that episode, I grabbed a clip <laughs> in the editing from some other podcast that covers these episodes in the similar way that we do. Uh, they do, like, live reaction stuff. And, like, when the seismic charge went off, they all went, Oh, yeah! No, oh, my God! Ah! It, it... <laughs> it's, it, it, it is sad. You guys are the reason um, it's all guess... shitty. In a certain sense, it must be nice to be able to just sit down and watch it, and like that is enough. Um, Guess so. You know, it must be nice to be fucking dumb. <gasps> I I can't imagine having such low standards for watching or just taking anything in. I guess it's just a thing of we're watching for different reasons because I certainly like when I see stuff that I recognize. Yeah, cool Fringy, we're not like watching that. to hear a sound also, effect. Imagine, um, imagine how cool that would have been um, if it was an, if it was a satisfying payoff that made sense in the story and was motivated by character and all those well, kind of things. Well, that, that's the that idea, cool. right? Is that hopefully we can recognize the difference that there is a meaningful difference between simply having the thing uh, as opposed to using it again, but in a brand new way that informs something in terms of character or plot. Just you know, meaningful. That's that's, <laughs> that's all I want. Yeah, the use of this like, item is a it, it is used to teach us about the world or the story or the characters or explain something about how people behave. Like the seismic charge being like imagine the seismic charge noise actually being the thing that signifies oh he's made a decision to drop a seismic charge holy shit this is this is meaningful for his character that means something to the story. Yeah. Let's give him a limited supply of seismic charges. Let's establish that he only has one early in the season. Let's check off that seismic charge. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be cool if they had to Climbing like climb charge. out of it? If if the seismic charge like they're not supposed to be deployed in atmosphere or something like that, um, uh, or something oh, like that. And yeah, so they had to, higher, yeah. yeah, they had to get it out manually or it got stuck when they were trying to use it. If we can get one and drop it in, you know, something like they. Like, there was a plan that they had to do. Like, it, it's trying to pull it in, but because of the sand in the pit, it can't physically pull in the Slave 1 ship. So they have to get out the back or something and climb onto the back of the ship as it's shaking and carry it together and then to chuck it over the side. So you can have some tension where you know what happens if they fall. Well, I guess if they fall, he can just get out again, right? No, Like, if he falls and gets eaten by the Sarlacc, he just... He just, um... Press the button just that does everything they need. Oh, do. wait, no, he doesn't have his uh, equipment, though. He just, he just, he no, just like, stab it, right? The limitation well, of the... Hmm? Is, to be fair, yeah, his stick, his stick is more impressive than... Uh, <laughs> uh, seismic like, charge. Yep. Yeah. The limitation... No, they gave, they gave this little seismic charge as a limitation. The button is too far away to press. <laughs> oh, right, of course. <laughs> too far away yeah. to press from the pilot's seat. You have to you know, get out of the, the seat, yeah. That's a good, that's a good design. What a fucking stupid show. It really is a stupid, okay. yeah. stupid, stupid no, show. No, I love it. I think it's great. You guys are just being mean. Yeah. No, no. you. Um, 
Five minutes of watching this EFAP and I'm already 100% sure this show is ten times dumber than Mando. I think we may be having the issue of forgetting how stupid Mando was. Yeah, Mando was really bad. It was very, very bad. We have a whole bunch of minis on it. It was really stupid. So it's the same shit. Same fucking creators doing the same writing. Maybe this one hurts more because we like Boba. No, we don't. Maybe, yeah. I don't like Boba anymore. No. They, they've managed to make me I mean, not like- he's a like, nicer that's... person. He's a less interesting character, but you know, I, I, I'd much rather meet this Boba. Oh yeah, me too. I'd much rather meet this Fuck Boba. Yeah. Cause yeah. He, I mean, he'd probably like, he probably, I could, I could punch him in the face we and could have hire a me. He'd hire yeah. you, he'd give you a job. He'd hire you. <laughs> you have guts, that, how kid. How cool the banter's on, how much he likes Looks him. like you need a job. Yeah, he's it's like, feeding his cute little banter. Yeah. I, I could enslave him, and he'd he'd defeat a gun train for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then That's instead of dope. then he wouldn't want his freedom. He'd Dude, want to be a part of my family. Imagine what he'd do for you if you like just fucking chopped his head off. <laughs> he'd probably like. Dude, things he would do. He'd probably suck your dick. Yeah. I was surrounded by fathers with their heads chopped off. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up with them. Uh, so I'm gonna give Rags a belly rub. He needs something good to come out of all the pain he endures for us. Oh. Yes, you have no idea. I um, only wish that there was a way for me to give you the experience that it gives to me. I want your mind to know what the sensation is that I feel when someone does that for me. It, It's just, it's an insurmountable task to say that verbally, to truly try and convey that experience. I actually ended up showing some clips of, uh, of us reacting to the third episode on uh, Real BBC. And oh, yeah? The... The desperation for him to have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I like when Boba hires Chris Anton, he has his gun. <laughs> it's like, there yeah. it is. Why didn't you bring that when you were going into fucking combat? No, silly. Just fuck that. Uh, he, did he kind of forget his gun? <laughs> Boba Fett just kind of forgot his gun. Just kind of. His many guns. Gun train or McMuffin train. No, no, Boba forget- in that scene, Boba forget didn't forget his gun. He was in a back to tank. He had a reason not to be armed. It's, uh, the Wookiee, whatever, uh, Chris. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't I no feel like if I was Boba Fett, I would have a weapon in the back to tank with me. Maybe, maybe, actually, yeah. Pretty maybe, cool maybe weapons, maybe they get flumpy in a back to tank. They heal maybe. the knife to make it blunter. Even but I mean, he, he is on yeah. Yeah. Hey, so you... I mean, I mean, it's a different kind of whetstone, you know. I mean, like, you know, um, oh, he I'm does so he... disappointed. Wait, huh. what? I thought I was onto a fun joke there. That the band, th that the tank is a whetstone, and nobody I appreciated. Get it. All right. Whetstones I'm... are what you use to sharpen blades. And oh, I know yes. that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Liquid. I don't know what the joke now, is. Now, now explain why it was. Oh, funny. wet, wet, as a in like wet liquid is stone. wet. It's liquid. Yeah, a wet you put stone. it in liquid. I see, it's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's a really sound joke, but nobody laughs, so I, I don't know what that makes it. I wasn't no, no, impressed. I, I, if if I the stone that. part matched in some way, I probably would have been. I think what if you mean, said, a like, it's a stone. literal wet stone, it would have, like, popped, because, you know? Yeah. yeah. We yeah. talked about this when we watched, uh, we watched Peacemaker, everybody, and we were talking about the idea of how, you, you know, you start with a joke, and you gotta you gotta work at jokes, you know, like they don't just you can't just uh you can't you can't just lead with that, you know, like you gotta you there gotta work to a, your there jokes. needs to be a layer, right? Um the reason why I'm saying this is because we have not enjoyed Peacemaker. Well we um, we enjoyed the joke where he said he killed white people. We didn't I mean enjoyed it, like we didn't it laugh, like the but we enjoyed it. We were like, that was nice. Me, and that like in terms of the structure, but that was it. So he says he kills white people, and we're like, "Well, yeah, yeah." yeah. Someone said that he kills like he he kills minorities. And he <laughs> says, "I kill plenty of white people," and I think which that, is a funny that, joke. Like that was the only thing that got. It was like, oh, but otherwise, it's been pretty disappointing. I was like, in a scene where I was already laughing, that joke would have made me laugh harder, you know? Yeah, but sure, but it didn't get me on its own. Not not super happy with Peacemaker. That's a generous way to say it. We, that is generous, actually. It's been yeah. a while. The show made us quit mid-episode. Yeah. yeah. Bonus points if you guess the scene. Yeah, I looked so, at well, the Well, I, I mentioned it on Real BBC, so some never. people will know. They'll cheat. Uh, yeah. It was a unanimous decision as well. It was all like, oh, yeah, wow. I made yeah, sure we, all, we all know. 
Mall we, applause. We all like, agree. No, it's like, yeah, no, we, we can stop, right? And it's like, yeah, <laughs> that's it. We're done. But which one of us? I think one of us didn't even want to go through with the, that episode, right? I Me, think I didn't want to go through that episode. Another shot. I was willing to go until they, when they, when they crossed the line, I was like, ah, I'm done. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, gun train or McMuffin train. There is a choice here for preference. I would rather a gun train. I think that's gun uh, train's pretty great. I'll have a gun train. It's pretty good. The biggest weakness, obviously, is Tuscan Raiders on speeders. But other than that, mm. yeah. So um. This is a bit of a tangent. Uh, Halo Infinite's got a new event that's like cyberpunk inspired. And uh, as I sit here and look at some of the stuff you can unlock, I do think about, man, the, when you talk about like the death of art styles, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, like. Wait, let's have a look. Wow, well, because I've got a bunch of like cyberpunky neon color schemes and a little like a hologram mohawk that you could put on your helmet. Oh. Um, no. Well, I, I kind of like them as things, but it's like, they're not particularly... Like, how long is it going to be before everybody looks ridiculous in this game? Oh, what the fuck is Depends this? how much money they can charge. Well, yeah, it's well, like, they've all of these the cost money, so... Week. They, no, some of them are free. Oh. Some. Lower, they have lowered the prices for, uh, for, for this store, but they're still higher than I think is reasonable for skins. Well, yeah. But it, it seems like at this point I am totally I I am not representative of uh of the people who buy microtransactions because it seems like we're okay with the prices. Well, yeah, because we are, you know, we make well, the decisions. I'll, I'll, well, no, it's just I don't know. I guess at this point, you know, like if you're like if you're 15 years old, there have been you know microtransactions in your game since you probably started playing them. Yeah, um, that's sad. You're used to it at this point. Well, yeah, because, you know, give it a few more years, and we're talking about, like, entire generation who are just unfamiliar with, uh, not with, being, uh, yeah. the way that it used to be, yeah. <laughs> Would it be funny if they were like, my first game was Dead Space 3, and you're like, no. That, that is, well, oh, yeah, no. yeah, that's, 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 uh, that's gotta be scary, doesn't it? Uh, fantastic content yesterday, you guys. Really nailed it. Fringy, I agree that character is a great jumping off point for a story. Metal, Kratos is also my favorite character. Nice. Thanks. I, oh. uh, I really enjoyed that episode. It was a funny, yeah. fun, fun one. Um, I found it super interesting. Though Boromir and Faramir are great as well. Thank you. No problem. Oh, yeah, they are pretty great. Time. A lot of really positive feedback about the storytelling one, if we call it that. Yes. Yeah. Well, I can imagine that there are a decent chunk of people who watch FIFAP who also have an interest in writing and just creative enterprises. Yeah. And so, in that sense, and especially to have, like, Doomer and, and John on as well mm -hmm. to talk about it. Both very interested in writing as well. Yeah. Uh, guys, can any of you explain the thought process behind Boba Fett changing his behavior as the most relentless bounty hunter in the galaxy to honorable warrior with so little a push? No. Shown? Not really, no. no. Why would we explain that? Well, he's old. He nearly died oh, yeah. in the sand. He went to the desert. That changes a bit. The Sarlacc pit has psychic fleems. True. True. Seems like a lo loving style jump in character development. I don't know if they meant to say loving, but um, yeah, that's kind of something that we keep returning to, and it keeps getting worse as the episodes go by. Um, I don't know why they think they've justified that change, but they haven't come close. And they're really relying on fans to just be like, I mean, he did go he to the desert. He nearly died in the desert. Yeah. Uh, shut up, Mola. He misses his dad. Well, I guess he, yeah. I mean, I'm curious if we'll, oh, that's how we can get more flashbacks. We haven't done Camino yet. Yeah, we still got Camino. You're right. Oh. We're going to definitely see Django. He's, he's going to show up. Knife is a stick-like weapon. I guess, yeah. uh, in a certain sense. I mean, it is it is the evolution of stick, but... Mm -hmm. From a certain point of view. From a certain point of view, yeah. From a certain point of view, the sticks are evil. What, <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here? Maybe oh, the you... sticks are in cahoots with the lizards. Like, that's their method of propagating themselves throughout the galaxy. The yeah. lizards bring the people to get, get the sticks, that then make the sticks stronger. And then the sticks are like, Haha, I'm alive, I'm gonna get uh, you." I agree with your conspiracy theories, Fringy. I'm not saying that it's true, I'm just saying it might be a possibility. 
Uh, I mean, that's I'm just asking you know because you you just know that if you said it was true that you'd get your your platform. I'm taken just away. asking questions. Asking questions is not acceptable. It's illegal. <clears throat> Mola, do you know that England is your city? No. Wales is your city. Yes. America is my city. Earth. City. I am a city. Mola, Count Angular said and that. I am the Sith. That a Welsh girl I... talking dirty to him was the funniest thing he'd ever heard. How do you plea? I mean, <laughs> who said that? The, the Welsh accent at its worst can be pretty damn funny. If you can understand that's, anything they're saying. That's true of most accents though, isn't it? Um, I think... Like, well, a lot of them. It, it just, yeah, it seems that a lot of them um, at their worst can outplay a lot of other ones at their worst. I don't know. But uh, you're probably right, yeah. Um, and that catches us up on the Boba Fett ones. Woohoo! Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Look at this amazing speed we've oh, done God, this section. So good. Um, so I guess now we'll check in with today's. Eh. Imagine we may get some Boba Fett ones. Who knows? Am I crazy? I watched Unforgiven and thought it was really good. However, I didn't see how it can almost be a 10 out of 10. What am I missing? Please help. Um. Hmm. Have me and I don't know sense? what you're missing. I couldn't possibly begin to know what you're missing. I just... Yeah. I could... Yeah. No else to say other than an uh, incredibly tight script makes some really poignant uh, efforts to commentate on basically um, everything fundamental to the genre. Yeah. Incredibly well characterized characters. <laughs> uh, pretty solid plot line and, and, and just. And of course, you've got your great, great music, cinematography. You know, from a production standpoint, it's fantastic. Yeah. I. Uh... I have a very high view of the film. I'd, I'd be more than willing to hear out. I think it's just got a really floor, strong so. core. A really strong core. Yeah. I don't know what I would identify as being wrong with it, which, uh... That's, that's really impressive. You're in a good place when that's happening. Yeah. Um, in Spider-1, the cop berates Peter for letting the gunman get away at the wrestling place, even though the guy had a gun. Yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> it's, he knew that he was like, Spider-Man. Cop, cop, <laughs> like, there's this guy with a gun runs past, and the cop turns to a random civilian, like, why didn't you do anything? It's... Yeah, it's I think really that's fair. Like, it, like it, he has a gun, so you're... But, because what, what does he say? Something like, you could have, you could have torn him in half or something like that? Does he say that? I, I don't think he says that. I can't remember. He says you could have taken him apart. It's something... I, I, I don't know, he's... Because the idea it, is It's something really like, why didn't you help? Yeah, because, um, I guess that cop is aware of how strong Peter is. I guess he, I guess he was at the human spider match. <laughs> I guess he was there, yeah. Mm, I saw you. You're stronger than a gun. <laughs> I saw you in that ring. If you yeah, can take yeah. on a wrestler, you can take on a gun. If but you yeah, can it's dodge totally pump, fair to be like, bullet. I ain't fucking touching this guy if he has a gun. But then Peter does say... Uh, I don't see how that's my... What's the line? I fucking... Bully I missed line. the part where that's my problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such an evil response. Oh, wait, yeah, it's not a cop that says it to him, right? It's, um... I think it's, it's like the guy, guy who we stole from. Yeah. yeah. Lucky guy. So... No, the cop says it to him as well. I remember this. I remember laughing at it. Um, I've watched this film recently. I remember being like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Fair enough. I, could, I, I think I haven't seen it in a while. Hello, Fraugengau. Oh, hi. How are you doing to do? I'm doing all right. <laughs> Only Fringy will understand asking. what I just said. <laughs> no, I, I, I think I, I think I can pick up to it using context. I'm fluent in no. Yes. No. Sort of picking up. I only watched Book of Boba Fett for EFAP. <laughs> well, Me too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said before I can't see myself watching it if it wasn't with you guys. I, it would be pain. Would be, I wouldn't. You don't see actually have to watch the show to enjoy the efaps. No, you can watch the efaps. Uh, true. I want, but if yeah. you find that it adds to it because you know the context fully, then maybe. True. Yeah. True. Hey, thanks for having a Discord mauler. I made a few new friends there. I also got a poster of Malignant from work as well. 
Oh, cool. He got a poster of Malignant from work. Yeah, because he's, 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 he's theater. Oh, uh, nice. Cool. That's cool. Malignant's been out of the cinema for Give ages already. It's been out for a, a while, yeah. Um, I think it went to HBO Max first, so... Uh, no, at the same time. But yeah, good to hear. Uh, this one just says, come. Nice. Good, good. It's good that, that's, that, that you said that. You Pen got, relayed. Um, how would a bantha even survive in the wild? Well, it hunts and kills uh, prey. Yeah, it's a predator. Yeah. It eats meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe it's a scavenger. It, it's very slow. It just comes across dead things and eats them. By the time it sees and smells oh, it, yeah, it walks over and yeah. rotted. Like. <laughs> maybe they can eat rotting meat. Perfect. Yeah, I that's an evolutionary that's adaptation. Nom, nom, nom. I do like the idea that banthas are actually apex predators. <laughs> yeah. It's really funny. Yeah, you know, at night time, you hear the bantha sound in the background. You're like, oh, who's there? And then the bantha runs at you. I'm picturing really that trailer slowly. now. And it just goes black yeah. and then it just puts bantha. Yeah. The bantha. movie's called Star bantha. Wars story. No, not even that. Bantha. Just bantha. bantha. Just bantha. bantha, right. Yeah, it's like alien predator bantha. Alien versus <laughs> predator versus bantha. They're on you a know, spaceship the and there's a, the there's a bantha on I board. I fear no man, but that thing, it scares, it scares me. <laughs> I love that people don't have the context. The I, lo I love the idea that people are watching this without the context of the episode or the EFAP. Now I like the idea of a xenomorph saying like, I don't want to talk about the freak, okay? And then scrambling to get off his microphone. <laughs> He's not here, is he? What's funny too is think about in episode two when they were in the arena, if instead of the creatures that they let mm -hmm. out, it was just three banthas slowly coming towards them. And they're like, ah, oh, no, well, no, Anakin, and they're uh, trying to get out in time. Anakin and Padme are both like, oh, it's just banthas. And then Obi-Wan's terrified and screaming his heart. So <laughs> just like, what, what? And he's like, it's fucking banthas. You're like, <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm just picturing a bantha egg that latches onto Kane's face in Alien and then it all goes yeah. from there. Slowly walking around the ship. There's the Austin Powers jokes where they just scream at it until it finally catches And it turns yeah. you into a Bantha. Tatooine, become Bantha. <laughs> Come Bantha. <laughs> um, Return to Bantha. Hello, Rags, the gun dog. Hello. Glock 26 or 43 for CCW? Uh, I think 26. I think the 43 is the single stack, uh, which is fine. I mean, I think they're probably both fine, but the 26 is. Uh, double stack, and it's... I, I That's what I use, but I, I doubt you could go wrong with either. Fair enough. Glad to see more J on EFAP lately. Rags needs his rock and river, moral compass, and lightning <laughs> rod morality. <laughs> True. That drunk's Rags stream is so cute. I'm your Uncle Ben, Rags. <laughs> oh, I know Uncle Ben. Wait, so killing you will make him a hero? Yeah. It'll make me Spider-Man, specifically. Suck. And I'm willing to die for this arc. It's a, it's a good story. Oh. Sweet. Boba was humming gospel Elvis song, then he got out. I mean, anything to any of you? No. 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 All right. Hey, EFAP, 169 was really awesome. Y'all are awesome and helped me through a lot of stress. Things are tough right oh. now, and I'm about to make a risky move in the name of love. I'm super nervous, and I hope y'all can wish me luck. Hi, Rags. Hashtag Team Boromir. Hello. Okay. I hope that your... Yeah. yeah, I hope your love journey goes well. Yeah, yeah good luck. Yeah. Good I hope that you find love, and that it isn't <clears throat> spat in your face. I hope that it's real and earnest, and she doesn't take half your shit in three years. I hope those hey, butterflies... Hey, 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 Rags. Men can be loved. I don't... You need to oh, understand that. About that. What about... Everyone else is telling me. Um, yeah, that's good to hear. I, 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 very good to hear that this show could relieve stress for those out there who are struggling with this, that, and the other. Um, yeah, I hope she says yes to whatever proposition you give, unless it's something debaucheracious. I made up that <laughs> word. Debaucheracious. I, b I believe in debaucheration. I believe in debaucheration. Wait. Morley, don't don't be cringe. Don't don't dictate what people can and can't do. You do that all the time. You just didn't know now. That's true, I did. That was literally what I was doing, wasn't it? <laughs> if the whole EFAP thing isn't real, is Morley just thinking people are donating? Also, can't wait for Jabba to return and have a fist fight with Boba. 
<laughs> that was so awkward they could do it. He wakes up in the yeah. tank of, Bo of Jabba standing over him, and he's like, Boba, <laughs> grabs him by the throat. He's like, oh, God. If only um, I had guns. Yeah, this, this, as we've established, it's all in my head. The The part that isn't in my head is me playing dolphin games over and over. <laughs> they they only have a uh, PC. They, they have a gaming PC in your padded cell. Yeah, it was really kind of him. He committed a it. strange crime where there is a loophole that allows him to yes. have a gaming PC and an internet connection and unrestricted access to the YouTube. They even let me stream. It's so weird. I don't know why, but no, you're not. No, you're not really streaming. Wait, imagine that. Imagine you think they're co-hosts and you're just stream, and that's what the stream is. They're trying to make money off me. The the, the people in the suits. Oh, that must be it. They're like the, the stream is called like study this crazy creature as he believes he has company. <laughs> I think that might violate TOS to be honest. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, send a DM to Metal telling him he's poopy. Done. If, if one of you guys can take care of that, yeah. Yeah, I don't see a DM. I do, I do that anyway. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure I've done that today, but no, you know. Oh man, oh, that was just your reminder if you haven't done it yesterday, Morlo. <laughs> Episode one six nine was excellent, easily top three along with EFAP fifty four fifty five and one six one. Oh wow! Hmm. Yeah, people seem to really like it. That's good. Fifty four fifty five was the Aiden Paladin Quinton one, right? Or am I misremembering? I do not do remember. I think that's it. One six one though. One six one. One six six was Revenge of the Sith stuff. One six. Without looking into it, I don't remember. They said, uh, "Do I think ninety three is overrated?" I do, and I'm tired of pretending it's not. Hi J. Ooh. It isn't overrated. I Am I on ninety three? Is that is that what you're saying? Hi to me. You're not on that one, no. Neither is Fringy. Oh, okay. Uh, neither is Metal. Actually, it's, it's. Maybe that's why it's bad. Me Rags, Weekend Warrior, Armored Skeptic, Myler Al. Is that the roster? I can't remember if someone else was there. Um, that will help me out with that one, maybe. But yeah, uh, 93, I mean, it's typically voted the best episode. I don't know what to tell you. I think it's because people like Lord of the Rings. That's, that's what my guess is. I don't. Oh, yeah? What do you think? It's the topic of the video we covered in the way that it was delivered. Mm -hmm. pa paired with, we had a very good, you know, group of people. As we often do. Yeah. Like our Mando coverage, or sorry, god damn it, I'll do it forever. Like our <laughs> Boba Fett coverage, we got a great roster. Um, yeah. Me episode and one, others. yeah, yeah. That's the... I mean, the silence that's, means that's everyone true, agrees, right? Episode e one, yeah, yeah, that's what yeah, silence strong. is violence. Yeah. Because yeah. I agree. Uh, they added a few new people in the later episodes of the EFAB Boba stuff, and I think, right and choice wise, that was. It's not the same. A, it's not the same. It's clearly, diversity hires. I think EFAB's getting a little woke, but that's fine. <laughs> you know, do what you yeah. want to do. A gender fleeman, a German. <laughs> The two you're most depressed minorities. Wait, wait, wait. I, thought you, German. I thought you meant agenda fleeb. Like, <laughs> the like agenda the is fleeb. Agenda fleeb. Like, <laughs> uh, do, do, do. Ming Na Wen is the hottest 58 year old alive. I'd be willing to she's agree. 58? Yeah. She's, uh, wait, who is that? She looks yeah. phenomenal for her age. For age. Wow. Something in that. Sorry? Chinese tea or something, some secret vapor from the Orient, Flesh some Fennec mystical, J. yeah. Yeah, she's Fennec. Oh, she's 58? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? You cheated. Yeah. You used the Do mythical you... fountain I'm sorry, of I'm sorry. Do you mean 25? <laughs> <laughs> Did you misspeak? You said fountain of youth. Um, how the hell do some people think Book of Boba Fett is a good show? Uh, well, um, he, he nearly died in the desert. That old. means that he's Light. new. He has been born again. He's been baptized by Sarlacc. Oh no. 
I honestly haven't seen many people praising it, and for those who do praise it, they seem to do the weird shit where they're like, oh, it's about indigenous rights, and you're like, I'm sorry, but <laughs> if it even, if we even were to go that way, you don't even want to fucking mention how horrible the representation would be if that was your uh, interpretation. Yeah. It's like I said in my video, that would be the yeah. happiest thing a racist could hope for, well, is like, that you connect the... Tusken Raiders to indigenous <laughs> people. Well, like, okay, the, the, like, the show... If it was doing that, it would be doing a really shit job. Because, yeah. like, that could be a super interesting discussion of, like, well, okay, these people are, like, they're enslaving people, and then, um, you know, they're, they're beating the people they capture, but, like, do they still have a right to the, to own the land from, from which, you know, they, uh, they, from th their ancestors have, you know, have lived on for thousands of years? And, like, whoa, that's an interesting discussion. This show isn't having it. No. Just wiped them all out, too, which apparently pissed off a lot of people who liked that aspect of the show they're like you just killed them now <laughs> now who will enslave boba now yeah <laughs> also, i mean say hola to rag oh hello la jake <laughs> they're saying hi to jake as well which one of us is J i guess jay that must be the bad vision of jay's character jake the the yeah the jake skywalker type the evil clone what would jake skywalker me be like You'd value. Oh, I hate um, cum. You'd love the new Doctor Who episodes. Yeah. You'd be like, these are fucking actually great, actually. Ever I since hate, Jay I fell in that Sarlacc pit. is the best Doctor. He, he yep. hates cum. No. You're horrible to even. Yeah, think. he fell, he fell scene, in the Sarlacc with, pit. And that now scene he with hates Boba cum. saying he doesn't care about money, but with me saying I don't care about cum. I don't care about like, cum. We'd all stop watching the show and be like, this isn't Jay. This is not Jay. Can't handle it. This is not the Jay we remember. This is yeah. bullshit. Um, hi, hola to Steel Commander and the Australian Emu. I'm not hola. an emu, but hi. I'm an emu. And then it just ends with and that's, the... Uh, that's not me, that's not me, like, <laughs> just shit talking, by the way. I've, I've, I've made, um, I've started making my username on, like, random things where I don't, um, where I don't want, like, just to use my, my actual name as emu. That's, so, I am an emu. Oh, nice. oh boy. Um, I must look dumb because you mentioned seismic <gasps> charges and I start making the noise as obnoxiously as possible at work. Give it a try, it's really fun. I already was. You guys wanna indulge. Oh, um, yeah. You, I just, I, the noise I made, it's because, um, because someone had just made me aware of it in the, the game chat. I'm, I'm idly playing Battlefield right now as we chat and, um, but which one? Battlefield Five. Five. Uh, because Brownie is censored. One. Brownie? Um, brownie? Brownie. The food? Like, like brownie the food. the food. Yeah, you can't say it. Oh no. Everything is awesome. Uh, uh, Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Oh, part of a fleam, more like. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't support flames. Whoa, oh, okay. Oh, I that's... said that's fucking stupid, but stupid is censored as well. Fuck, what? Not fucking? Is to be fair, stupid is quite a harsh swear word. I guess they just don't want you to be mean. Dude, in certain countries, <laughs> stupid, that's like worse than killing someone. Yeah. If Boba, if Boba, if you called Boba stupid, he would hire you. Oh, you, in a heartbeat. He would actually pray to you, like every day. Why this fucking game continues to, uh, <laughs> this, it, it is a tragedy. This game is a tragedy. Cause uh, it's so goddamn good as a game, but you can't say stupid in the chat. That is offensive. I am offended by you even bringing it up at all. So, I think I might actually delete you from everything. Oh my goodness! I can't believe it. You can't say brownie. Well, I guess some people might call a black person a brownie, so we better censor it. <laughs> like, Imagine they said Jesus someone might call a black person like... stupid, so we have to censor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like, do they like? Do, have they censored like? Anything like like all innocent words that could be used like have they censored well, monkey like oh shit oh let me check oh, oh no Mon you can say anyway. monkey you can say monkey oh Here well we I better censor that right away because some people you, uh, use that to call yeah, call black people that to be well, mean you can't, and you racist. cannot say idiot either idiot is a no go that's fair that's fair that's fair what about offensive. dumb can you say dumb dumb ooh good dumb yeah that's the, a that's probably the tamest you insult. can say dumb you can okay, say dumb you can say dumb but you can't say stupid well that's because dumb is a is a ableist slur cuz some people can't well, speak well I, I was about to say that's kind of like the only <laughs> well, yeah that does actually seem like that one has seems like to be banned yeah 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 then exactly what a however you cannot type in uh I think who's H O uh, apostrophe S, 
Why? Like something like that. I don't know. It was it was one of the confusing hard, ones. Did that one no. Be hose? I don't right, even know what the H O or let me w. let me double check. Yeah, you can't. Who is the contraction? Who's you cannot uh you cannot Why? type that. Can you write there's the contraction of that? Why? Is? Why can't you, you can fucking type, who type is. that? You can type who is, but you can't type in who's. Why? What was, what was the one you wanted me to test, Ringy? <laughs> there's, there is, there, there's. Yes, you can type there. Okay, okay. Are you just, are you just writing like yeah, random like words into the, the game chat right yeah, now? Yeah, the, the all chat are. is very, yeah, just random words. I love the idea that some, like, uh, someone in EFEP chat is like, or someone listening to EFEP right now is like, Rags, are you in my game? What? Whoa! Well, it's odd because there's someone in my squad right now whose name is J-Ghost. Uh, well, I'm not dead, so. Yet. No, I, I will, when I die, Rags' arc um, to Spider-Man begins. Mm. Um, going through my annual Lord of the Rings rewatch to wash out the shit. For me, Gandalf's Return is a bit flizzmy, but what are you, some issues you have with those movies? Gandalf's Return is flizzmy. Um, I don't have enough information to say if that's flizzmy or not. It's very, it's definitely in the realm of magic in this game or this movie. I just don't quite know. I don't know. Um, it has been a bit of a of a big thing for me for a while, Gandalf coming back. Um, the, you're supposed to go with the idea that, like, there's supposed to be some level of a balance from, like, the higher powers of the world and that Saruman being corrupted and Gandalf being dead means there's no... there's no attempt at a balance. Because Gandalf the White, right? I don't want to make a mistake saying this, okay? But he's not, like, hyper OP. He's pretty OP, but he can still be defeated, as we see. Uh, and I wonder if that the idea we're supposed to take from it is that the board was way too imbalanced, and so they sent him back as Gandalf the White to try and because I think he says I, I am as what Saruman was supposed to be, or something like that. Yeah. I think we're supposed to take it as a matter of um, they're just trying to. The, I say they is it the Valinor. I, I I'm gonna get this all wrong, but it's some kind of like the gods or whatever of the universe. Um, they 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 seem to be more of a um, whatever outcome happens happens, but they want to make sure that there was at least a chance or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. the The movies don't go into as much depth as probably the books do ex as explaining it. Um. But, uh, what, are, what are the issues do we have with Lord of the Rings? Can you guys think of any? Um, with the Lord of the Rings? I'd have to think. I'm sure there's some. But, uh, um. I need to rewatch it. I haven't watched them in ages. Um, I'm, I'm certain that there is. I'm, I'm, I'm certain that there is. Um, I think it suffers a little bit in different fights from armor not working. Quite yeah, yeah. That. Sometimes armor just doesn't work. I don't know if it happens in any like very plot important manner. Just like your average people sort of thing. But yeah, like Billy got hit with an arrow through his fucking breastplate and he just dies. I'm like, oh, that's that's not right. Um, but I, yeah, I, I just don't know. Uh, I'm sure we talked about some in episode 93. I was gonna say, uh, I just need to rewatch them. Because um, obviously what I take from Lord of the Rings usually is how much I fucking adore them rather than the things... Oh, we I remember saying that they, um, they're trying to silently assault Osgiliath and they have their torches up. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, fucking stupid at night time. Oh, I also remember one. Um, Gandalf's really, really concerned that they not attract attention when they're going through Moria. But one of the first things he does is he lights up a huge, massive chasm to show everyone the mithril veins that are in the walls. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably a bad move. Um, and there's going to be some suggestions in uh, in chat. I would imagine. Uh, maybe your recon droid shouldn't have bright right bright red lights on it. Duh. Yeah, <laughs> that's we, a good observation. Uh, one of the yeah. ones we made too. Yeah. Um, go make baby banthers famous Boba Fett quote. Oh my god, you you have the exact same comments we did. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. It wasn't just like 
cringy dialogue. It was like, Boba Fett just said that. What the fuck? What are we doing? Somebody help. It's like Darth Vader saying, go and make baby bath. <laughs> go and make baby bath. Like, what? What are you doing? What's happening here? What are you doing? Um, hey, Molly, your videos got me through third shift last year. I work 11 hours at night, and one video of yours got me through the whole night, lol. Have you conversed with ER <laughs> lately? Just wondering. Um, I'm guessing they're referring to the podcast at that point, in which case, excellent. I hope you're doing all right. Uh, mm -hmm. As for ER, no. I've, um... Set a message here and there. I don't. I, I don't think he's made any new videos for a long time. Um, he might have just gotten off the internet, uh, which you know I wouldn't blame anybody for doing, honestly. Uh, yeah. But I hope he comes back at some point. I'm really hoping that the Atla show revitalizes him because uh, I do enjoy his videos quite a bit. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'll say that. Why? What do you hate about Nazi. his videos? Uh, I don't know, I haven't seen them, but... You know, things I've heard... Well, he's made very, very edgy jokes in his videos, I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. Oh yeah, that's what I've heard. No, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not being serious. Um, for, for the people in chat who were confused. Yaw needs a hug. i put in Nazi jail? Or... Um... Rags, how many tricks do you know? I'm confused at your height, and you said you're like 5'10", but Sheeb's a small doggos. Sit, Rags. Sit. Good dog. Um, I know many tricks. I know all the same tricks that you probably know and more. Wow. Um, wow. However, yeah, um, I think I'm not special. I know it sounds a little haughty at first, but I think I can back it up. I'm the what trick master. ego you've got there, Rags. Yeah, well, having an ego is one of my many tricks. Trick. What if they know a trick that you don't? Have you considered that? Uh, no, I haven't. Well, there's another trick of shutting the fuck up. It's not a oh, trick. That's an admission God. that you have no more tricks to give. <laughs> and just like that, the conversation ended. Hog. Hog indeed. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like Peacemaker series. The plotisms are up a storm and Gun cannot end a raunchy joke to save his life. So, yeah, the plot is a disaster, and unfortunately, it would seem as though the jokes are just really unrefined, and unfortunately, some of them are just, like, pretty standard, you know, in terms of standard formula, right? Like, the, I'm gonna stop talking now. Yes, I'm going to stop talking. Starting now. Right now. That's the end. I'll stop talking. You know, like, you've seen that joke many, many times before. Yeah. I want to see that subverted. Usually, well, yeah, because... Uh, we even talked about it, and it feels like an easy way to subvert it is to have somebody throw, like, something at her uh, while she was doing it to interrupt her to, like, make her stop, like, a tissue box or something. It's just, just you know, an like, find ways ball to... that knocks her off her feet. Yeah, like, something something that just comes in that's unexpected, you know? Um, well, the, the quintessential guess... example of, of an overused joke being subverted is the Family Guy one, right? We, we talked about this at the time, where it's, um... Uh, Stewie's just Stewie, had like a really yeah. shit day and he goes outside right. and says, well, at least it's not raining and then he gets stabbed. What yeah, a great like joke. That, that's a pretty good joke. Um, and I guess uh, it seems like, I think, I don't know if we all agree on this, but the general thought is maybe he needed more time to write it because it's a whole TV show and it would appear as though he wrote it in less than three months. Um... And I would hazard a guess that he spent longer writing The Suicide Squad, which is a two-hour movie, than, uh, than he might have had so. time to write for an eight-episode television show. Yeah. Um, maybe. Maybe. And, and, and hey, you know, the 69 joke was in Suicide Squad, so there's evidence yeah. there that maybe even some of his shittier jokes got in. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It was, we were really on that show's side. Um... But, oh yeah, we, we were like going in like, this is going to be cool. Uh, I was a little bit nervous, um, but I was, I, nervous I, I thanks was to trailers. Be. And oh, yeah, oh, also a lot of lamp shading in that show where you oh, just yeah. do the standard thing of, you did what? Basically that joke, I think three or four times. Uh, to, to excuse just really dumb decisions. Incredibly stupid thing annoying. either happened or someone did. Whoa. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, and then we just move on. And, and I'm not, I'm just not that interested in these other characters that we've got along for the ride. 
um, not as interesting or... And, and especially since you got more time, I guess they're probably going to get some more substantial development, but who knows. Mm -hmm. Oh, and also the, uh, the, the sub, the, that crazy, how Robert Patrick, his dad has, like, a crazy teleport door that leads to this insane sci-fi labyrinth with Is a whole it? bunch of crazy weapons and We things. probably shouldn't talk much more about it because we're gonna need to talk about this on an EFAP episode when someone asks upsetly why we're not true. covering it. We'll be like, well, true, true. let us tell you about how shitty it is. Yeah, fair enough. Well, I mean, it's really up to you. Is this you an know, episode? To, well, I mean, the thing is, people aren't gonna... They're, they're gonna still be asking. You know, if it's not in the main episode, they're gonna be like, I didn't hear it. Because there's some people out there who don't watch the Super Chat catch-ups. They're called horrible demon people, but, you know, that's... Um, that's not the preferred term. I think it is. People... Demon people? Yeah. Preferred term is moron. Whoa. Oh, wow. Is nice. that banned from Battlefield 5? Or oh, certainly, right? No. Because, I mean, I like, you can use the word stupid to be like, describe a thing as stupid. Like, hey, that was stupid. But moron is like, that's only used as an insult. So I don't see a world where they ban stupid, but not moron. Well, it is our world. It's pretty dumb. That's true. Um, moron gods look better in the 80s. No, moron is not allowed. You cannot say moron. What? Ripperoo. That's insane. It's pretty offensive. When you say insane. Uh, I'm already on it. <laughs> insane you can say. Can you say crazy? Okay. You can say crazy. Thank goodness. That feels odd. What about psycho? I psycho I is, like these psycho are is just... not allowed. You cannot say psycho. <laughs> you can't call someone a psycho. But you can call them insane. Yes. Or crazy. Okay. But not a moron. Range, can you well, say I range? feel like insane and crazy have more use in common conversation other than insulting people, whereas psycho is generally only used as like an insult, right? Well, I feel like that's you probably the logic. The fucking movie. And then what about stupid? I can just. Oh, that's true. You can't talk about the movie. <laughs> well, yeah. Like none of this makes any fucking sense. I'm just trying to find what logic yeah. in it they might have had. Well, there's a lot of psychos out there who might be very upset that you're yeah. calling them psychos. Yeah. Same thing with morons. They were going to be very upset. <laughs> the morons will be upset if we let them uh, be described in this, in this way. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, Gamoran guards look better in the 80s. I'm pretty sure I have found them a little bit distracting in the in the show, but I've just been more distracted by how shit everything is. Than oh, to that really them. depends. Um, were their skirts sh shorter or longer in the 80s? That's the only thing. They that... were pretty short. They were. They were uh, short, that's one yeah. of the things I remember from my childhood. Um, oddly enough, is All I right. just remember how short their little fluffy skirt thingies were. Yes. I just I just recall it. Were the Gamorrean gods your gay awakening rags? No, they were not. Oh. I don't even know what was. You just always they aren't knew. now. They are now. I'm not, there, I'm like, not attracted mm, yes. to Gamorian guards. I think it's the, I think it's mostly the face and how like weird and pudgy and strange it is looking. Well, I've got like a big pig nose. That's probably yeah, offensive. But... You probably can't say if you said that to a Gamorian guard, they'd probably be like, "Hey." <laughs> <laughs> yes, they would probably make that noise, whatever that was. As usual. John Favreau's Star Wars series is carried by Gamorrean guards, or whatever we call them. I, uh, I guess you could say they're the best part of the show. Because they just, they're around. They attack stuff. Pretty good. Um. Boba is Spanish slang in some countries for dumb girl. Bobo for boy. I use it sometimes, lol. Needless to say, the show is aptly named. Oh, here we go. Hello? Hello. Hi, hello. I had Hi the same there. bug at the same time. Could oh you guys hear me? Oh my goodness gracious. I can hear yeah. you now, Jay. Thank goodness. Mahler, can you hear like, Jay? Why did everyone suddenly go quiet? You, you, you guys did for me too? Yeah, how crazy. That is very odd, because I was going to say, I, I was, it reminded me of the old Norm MacDonald jokes, where he would say, I, I, think, uh, I think I'm gaining a little weight. I went to the doctor and he said, open your mouth and say oink. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good joke. 
I like the delay between yeah. getting the joke and then laughing as if you had to really deconstruct that deep, clever humor. Maybe that's a delay on the there line. A, there was thematic sort of through lines in that joke. I was just sort of appreciating it before I laughed at it. Yeah, I no, think that's You fair. were savoring the joke. Yeah, yeah I, I, I yeah, I think I was legitimately. I was just sitting there just thinking about how that yeah. works so well. And then imagining like, oh, that oh. happening, like, at the doctor. Well, just imagining him saying it, I think, is what yeah. made me laugh. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. was, that was the big element. Just, like, imagining him delivering that joke because his delivery, man. Uh... Do you guys believe in religion because God exists, or that religion is a byproduct of human evolution? I I don't think that. Well, I mean, religion I don't believe that the religion tells the truth. truth yeah, I mean, like they describe true. reality. But I guess I can understand that. I think uh, human beings we tell stories to understand the world. Um, yeah, I totally understand so it, why it makes religion sense to me why it yeah. exists. It's really hard. I've been reading a book called The Denial of Death um, that's that's kind of talking about like how essentially it's like the dichotomy of human beings is that we are animals, but we have the ability to sort of comprehend and understand that, you know, that we exist and time exists. And, you know, it's like when you have that mind paired with something that exists in reality that will decay and die, it becomes very difficult to navigate the world. <laughs> and so there's a lot of well, things that we create to help us do that and stories are one example of that i mean what is like you could even say in a certain sense right science is the story we use to describe reality um we give things names and we say what their attributes are because it just makes us easier to, to understand it concepts labels yeah the story of existence so if that doesn't answer the question I think I, I, I did. It, it is a, I oh. mean, if you want to say, depends what you mean by a byproduct of human evolution. If you want to say that everything a is a byproduct of, of human evolution. But well, yeah, all human behavior is a byproduct of human yeah, evolution, there, right? The question begins with, do you guys believe in religion because, and then gives two options, so none of us do. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think we're all atheists. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I don't. Yeah. I am a Rastafarian. Yeah. Pastafarian. I'm a, I'm a pastafarian. I love me some pasta. <laughs> oh. I, I'm an I'm an Italian the Italian branch. Uh Linguiniites. Alfreda uh, we're at constant uh, bitter her heretical war with the Alfredians. Alfredians. Um so they took our sauce and we must reclaim it. I don't fucking know where this is going, this carry on. Do you say just kill you? No, just carry on. Oh, okay. I don't. This bit is just. I just don't know where it's even going. Is that a show? Oh, that's so cool. I didn't, oh, okay. I just want to appreciate Star Wars Battlefront Two for a sec, because the, the the Jawas, they go and they raid the corpses and they steal their guns and run away. That's really cool. Mm. Anyway, yeah, it's fucked up that you'd celebrate them doing that. I I reward their resourcefulness. You're gonna hire them, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mega Man X celebrates its 28th birthday this month. Wow. Neat. Mega Man X celebrates. 10, right. right? That's Mega Man the 10th one? Uh, no, Mega Man X is like its own little. I get the, the joke, but Mega Man X is. No, it's also not a joke. I don't That's think that what was the a X joke, means. No. <laughs> it's it's, it's right. what 10 I'm... is. is... Like well, yeah, but, but, but Mega Man X is like a different character. There's Mega Man and then there's Mega Man X. Wait, it's a character? I thought that it was just... I'm pretty sure Mega Man X is a different... Uh, like, he's a different version of the character. Oh, I just assumed it was but, the 10th game in the Mega Man series, and they just said X instead of 10. I don't think they've reached the 10th mainline Mega Man game. I think the latest one was 9. Well, I will say, if they if they carry on with that naming convention, when they get to the 50th, wow. it's very lame. Well, not really, because if you just call it Mega Man 10, and the, oh, Mega Man L, yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's one of the, that's those jokes for all you Latin. It doesn't sound as cool, you know, as Sounds Mega, like Man, Mega Man Lost. Mega Man Lost. Taking an L. Taking yeah, an so L. Yeah, so Mega Man X was, is 28 years old. That, because uh, I, I was sitting there in my head, I'm like, Mega Man's older than 28, right? Like, Mega Man came out in the 80s, so... That was a joke right, from the old ABGN okay. video. I didn't know. I've never watched. Uh, I never watched him. Uh, I got that joke from my Latin teacher in high school when we were talking about the Super Bowls mm -hmm. and how they were always using 
maybe the Roman numerals. And sure enough, when they got to Super Bowl Fifty, so you they had a did Latin not teacher in high school. Yeah, uh, he taught me Latin. Uh, and oh. so when we got to the fiftieth Super Bowl, they did not call it Super Bowl L. Sure enough, because that is very lame. <laughs> Especially if you handed out the trophy and it's got a big L on it. It's just an L. <laughs> Maybe a Latin teacher watched AVGN. He copied his fucking Somebody joke. Somebody makes a video game theory is called You Took The. It's just called You Took The. And uh, he works on it for like 50 years, making a new game every year just so that he can do the You Take The L joke. I don't think Rags liked that joke. No, I know he didn't. No, it's not fine. Yeah. It's alright. Uh, is ejaculation required for a movie to be 10 out of 10? Yeah. If it, like, if it, it has to make me ejaculate? Yeah. Uh, or eja specify. ejaculation Specifically in you. Oh, uh, <laughs> there's, well, there's a lot of 10 out of 10 pornos out there, but, um, <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. No, you, I could have an emotional ejaculation. Well, I mean, sorry, do you, do you really want to give the porno credit for, wait, well, let's be honest, you're probably doing most of the work there. I mean, I don't know. I think it's easier to jerk off than it is to create a porn video. True, but you're the one, you're like, you're the one doing the work. I mean, now like that it's in, already in, been like produced the porn, in the that porn, moment. Yeah, the porn already exists. Like, they don't, they don't care about that. Yeah, but I don't want to discount the work that they might have gone towards is making this like, it. Is this React content? Is where you just react, react by masturbating? Content? Yeah. Yo, imagine, that could be a dude, thing, Imagine, though. yeah, that starts on Pornhub. It's like reacting yeah. to fucking this Can I porno. Come? And then it's like a guy in the corner with like a Twitch... Look at like a Twitch, you know, Twitch, Twitch uh, face cam, and he's just jerking off. Like, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's all right. It's like, you'd oh, guys, like, I didn't get. Yeah. Review, yeah, all the production elements, and narrative. You'd be like, I don't think she's actually stuck in the dishwasher at all, or <laughs> washing machine, whatever. I don't feel like this character is particularly well informed. I'm not sure what she, you know, wants or. Uh... First, they're outraged, and, and suddenly they want to have sex too. I just don't. I don't that. think that's really his stepsister. I don't think that it's congruous with what we know about her. This. I mean, I kind of like just someone watching porn and being like, "This, this plot doesn't make any fucking sense." I would kind of watch that. Like, so, and they have like serious critiquing chops on them. Like, they're using all of the. They're doing like they're properly doing the work, deconstructing the scenes. Mm -hmm. And then they find one that's actually really good and they make a video essay out of it. Yeah. Well, they're all video essays. Big From Titties 3 point, like, anal, and the science anal sluts of four is Anal Sluts 4 is garbage and here's why. I'm sure we've had this discussion before, but I mean, what? how does... Like, if somebody does make video essays, how do they... D you know, d distinguish that from just a regular video that's scripted? What do you... Well, I mean, that's... There is isn't it, really... <laughs> like I guess that's the thing, right? Because it's it's all persuasive writing at the end of the day. If you're presenting a case, I suppose one might argue the video essays have a more specific format in that they'll open with a thesis and then they'll have to oh, give sure, you the I mean, and conclusions. I feel like a lot of videos will just do that anyway. You sure. Know? It just feels like a pretty standard. Uh, yeah, I, I I guess I just find it interesting. Wow, well, not really. It's not that interesting at all. Well, the, the, I mean, let's be honest. The whole fucking reason video essay was born as a title is to make your video sound more important than it is. Well, because it's not a video. It's a video essay, yeah. Is it video well, essay? Am I just putting the word video in the title? Like, this is a video. Yeah. A video. Well, yeah, I have I think we've, since the inception of EFAP, I've always found it cringe when they, they have the title of the video, which is totally fine, relates to whatever the subject is, and then they put the little... I don't even know what it is. What's the line like? Well, it's a line. Sub subtitle, right? Or tagline? No, like the, uh, it's like a the ver just the vertical line that yeah. is a character. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just think it's a vertical line. Well, they put Plank? that and then they put video essay. Oh yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 right. That was necessary. It's also I. It also vexes me when they put that and then they just put it their own name vex you. or like the name of their thing. By the way, it's called a vertical bar. That's what that glyph is called. The, okay. That, Neat. It's just called a vertical you know. bar. Which is not very exciting, but I suppose it's accurate. A long L. <laughs> it's a very long L. It's a very a long undercase L, too. Yeah. 
Very, very, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was our answer for the ejaculation question. Um, <laughs> well, so happy to hear you guys don't like Peacemaker. I thought it was just me because everyone says it's good and I couldn't get through the first episode. Ha! We beat you. Oh we got God. through a, an episode and a half. Is that really winning? Yes. <laughs> we defeated this person. But, uh, yeah, we thought it was pretty shit, unfortunately. Um, I got a lot of comments while I was, I was explaining that on Real BBC about how I'm con uh, like a contrarian and stuff, and I was just like, fucking, uh. can we please not? Uh, Gary did not like it either. Well, well what a contrarian. contrarian. Yeah, yeah, he's obviously a contrarian too. There was, there was a comment that was like, uh, do you guys enjoy anything? It's like, are you. Nope. The amount of <sighs> shit we enjoy. Lots of things. <laughs> we talk about it all the time. It's, it's... We did a whole stream the other day. Just, about just did one. Like. <laughs> you don't like anything. You're biased. <laughs> I think it even ended with like, I get it. It's like, you know, it's more better to make money with or something. It's like, fucking. God damn. Not necessarily even. Uh, not necessarily, no, but also, I would much rather live in the world where, like, all the stories are awesome. Oh, yeah. Hey, Frungo. If Australia yeah, yeah, yeah. had to ally with emus to defeat the cassowaries, would you win, or would you be unable to make a truce because of the history? Um, I mean, cassowaries are quite formidable foes. Um, they are, uh, they're like emus on steroids, you know. Um... I guess, yeah, if, you know, com uh, combined, right, um, combined working together, I guess we could, but I'm pretty sure that emus and cassowaries have a stronger alliance. Like, there, there's a, a certain, uh, mutual interest, right? The cassowaries want to stake more claim to, to the rainforest. The emus want more of the outback, you know, like, there's, yeah. I, I don't know that civil the emus would be receptive to an Wow, yeah, the civil war between the emus <laughs> and the cassowaries. Though admittedly, the emus probably... Cassowaries are formidable, but the emus have got the numbers. Uh, unlike the cassowary. Uh, Mola, Fringy, and Jay are on together. And all three are from the city of England. This is phenomenal. England is your city. Komodo hype. Is there a reason <laughs> that people keep hype? saying that, that England is your city meme right now? Is I that like, know. Is there something I'm missing? Something must have happened where that became someone, funny. Someone says I can hear you eating. Um, unfortunately, I am not eating. I'm not eating as well. I'm not eating. I'm not eating. So I'm not certain what <laughs> this chatter means by that. <laughs> Unfor you, Do you I don't doubt that you hear something. You just like, mean in general? Like when I'm eating, you can hear? Like, <laughs> or yeah, this not just... right now, just at some nondescript time in the they, past. They just turn around. They're like, the dad is just sitting behind them eating a sandwich like, oh. <laughs> oh, that explains it. Sorry, son, I didn't mean to affect your viewing experience. Oh, is this loud? Every I didn't frame know. A, uh, a pause. <laughs> Wait, a relive? Are you are you streaming, son? Is this what streaming? Tell me what streaming is. What do you mean? What do you what are you streaming? I don't, I don't quite understand it. So how are those good, little you know, circles? No, I mean and all that. <laughs> how do those little circles? Are all the men in the computer? that man and that talking typing? dog and that crying German? I can I tell know those symbols. Those are words. Why are they? I think all Germans should cry. Yes. Hey. I'm no, crying no. for all of us, okay? D die cry. I thought you were just crying for Boromir. I didn't know you were crying for all of Germany. No, that's rags. More than one person can cry for Boromir. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, then I'm crying for Boromir. Right, right. But only one person can be designated to cry for Germany. There's in only one German. To your cry. message in the chat, I can hear you. Thank just you. so you know. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Is Rags licking himself? No. It's. It was important not you now. read that out. And answered not now. Not, not now. I'm streaming. Uh, streaming. Come. Nice. Thoughts on Cobra Kai? Would you consider doing a brief EFAP mini? If so. Uh, not, not interested, it. and I don't care. Nobody's I've heard seen it's it. Good. Wow. I'm the only person here who's probably close to considering watching it, but I haven't done that yet. And there's four seasons, which is just like, oof, I don't know. That's a lot of content, yeah. And uh, there are other shows that need watching. Yeah, I mean, bring it behind. We've got so many fucking shows to watch. But we're chipping so, away. Yeah. We're yes. chipping away. Yes. We're getting there. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, watching Eternals right now. Wish me luck. Oh. Good luck! Good luck, I guess. Don't kick Jay. Don't ever kick Jay. He's the man. 
That's racism. Jay is the man. Jay is the man. Uh, he um, has a plan. He will kick you in your pituitary gland. What? What's that from? Oh, that jumped ahead. I I, I just made it up oh, on the spot. Like, I mean, it just reminds you... me. Like, song that reminds you of something I've seen, like a show, an animated show from the sixties or something. Okay. You know, oh, that, that's just now I'm thinking about old animation stuff. Cuphead yeah. show that looks neat. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, hope it's good. It's so cool when you see like the progression of animation styles throughout the decades and how. You know, it seems like there was always Repression. there was always like a dominant style. The twenties and thirties definitely, you know, had that kind of Felix the Cat, old Looney Tunes, Mickey Mouse, you know, in the black and white style. And then, you know, like the forties and fifties was much more crow. the Looney Tunes kind of exaggerated style, really bouncy, a lot of movement. And then, you know, sixties was definitely feels like the Hanna Barbera sort of uh, style was more dominant. And then. The 80s had a cool tone. The 70s and the 80s, when they were trying to do a little bit more realistic looking characters. Just uh, a thought that I had. I agree. Boba is Jonah of Star Wars. Also, Mando is worse. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it is. It's, it's hard because it it's really like is Boba hard Fett to tell. In our mind right now, but uh, if we think about Mando, yeah, <laughs> they're both that horrible, just that horrible sludge. I feel like it's more of an assassination of Boba than it could ever be for Mando, though. Sure. Well, because Mando would never really was a character. Nothing to assassinate. Yeah. It gives a for as fun. little time as he had, Boba was a character. It would be funny, though, if Boba hires him in the next episode and he's just willing to just slaughter a whole bunch of people without knowing the context. It's like, yeah, fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> Seem to be right. I think we are seeing Robert... They, they re-assassinate him. They assassinate new Boba. <laughs> they new make Bo Boba really aggressive and mean and ruthless in Season 2 because he spent time in the desert. It changed him back. Yeah, yeah, he, um... Well, no, so nearly dying on the desert, that, that changes you to a nice person. So it's like, I don't know, he, um... He, he gets a blowjob on Hoth. It's like that that changes him back, and he's like, you know what? You know, I I, I think that being uh, like invested money in money primarily, you know, I like money. I like um, I I don't really care what I do to get it, you know. He'd even I'm kill Bantha hunter. babies. Yeah, especially Bantha babies. He knows how scary and dangerous Banthas are. Yeah. Well, grow up into adult Banthas, and you don't want that. Just little cucks. Um, I think we are seeing Robert Rodriguez's vision. He hasn't made anything good in 15 years. It's Spy Kids, a Boba Fett story. Uh, um, I'm not seeing much of him in it. If I'm being completely honest with you, if I'm unless I'm supposed to believe this is what he does now. Um, he's he, I've always associated with him with having more fun. This show shit. This show is shit, and it's not. Know. Like, maybe it's a very, it's very incompetent fun, attempt Mola. at fun. But, like, was the Tusken Rider stuff fun? Is that fun? Is that what fun is? I guess some people think that's guess, super fun. The, the gun train, yeah, maybe some people are like, that's really fun. It's like, yeah, oh. like, wow, they jumped on the gun train and they had their speeders and that was fun. You know? Or something. Until they crashed them all, but, you know. Uh, why did Boba Fett think he had his his armor was still inside the Sarlacc pit when he used his armor to escape the <laughs> Sarlacc pit? Yeah, I don't know. That's a very obvious question that you think somebody would bring up on set or that to was, the writer. That was frustrating to watch. That whole fucking scene was so stupid. Yep, it was a big dum dum. Boba Fett episode three was cringe as fuck, but episode four was the most frustrating. Boba Fett is a complete retard in there. I think he's been a he retard. retard. Really he's been retarded in all the episodes, though. really. Yeah. I suppose I'm willing to agree that this one, like all the thing with the Sarlacc, man, that's just, you have no well, brain. There were a lot more periods of us stunned into silence this time around, I noticed. Well, like, I can't name a more brainless move than that. I think in, like, most of Star Wars, really, like. I'll look up. Well, we need our. Is, wait, we need is, not, is that dumber? Is that dumber to going to a place that you don't, like, that you know the thing that you're looking for isn't to go and find it, and then... But I guess he believes it's there, he doesn't remember for well, yeah, whatever yeah, reason? Yeah, so we're well, supposed that, yeah, to believe... Yeah, and that's dumb. 
the diff the two the two options are is it stupider that someone forgot which way is up or is it stupider that he forgot that his armor was with him when he came out and then he drives his ship into the why would he think the helmet would like well, no 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 of course they're both retarded but like which do you think is more stupid um, I, I guess it is more stupid to not know which way up is because we're talking about so just too. like intrinsic understanding of space that human <laughs> beings have. I am inclined to agree. I guess. We're in a really bad spot, Star Wars. <laughs> you might want to <laughs> do something. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised Boba didn't offer the Sarlacc like a job. <laughs> this fucking show is so easy to meme, like... <clears throat> what These deserts you? belong to the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> you gotta pay tribute to the Sarlacc. Uh, Molo, what do you... What do you that you do you think of you... And what do you and think of, hmm... Of the, the Moon Knight trailer? Also, bonjour. I'm actually considering, Hi. um... Possibly throwing that into like the next multimedia medley because apparently you can basically watch anything from Disney trailer wise and you won't get snipped for copyright. Well, that's cool. So that I guess they understand for that it's do. good for reactions on their behalf, right? I'm guessing Reaction so. Um, for marketing, you just don't want them reacting to the show on stream. Absolutely, yeah. which I think makes complete sense because yeah, absolutely. What you'll find if we watch the Moon Knight trailer is that we would end up basically say like, "This looks like it could be." Mm, good. This looks interesting. Yeah. It could be good. I like the idea. It but does who look knows. interesting. So um, and yeah. Oscar Isaac. So we, we might yeah. we might do that at some point. But how how long have we got before it's out? Uh, it's out at the end of March. So okay, we no, got yeah, about. We, we might months. be able to pull that off. Yeah, I'll... it is. It is. As I'm just thinking about, it, it's like yeah. I guess Moon Knight is like of of all of the upcoming projects like within the next year it's the one i'm probably most inclined to be interested in does um this year does peacemaker the show make you worry about guardians 3 no uh, not really i think i think bit. guardians is gun's baby whereas peacemaker is something he just sort of did sure but i but he apparently he was really interested in the idea of doing it did he was he, I mean, did he, he just say that <laughs> yeah well, right, because I guess it's the whole thing of did somebody come up to him and say we need stuff for HBO Max? We need, we need, uh, we need some, Mar you know, Marvel's doing these shows. We need DC shows on the platform. Can you do Peacemaker? And then he said, Yeah. Who knows? Maybe that was what happened. Hmm. Um, you know, maybe, maybe um, he had to make a show, but like Peacemaker is the one he was most interested in doing. Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, you know, there might be truth to what he says, but. Um, well, I don't know how it, it is, you know. I guess it's just that it would it would seem as though DC is not as bad as Marvel in the, you know, basically the, the cart before the horse, you know? It seems like there is an interest in specific ideas and developing them rather than just announcing the projects and then, you know, make it happen. I don't care who's involved, and even if they get involved, they're not going to put that much of their own stamp on it. Seems like DC's a little bit better than in that regard. Yeah. But maybe they're not. Maybe. Uh... But yeah, uh, we might do a bit of Moon Knight coverage at some point. But the quick version is that we all think it has potential, but it is Disney, so... <laughs> yeah. Do they have the balls to uh, to fully commit to the idea and to explore it meaningfully? No. Well, I don't know, right? It's not It's not a particularly marketable or accessible thing, the idea of dealing with a superhero with multiple personalities that he's having to try and grapple with. I don't even... I, I, I wouldn't even begin to talk about how that's something they can't handle. He's a character. I don't know that they can handle that. Well, he's yeah. multiple characters, you know? Oh, we're doing... I, I, I don't, think, I don't think you're following my point, so why even no, bother I, I... citing that? They can't handle one. Right, exactly. Hey, but, but I think the big thing that might work in the show's favor is that of everything that's coming out, it is, like, the most divorced from everything else. Yay. Who, you know, like, She-Hulk is attached to... Well, as far as we can Hulk, tell. Who is attached to the... We'll, well I mean, it is, right? Moon Knight it is It has a Luke like... Skywalker-level cameo in Episode 3. I'm sure oh, that there will be cameos. Like, they're probably... I'm gonna go ahead and imagine that they want to set up, like, a Midnight Suns kind of, like, a, you know, on that side, a mystical sort of team-up. Um... But 
but that's that's like well, totally yeah, new, right compared to everything else that they're doing they're gonna have to skirt around the blip because everyone skirts around the blip like yeah, any we, people uh, he we're... knows and and you know what happened in his life in the past seven ish years and it's just like we're, mm -hmm. they're not gonna talk about that fuck it probably Maybe he blipped not. Well, that's kind of when he that, came that's, back that's a problem as... either way. If you did or didn't blip, no, like, that has serious I guess, repercussions. I guess, I guess living in the Marvel Universe does also make it harder to tell the difference between your waking life and your dreams. It's like, yeah, Purple Man <laughs> made me disappear Which for five years. Which makes less sense. <laughs> <laughs> I just meant the writing, the general it's... plot of your daily life is so nonsensical, you don't know if it's a dream or not. I'm just saying, it's so unfair. I've been melted by space lizards. You oh, get a no. new character to write, and you're like, right, we gotta actually... <sighs> Because we're after the blip, so now we've got to tell our viewers what his relationships are like and how they were damaged. Because the thing is, if I didn't get to talk to you guys for five years, you know, that's going to do you, stuff. You know, you change. Mm -hmm. You change in that time. Especially when something serious, as major as half the world got yeeted out of existence, that's going to change you. I mean, that's the thing, man. That's already enough work for me to have to do for a TV show. I'd be like, there's so much I can do with that alone. It's like, no, 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 no. That's not... What... Do that and throw a line. We got stuff to do. But it's also, like, yeah. we're not going to tell you about the state of the world. Nope. Because we have to compartmentalize <laughs> that information. <sighs> yeah. Um, uh, fuck, marry, kill, Mario, Link, and Solid Snake. Mario, Link, and Solid Snake? Yeah. Um, Mario I guess seems we like wanna... a provider. Yeah, I think Mario would be the most normal person to live with, and Mario and Link are kind of similar in a way, uh, Link where like they're... Twelve? Link? There's no, adult he's an Link. adult. There's, there's adult well, there's, Link, and yeah, then there's... Yeah, all kinds of Links. Kid Link. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I assume we're talking about... Toon Link, Link, and then there's, like, yeah. There are, How old there is are Toon many Link? Different... Well, he's a kid. Um, there okay. are, but they're all different people, or, or at least a lot of them are different people. From what I understand, the idea is, like, each Link... Like, links just keep getting born, and then in their own Linked. different time, they they go on their own little story. So, like, the link from Ocarina of Time is not the link from Wind Waker. It's Something not the link. link from Twilight Princess. That's his name, Link. Ah. <laughs> you killed Rags. No, we're there. We're good. We're good. Why it's can't fine. he be called, like, Lonk? Yeah. Lonk. <laughs> Legend of Zelda. Zaldo. I thought yeah, I thought he was called Zelda. Zuldi. Oh, <laughs> well, it's just I thought right. his name she's was called, Halo. She's called John Metroid, Halo, right? Her name is Metroid. <laughs> Metroid, Halo, and Zelda team up for an incredible <laughs> I mean, the journey. Doom guy, that's like the one where it works. He is Doom, <laughs> you know, in a certain from a certain point of view. <laughs> Prices on infinite Nintendos. Yeah. The Nintendo Cinematic Universe will probably happen eventually. Good God. Yeah. <laughs> Created by Illumination. How exciting. Written by Zack Snyder. Hopefully. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Mario, I don't even want to be Mario, you know, Mario in real life, you know, he'd be committing atrocities, embezzling money, oh, lying yeah. to America, and if you... Stealing you coins, like, yeah, mushroom hoarding King mushrooms. Get it right. Lying to I the killed to your people. mother, Link. <laughs> so, um... Princess Peach had her chance. Mario versus Donkey Kong. It's no like, reaction to that. My, my heart break. Donkey's a brain. I, oh, I guess Gorilla's a brain. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey's a brain. <laughs> fights Mario. Donkey's are brave. <laughs> so we kill in Solid Snake? And marry Mario? For the idea. I mean, um, we can try to no, kill I, Solid I think Snake. I, I, think I'd, I think I'd fuck Solid Snake uh, and then kill Link. I would too. I think uh, the problem Mario. with... Well, I don't know. Is I don't know enough about Solid Link Snake. Well, so, I think the big thing is I can have a conversation with Mario and, and, and Solid Snake. I can't have a conversation with Link. He doesn't talk. Uh -huh. well, so, it's like, um, so, it's like, okay, so... Really, you know, Link is a, a twink and... Solid Snake. He's he's more Is of he? like a, a macho. I thought he was straight. He likes he likes the Zelda. He wants to uh, he likes Zelda. Wait, what right? do you think Twink means? I'm just so no, Link. Link just goes on adventures to save the the kingdom. He's he's a hero. He's just Twink. A, twink just Twink. Twink, twink just means walk. like you know body like type, that not... kind of, yeah, that kind of person. Okay. All right, all right. 
I don't think a twink necessarily is gay. Because um, I, I, I thought that they sort of were, but that's fine if they're not. I, just, I, I, I think it has a gay implication, but... Um, I don't think yeah, because because a lot of the time you don't hear girls saying, I want to fuck that twink. Yeah. <laughs> but like, um, I, you know, Solid Snake is kind of a twink and, and Link... Uh, no, no, the is other he? way around. I don't think so. No, so, sorry, Snake is a macho guy and Link is more of a twink. So I think just... Which one I fucking kill probably depends on my mood, really, because in terms of killing them, I don't know much about their personality, so I can't really make a judgment there. Oh, that, was, that was my piece. That's okay. Now um, do your war. I, yeah, I don't know what I can, conversation-wise, yeah, I, I don't know if, like, Link talks and has conversations, and if, sometimes I wonder if there's a brain in there at all. You just have to, like, wave your hand in front of his eyes to see if he someone's home. He might be home. a cyborg. He oh. might be a cyborg or just some empty vessel without, I, I just don't know. I need a, um, I, I, I feel like I, my inability to have reasonable conversations with a person in my daily life might determine whether or not they live or die in a somebody, scenario such as this. Somebody in the chat just mentions, what about people blipping into demolished buildings? What about if you were on a plane and you just blip well, back that, that, into No, the no, no. We were talking about that and much more. The, the line is, the line, line is guide adventures. them back to safety. It's pretty. No, it isn't. It isn't. That's not what? the line. What is That's the line? That's not the line. The it's, line it's is- It's definitely not plump them back exactly where they fuck were. Him no, up, he says, fuck no, him no, up. no, 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 so, oh, no. So the line is, we're just bringing back the people who got blipped, no one else. So all of the people who died in the interim, they're just dead. Which means yeah. half of the Asgardians are dead. A lot of people are dead, because a Why lot of people just... have died in those five years. And then, this is all that Hulk says, everybody comes home. That's it. That's all he's got. That doesn't mean anything. What does that mean, everybody comes home? It doesn't I, explicitly mean that they're going to reappear in exactly the same place as they disappeared. They do, but they do but they reappear do. in exactly yeah. the same place that they disappeared. In Far From Home, they appear in the exact place they were. I guess it's they were. if well, do it's we safe see for them to be there? there? Yeah, so that's that's a safe place for them to appear. I don't see why they would it's appear. It's not safe. People get, but no, it's not safe. People get bumped into, knocked over, hurt. Well, that's what not that bad. Bumped? Yeah, that's not really like a... Like, so am I to man, these, these goalposts, holy yeah. shit. Yeah, like holy well, shit. Well, I've not set the goalposts anywhere. They say that they come back exactly well, a... where they were where they no they, they never say from. that yes they do in when? far from home they do and they do show they? it yes what's the line <laughs> that they come back exactly where they were and they make a joke out of it because they want to be funny funny but it's not because is a it, lot of people is it die. explicitly like everyone I'm sorry, comes back exactly you're not where they were? Just, <laughs> well let me let me ask let me ask this i'm just is asking it, questions for yes, we're just okay, asking yeah, questions is it explicit that everyone comes back exactly where they were Yes, because we see it so many times. We've seen several examples well, now. Have we seen One anyone disappear? Project? Like, for, have we seen anyone well, me, like who disappeared on a plane? Ha, let we me ask a, this: We saw a helicopter that crashed because yeah. the people. So the people who got deleted from that. The yeah. So have we seen them? So have we seen that person reappear? So or did you're they just telling me that in I the need middle to of the sky. people and. So, that's absurd that I now have here, to find that. I the think here is they something. Need to give me an explanation. I, I, I don't think need to make there's. One for them. Is it reasonable to say that maybe the stones, whenever they do a power, or whenever you use them for a power, there is some connection they have with the user's mind so in terms of what they want to execute? Um, I feel like you could try and make that case. I don't think it's a particularly strong point, though. If we're talking about something that controls all of reality, like, what, what do we... What am I supposed to be thinking right. about? Because, uh, like, let's put it this way. My benefit of the doubt that I give to them is planets move and you're not teleporting everybody into space. I'll give them that. I'm not going to give them that they're all safe. Because we, so see, like, we see we see that they're not safe. We see that people get teleported into well, so very... Like, okay, so what happens places. if they're on a small spaceship then? Do they get I, teleported again, to where the spaceship I, is now? Well, so, so this is what I'm saying. I don't think it works because if I was being, if I was, you know, being real with it, they should be all be teleported into space because the planets move. Space moves, everything moves, the planet so, is spinning. Uh, but if we give them that, that the stones are somehow able to intuit that planets exist and people want to be on them, we see in like one division, we see in Far From Home, I'm pretty sure there are other examples of the blip too. In people Hawkeye, just yeah. go back to where they were. I think Hawkeye has one with Yelena. So if um, they were on a plane, for example, right, unless the plane crashed, would it not be reasonable to assume that they reappear on the plane where it is now? No, I think it would be reasonable to assume that they're teleported to midair where they were when they got deleted. Why? Because, like, surely... Because that's if, what we if see it, of If they follow the planet, on... we, we well, don't see sure, anyone but... appear in midair. 
yes, we don't because they don't want to deal with that because they want to show yeah, us the that it's nice and happy and that it's all fine. But well, it's I'm happy not to fine. accept they don't want to deal with it, but I, I don't I, think that so, the assumption should be so, that they appear so, in midair. Like we don't, but, we just don't but, have an explanation. But, so we do. The explanation is you come back where you were deleted from. That's what. Also, they tell yeah, us. but where you were deleted from is like okay. So you don't literally appear in space, right? You don't because the planets no, move. No, because so I'll give them how, that. How micro do you? How how much of a micro scale do you have to get on before it's reasonable to assume that they appear in the thing that they like on the thing that they disappeared on, right? What, Relative what, to the thing that was that so, they were so, standing on. No, so, so what? So where do? So what? So you're telling me that, like, if you get blipped on a, a flight from New York to London, and then that plane is used for a flight to go to, like, Kuala Lumpur, that it would destroyed. be reasonable for me to assume that they teleported to the plane in Kuala Lumpur, where someone might be sitting in the plane. Did you just want to say Kuala? Be them to be telepo no, because the full name oh, is Kuala oh, okay. Lumpur. Okay, I just, okay. So I, don't see, I know, I don't I know, I know the place, but I, I just was curious. That's why you assuming that they, are in, that they appear in the it. sky. Because I got told that they go where exactly where they were, and exactly but the, where but you they were go where the they planet. were relative to something, relative to a yeah, planet, relative, relative to, planet to... Earth. relative to planet Earth. Yes, so they are in the well, same we... place on planet Earth in the sky. Why yeah, we so, see okay, anybody... so what if someone was traveling in a small, like a one-person spaceship uh, in the middle of space? Do we assume you're they... dead? I, I what, assume that you're dead. Or do they appear yet. relative? So they appear relative oh, to so, what? Just so, in the same so, position in space, or relative to a planet? I. So that's 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 the point that I'm making is that I think it's really bad because people are just going to get teleported to incredible. It's the, they should have reversed time. That's what they should have done. They should have reversed time, gone back five years, bring everybody who's been born, anybody you know, like into it. That that if there are kids who've been born in the five year interim, we want to make sure that we don't rob them of their chance to live. And I assume that if the stones are all powerful and control reality, that they have the capacity to do that. Rewind time, bring everybody back, uh, take us back, and then you don't have to deal with all the logistics of who are all the people who died during the blip, uh, who are all the people who got displaced during the blip, like refugee crisis, kids who lost their parents. Um, we don't have to deal with all the people who probably killed themselves in the blip if they lost their whole family, or like, I don't want to live anymore, or all of the wars that would have broken out for resources because of the blip. We don't have to deal with food insecurity because we had a planet with 3.5 billion people that all of a sudden needs to cater to double that population. We don't have to deal with any of the breakdown in infrastructure. It just oh yeah, those, those are all problems. Yeah, so it's it's all terrible, is the point. That a lot of people died when they get blipped back in. A lot of people died during the five-year interim. The world is in a lot of trouble, because when half the world dies, like, we can see in, you know, when a third of Europeans died in the Middle Ages, that was significant in terms of I, the I, changes. I, I, the only thing that I take issue with is why are we assuming they appear relative to the because nearest I got planet told, rather I got, than... I got told that they come back exactly where they disappear but from. You know it's, but you know that, that it's relative to something because they don't yes, appear in the middle of space. Yes, it's relative to the planet Earth. Why, why, why assume that? Because I have to, because shown? they all teleport back to planet Earth exactly where they were on planet Earth. That's all I've got. Well, we keep getting shown that. Any, That's all we've been shown. You don't see any, but you've never, you've never seen someone reappear in a, like, a vehicle, right? I've seen them right? reappear exactly where they were, and I've been told that they reappear exactly oh, yeah, where but, they were. But you've never seen point. the situation that we are describing take place so, of someone who was in a so vehicle if we're, if reappearing. We're gonna use, if we're going to use this argument, then it means that we lose a lot of points that we raise for a lot of other things, where they don't show That's us something it. that is logical. Yes. Because I know, because I, I don't think that that is the logical assumption to make. I think it's entirely a logical. I'm assumption somewhat with Jay because of the nature of the see stone's people, ability like, to perceive the will of the oh, user. Yeah. Well, you way. don't yeah. see, you don't so you, you only see one scenario happen. You you never see we, another no, scenario see, happen, see, and both see, no, both assumptions are equally like, logical. We see multiple scenarios happen of people teleporting exactly where they were. But but no one who was no one who has another potential object to be relative to you don't see that unless you see it in like some so show I, I haven't watched. So I think it is way more reasonable for me to assume that the shows that the stones can intuit the planets. Um, I don't see how it makes sense that the stones can intuit inanimate objects. Based like, on uh, what? The planet is an inanimate object. It's just I know a very that the big planet one. is an inanimate object, like, but again, they, they don't they don't all get teleported into space. So it's like, okay, so clearly it has something to do with the planet. Surely the stones going. would have knowledge of all those things, right? Would they? I imagine like, based on what they're they're supposed to be like these manifestations of a part of the universe, but and the, the way that they can, home. in terms yeah, of the them coming back to the. They, so like they, the, the band were people. in the middle of like a, yeah, band, a basketball exactly. game or something? It was a basketball game and they all bump into each other. And in one division, uh, Monica teleports into a chair. And when she goes outside, there are like people teleporting, getting bumped Screaming. into each other and getting knocked over. It is not... 
the stones have clearly not brought people back safely because people are getting hurt. Um, and so if they're not bringing people back safely, why would I infer that they understand that people in plane should not be... Dr like, I might have believed that that's what Thor was thinking and that the stones are capable of understanding that. Especially when he's saying... Thor? Oh, we just bring... You mean Hulk? Uh, sorry, Hulk. Yeah, Hulk. Yeah, get um, wrecked. You made a mistake. Yeah, that means I'm, I'm totally so right. Do we um, see anyone get brought back in a way that's actually dangerous? Well, I mean, if I'm standing in the middle of a basketball court and I'm playing like an instrument and someone runs into me and I fall onto that instrument, I could hurt myself. Yeah, I, I yeah. happily call like, that dangerous. You could, you, you could get I'd hurt, like, but like... What if I'm on a road? Like if I was driving, where do I get teleported? Do I get teleported well, into my car? Yeah, I guess I'm just curious if based on sense. what we see... So what if my car's been impounded and crushed? Where do I go? That I don't know. is... Okay, so what if your planet's the... been destroyed? Where do you go? I you're dead. That would be I my assume answer. they bring you back to just dead. space someplace. Yeah, you'd be brought into space and die. I think I have a joke in the script that the astronauts in like the International Space Station got teleported into space and died because that's because I don't I don't see how the stones can intuit these kinds of things. So okay, so how big does the thing you're on have to be before the stones teleport you back to it, so, right? So, so if you're on a tiny the, spaceship so, in the middle of space, so, we're assuming so, I guess that yeah, you die. Yeah. Jay, I'll, I'll stop you there. In my ideal script of Endgame, they sit down and have a conversation about these things. They sit down and they start thinking about well, what we need to deal with the planets. No, but I'm, I, am, I am probing your argument that, um, that you don't appear relative to, like, if you're in a tiny spaceship, you don't appear relative to that. But if you're in a planet, you do appear relative to that. What about nowhere, which is like a big floating skull in space? Do you appear relative to that? How small would nowhere have to get before so, it's no longer reasonable to assume that you appear well, so, relative to it? So, if I'm giving you my full argument, my full point would be the planets do move. I was about to say so this, probably should be this whole conversation was space. when he gave you the planet. He didn't necessarily have to. I'm giving you the to. planet. I don't. I don't think it's a great. I don't think it's a great explanation. I don't think they thought of it. I'm just saying that I can give them that. Um, I think it's a lot harder to help me. It's what we're showing um, in the media is that you appear relative to stuff. Relative to the planet, yes. Well, that it's because every, because, well, because most people are on planets, yeah. But like that, you the the inference is just you appear relative to stuff that you were standing on before, yeah, right? But again, they said exactly where you got displaced from. Why would she say that if many people didn't get put exactly where they got displaced from? Why would um, she say what, that? Where, that what, 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 what is that line in? Far from home. Um, I mean, who's hang on? Who says it? Betty Brant. Right. Um. So, most people do appear exactly where they were displaced from. Do Is they? it not reason? Well, do yeah, they? we really? see it. How many? How many people are in cars at any given time? Not, not the majority of people. A no, lot of people, a shit though. Ton, though. Enough, what enough, we agree enough that? that exactly where you came back seems like well, yeah, a an, shit ton. An, accurate, an, an accurate way to describe it at that point, I would say. So, if you come back at where you were relative to a planet, would be would it be reasonable for her to assume that's how it works? Um, well, so the problem is, again, they don't give us enough information. They like to gloss over it because it's a difficult thing to answer. Um, I but guess that's not a difficult thing to answer, though. Like, well, it, it is shouldn't because be. What, well, well, so the, so the reason why I would say that it is is because again, the Avengers should have had a conversation about what they were actually going to do. Um, well, should, we just we, well, the only line that you need is that it guided people to safety, right? Yeah, no, but you didn't give me that line. You just said they came back exactly. Well, that's that what I'm saying. Is it's not it, it's not a hard thing to to, to justify. It's um, not a hard thing to write. Th th then it's on us. Once they say that line, we have to guess exactly how it deals yeah. with everything. But I don't think it's a. It, I don't think it's a thing that you really need to go into the details of. It's like I do. I think because I definitely you, you do. In Falcon and Winter Soldier, that like this displacement issue is causing big problems. It's gonna, it affects every story going forward. There. Like we need to know how it works. It's the most significant events in the whole universe, and we have very little information on what it actually did. So if an individual instance is important to the story, then you can explore that. But like, I don't see how it's important to explain. Okay, people were guided back to to safety because okay, if they so weren't, like, then the Avengers killed a lot of people by bringing. No, no, no. Back. I know. I know. No, yeah. that's not what. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it's like I don't see why it's important if we have the line in there just saying, okay, people were guided back to safety. 
I don't see why it is well, then give important you a really to have a low um, stakes like, example. Like if the new story was about Rags, the superhero, and he's his family all came back, but they were on an airplane and they were sent to safety. Meaning they were the the stones decided the next nearest safe, sort of best place to put them is fucking Britain. Like Rags' whole yeah. family were there, especially during a time of strife because of all of the potential civil wars breaking out, all the resource stretch, and it's just like yeah. Uh, Maybe he was separated from his family for that long, and they can't. You know, just like there's there's loads of little things that can happen. Yeah, um, there are, but like you don't. I, I don't see why you need. You don't. If you are writing Endgame, right? You don't need to explain all of those details until they are significant to a story, right? Because like if 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 we're talking about Rags the superhero, who that happens to, then you know, sure, go into that and explore that. But in Endgame itself, I don't feel that that detail is, is at all necessary. I think it's in, I think it is entirely necessary because I am making judgments about the decisions the Avengers are making. I was about to say, um, yeah, it, all I'd have to do is change I the argument that, to the characters. I need to know yeah. that they're making a moral decision. Well, that, so that's, well, that's if, okay, like so if the lioness so, guide them oh, back to safety, then... What does so that mean? I still think, what does that mean? Yeah. What does that mean for like a, a kid who got displaced and their parents moved to a different country? And Somehow Palpatine died? returned. What the fuck does that mean? How do we how do we guide them to safety? You know, like what what are we gonna do? Well, at least the inference is that they're not repeat uh, like uh, reappearing in midair if they were on a plane, right? So, they're not so, reappearing. So so uh, let's let's put it this way even if i grant you everything that it understands planets and it puts everybody down safely we're still working with a problem because there are a lot of people who are in serious trouble now and what about people They're in like in little boats yeah. how much water Marines. do they need to be in before the stones are like that's not safe exactly it's like we don't need to see every eventuality to understand that the stones they're trying their best I so we can explore I in, we can we can explore but, eventualities but when they said, come up, but it's not relevant I need to, to this hear, individual. I need to hear Tony acknowledge that. Right. Yeah, I want I want a conversation about what they're doing because in my in in this world where I'm thinking about this, it's like man, a lot of people are gonna just die when they come back. Um and I and I guess to, to hammer the point home, even if I grant everything that the stones can figure that out and put everybody back safely and and, and everything. A lot of people are still in some serious trouble. Yeah, because we're dealing yeah, with some of the most because... intelligent and courageous people in the world, and they're they're killing everybody if if they they're don't take this seriously. A lot of people, yeah, um, and they don't take it seriously. They have barely a conversation about it at all. And remember, the only reason why we're doing it this way is because Tony doesn't want to risk losing his family. That's his. That's his. His. Which his rationale needs to be for a this decision. Big set of scenes yeah. relating to all of that. Well, there's a scene where Rocket's like, "No, I'm no, we're not doing it that way." I'm I'm bringing back uh, I'm bringing back Groot and everybody. We're we're reversing time. We're not going to let this happen to him. Um, would people coming back keep their momentum? This is what I mean. It's like I've I've jumped ahead because we'll get to the super chat later. I think that it doesn't work. Um, I think that it's pretty dumb. And I think that what we would have been really cool is if we had a scene, maybe even like a 10, 15 minute scene that's just them sitting around a board thinking about how they're going to do this. I'm thinking about what decisions they're going to make to bring people back and where whether they should reverse time and the logistics of reversing time and making sure that nobody gets left behind um but we don't want to do that we want a nice happy ending where you don't think about what happens oh yeah they have tried um, i honestly think some of them might even hate the russos at this point the writers of these other projects they're like you fuckers making me yeah. having to deal with this shit i'm not going to deal with it someone else can deal with it mm-hmm and to be fair, like I said, uh, I would want to deal with it. I would want to take ages, but my, I'm pretty sure my fucking studio would be like, uh, "Excuse you, you're you're getting on with the story about the man with the powers to shrink the man or with the, the powers yeah, to yeah, you know, whatever." And we're gonna. Mm. It's this huge stain on the MCU, as if it needs that, you know, on top of everything else that's going on. Is the DCEU better? Um, I think, I think, uh, the DCEU, I, I would say that if you were to ask me the quantity of projects from the DC side that I'm more interested in, it might be higher at this point. Um, because I'm interested in Batman, and depending on how good that is, I may be interested in the spin-off stuff they're doing with that. It could be cool to see Michael Keaton Batman again and Flash. I don't know. It could. 
It also, could, uh, Russo's didn't write it, answer. they just didn't argue with it. It's like, I don't know. Well, sure, but I mean, they're the directors, they're ultimately responsible for the and story. And surely it was up to them to decide whether or not they would make it a reversal of time or a, um, bring everyone back. Yeah, um... I can't imagine I why I it wouldn't be up to them at that point. I think, I think it's just a frustrating thing for me of, it's a really significant, it is the most significant, arguably the most significant event in human history. Um, and we're not very interested in exploring it properly. Yeah. Um, right. And I mean, I agree with most of this stuff completely, right? There could be a TV show Watch for that. it. Specifically there about the civilians. There should be Avengers blip. Event yeah, yeah, there, there should be where we see what happens when the well, people like the, are trying to get their lives together. The slot that was filled up by um, Ant-Man and the Wasp and Captain Marvel uh, uh, should have been filled up by two movies set in the interim yeah. while 50% of the population are gone. Yeah. We don't appear to be interested in doing those types of projects with superhero stuff. We want to do... We could easily have had an Avengers movie. How we we could have, but it seems like what they want to do is character. You know, we don't we don't do projects that are their own little thing. If it's not a crossover, it is for one character, or a small group of characters. Like, we don't we don't. As well, if we um if we do another rise. Avengers movie in the middle, mm -hmm. then people might start to believe. Like, what if there actually was a five hour a five hour five year five gap year, between yeah. uh, Endgame and uh, well, so Infinity so War? That that's my where we have an point. Avengers movie in the middle, people would start to believe. Oh shit, this is actually just well, done. Like this is how it's gone. Thanos I one. I don't think I mentioned it in the video, but um, to, to almost hammer the point home, the gap between Infinity War and Endgame chronologically is equivalent to the gap between Iron Man 3 and Infinity War. And think about everything that happened in those five years in the MCU. The Accords, Ultron, whole bunch of new heroes rising up, uh, the destruction of Asgard. It's a villains. very significant period of history. Countries. Yet the five years in the blip is nothing. It's it's nothing. It's it's nothing happened. Nothing of notes really happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was even the question? Who knows? Oh, it was fuck Mary Kill. Mario Link Solid Snake. <laughs> of course. Obviously. I was gonna say Welcome that makes to sense. Tangent tap. And the next question is fuck Mary Kill, adult Sonic Tails Knuckles. No, I don't know I'm anything not, about not, these characters. I don't know. I don't want to do anything to any of those no. creatures. Did Fringo, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know anything about them. Did Fringo ever say yes, sir, before? Yes, sir. Like, like yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know if they're trying to. Am I allowed to get out of my car in this? Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, you screwed it up. No. Wait, is there no lift up? I thought there was. I thought there was. Um, oh boy. Get back in your car. You can't risk it. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Ah, fuck's sake. Uh, Fringy, would you ever have a human intercourse with an emu if it meant eternal peace and prosperity in the land of Australia? That doesn't sound like human intercourse. That sounds like emu intercourse. Yeah, that sounds like yeah, Fringy as well. Cool. Like semi-human intercourse. Sounds like Fringy is there. A, that just sounds like you're fucking a bird. Yeah. But would you, though, Fringy? What, what's the next super chat? Yes, uh, I would. I wish Mary got Aowen in the end. Mary? Yeah. That would've been cute. Um, Heil Rags. Heil. Hot takes. I'm 22. <laughs> I've never seen Lord of the Rings. I enjoy Pineapple on Pizza, and the sequel trilogy was my first foray into Star Wars. Thoughts? Those aren't hot well, takes, except for the pizza one. Fault. Yeah, the it's hot It's not really a take, it's just a description of an event. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not really your fault. Neither is the first one, actually, Lord of the Rings. Like I said, none of them are hot takes except for the pizza. Which is a except disgusting take. Yeah. In fact, I'm it's pretty sure I died because no. you said that. The Lord of the Rings thing is a I'll hot take because people. if you're, like, in the realm of, like, media content, if that's your one job. required viewing things, you know, it's like saying, I love books, but I've never read, like, Yeah, like, imagine Ryan. being a person who hadn't seen Lord of the Rings, or worse, being someone who started it up and then didn't even finish it. <laughs> that would, like dude, that'd be hours. worse. How could you start one and not finish it? Yeah. yeah, at that point, you'd be a pariah. You wouldn't even be able to, like, have a voice on the internet at all. Who would do that? I can't think of anybody. I... That's insane. It's that's purely, insane. It's one of those hypotheticals where you're like, why even bother when it's so unrealistic? Yeah, to start <laughs> it... I zoned out for a moment for my game, and, like, I zoned back in, and I'm like, what are you... Oh, I know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, did you see Critical's take on BW was odd, also high. Black Widow? 
Uh, I'm assuming that's what that. I don't know. Black but, uh, women. That's we established that as a whole. Yeah, I, I don't remember when that was, but some that that happened, right? Someone heard, heard like heard BW and was like, "That stands for black women." Maybe I'm. Maybe yeah, yeah I guess so. Maybe the last. It's ringing a bell for me. Because uh, some of the black widows are black women. Yes. Especially the one with the big puffy afro. The assassin with the the astro friend. I don't know. Point is that is not appropriate hair design if you are a assassin. You think they wouldn't devote all of the funding and time and effort that goes into keeping that, you know, up there if you're supposed to be a secret assassin. EFAP always makes Wick bearable. Love you guys. Aww. Oh, I'm Last glad. Hell. I think we're just friends, but I really, really appreciate that. I hope you. Have... We're not even friends, actually, now that I think about it. Who I hope Wick is bearable today. He'll be assuming you are working right now. I don't even Absolutely. Know. Regardless of our relationship status currently, I do hope you have a great day. And your day is bearable. Uh, will the only thing worse than an unbearable day. Will y'all ever do a stone knee fab? <laughs> like, is that a movie? Please. Stone? I think that might be against TOS. Is it? I don't know. It might be. <laughs> it might be. No, I think I, I it might no be. Idea. I don't know. It could be, I wouldn't be, have though. thought so. Probably not. I don't know. Ooh. I feel like it, I don't yeah, know. I don't know. That's a, that's I feel a like toughie. advertising it as such probably might be, but I, I don't know actually. I could oh, see yeah, it going both ways. We could ways. get away with it because we could just not tell people. But at the same time, I don't know that doing that openly is against the OS. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. No, I it just... isn't because I've seen like I've seen content farms do like um, stuff where the people in it are stoned. Um, but. Uh, at the same time, it might be depending on your region if it's legal where you are. Maybe, yeah, that could be it. Maybe. I know Drunken yeah. Peasants did a whole episode so of just, just having someone explain loads of different strains, how to take them the best, and then... Where to so get those if stuff, we so. just all go to Holland, you all know, right. and, and then we just we, we start the EFAP, hi, we are in Holland now. Yeah. And then, then we show it. Fine. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Have you met It's a Gundam? Well, yeah, so Jay's question was more so, because I don't know if Gundam ever fucking titles his things as I am high in this video, and <laughs> like, I don't, I'm pretty sure he just is high. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's allowed, because I have seen uh, videos titled, like, stoned people do this. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm thinking. But, um, On, like, big channels. Doing it without announcing it, of course you can get away with that. What if yeah. I told you that I was high right now? I'm just very coherent. I mean, you're pretty uh -huh. long, so... Shut up. Always racism. Oh. When was the last time you guys had milk from a carton? Uh, I'm, all my milk is in a carton. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. More... I understood in a cur on a curtain, and I was very confused. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just like oh. it's wet, you have to like you have to wring it out like you're drying <laughs> yeah, it. I, milk. I you you hold it above your head and you wring it out and you suck. Yeah. 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 Curtain milk is all right. More Girl of a German thing, milk. I think. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I want Bowser to have another game. Wait, Bowser had a game? Did he? My knowledge. No problemo. Um, but yeah, I'm on board with him having a game. Do it. Be sympathetic. Yeah. Female no. leprechaun. Make it like Magneto, where he's got like a family and a little farm or whatever, and then Mario comes in and beats him the fuck up, and then he's like, I'm gonna become a villain now. Would be great. Uh, female leprechauns are super hot. Mm. All right. Is this the same guy as last time who wants to fuck leprechauns or whatever? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember. Or, or, or is this someone replying to them like, "No, I get you, man. I get you." Everyone feels this way about leprechauns. It's fine. Uh, did you know there was a? Hut? I fucked seven leprechauns. Were they Just big? putting that out there. Put it back in. Yeah, put it back in. No one wants to see it. Oh. Did you know there was a hut Jedi called Beldorian who had a lightsaber duel with Leia in the EU? <laughs> sounds what? hilarious. That sounds yeah, funny as fuck. That does this, sound hilarious. This version of Leia sounds way more interesting. Fucking anything this is more interesting than what we got from her in Sequels. Yeah. 
Except she beat Luke in the lightsaber fight because she's amazing. That's I don't feel. Like, does, okay, so does this hut do like the nimble Jedi flips and <laughs> floops and stuff? If he doesn't, what's maybe the point? He's, maybe he's so slimy and disgusting that nobody wants maybe. to come even close to him. That rags. How do you think the hut listeners to EFAP will feel yeah. hearing you say that? They'll probably be like, "Yeah, that sounds accurate." I uh, want to say they'll rub themselves. Rags' opinions like, don't necessarily goo. reflect EFAP's opinions, and uh, I think all huts are beautiful. Do you think I huts? Think... Do you think they um they like they 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 rub themselves and then they eat the goo off the scent off themselves? Oh my god, that's fucking disgusting! Jesus Christ! Uh, that's, uh, oh Jay's my god! just appreciating nature's cycles, and I think that's beautiful in its own way. The, the truth that is beautiful, is as Wonder Woman would say. <laughs> I don't see how that. I don't see how that's the most disgusting. Like, I don't see of everything that I've ever said to you. That's <laughs> oh my god! Way. Oh, that's no. disgusting. <laughs> Jesus Christ, no, there's something about that that is actually the most disgusting thing that you have ever like, said in your life. I'm say thinking it again, about it now, it's like... Him. No, you know, it's, no, it doesn't fine. matter. It's headphones like, aren't even on my little doggy. It's like a little hut eating the goo, like, like just real... Oh, they, they ring it, they, they, they soak it, it up matter. with a curtain and they hold the curtain above themselves <laughs> and you ring it out. <laughs> that's where the curtain milk comes from. God that's damn. What, that's the curtain milk. Nasty. <laughs> oh, I, like I'm... <sighs> And it like dribbles oh, around just, their lips just and they lick it about up. It. Oh man. Hi rags, hot seating their own oh. goo. <laughs> Sorry, what's that? Hot seating their own goo. Oh fuck. That's actually <laughs> that's that's so goddamn disgusting, Jay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Rags, oh, you know, my... it's a beautiful process. Oh my I, god. I can't believe that you're that you hate hut culture this much. Yeah. And you don't... You right, don't so how do you think they have children? That's how, that's the yeah. way it's done. They that's hot goo? foreplay. Yeah, oh, that they I vomit it back oh, up. Hey. And oh, then they it again. Someone should just wrote better give me 10k points and start a stream so I can kick Jay. <laughs> no. Oh my god, it's nasty. Next I'm glad that I found this out about you, Rags. Right? This, is, this is like your... This is your disgust button. Yeah. Just this... Ugh. That ain't right. You know, the twins do it for each other, Rags. <laughs> What's weird is that somehow that's less disgusting if it's, some, if it's you twins. In a weird... I don't know what it is. <clears throat> well, you know, they're only, um, they're only step twins, so... Step twin? Oh, what are you doing one. with my goo? <laughs> what? They've never <laughs> stepped in their whole life. Well, yeah, they're worms. Lug things. Ugh. I just don't know how a species like that exists, you know? Like, how did you... Literally, did Jay you, just well, explained it to you. Slugs do exist in the real world. That's, <laughs> yeah, but you know, that's... The point, no, 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 no. I mean, Liar. like, in, in this capacity, to this... Like, I don't know how... Because <laughs> at least a slug is, like, really small, and they only come out at night. Not all of them. Some, there are big species of slugs. <laughs> they only come out uh, at night. What does this have to do with whether or not you <laughs> believe they exist? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. What no. if on uh, what if on Hutter, like the uh, the Huts are uh, actually one of the smallest life forms, and everything else is much bigger? <laughs> Would you believe them then? Yeah. I don't know if if they were maybe able to hide sufficiently from things that well, maybe they're so disgusting, nothing on that planet wants to. Maybe eat they're them. poisonous. <laughs> maybe yeah, maybe they are poisonous. Yeah, like a neuter branch. It's so disgusting. None of the predators will eat them. <laughs> That's that's a that's a that's I mean, a that's common natural yeah. defense mechanism. Yeah, that's that's the th that's a done thing. Yeah, yeah. Some things pretend to be. Like but, they, but, but, mo but like, come, but most start creatures, their own slime. most creatures do it. Yeah, most creatures do it like by having a disgusting taste. Whereas huts, they just a predator sees them and they start eating their own goo. And the predator's <laughs> like, like, nah. Ugh. Yeah, nah, that's I'm like, okay. Like, the more scared they are, the more chunkier it comes out, and they sort of. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, right. Oh, Do you find it more gross or less gross hot. that they would have to chew their own goo? Um, uh, <laughs> it's so that is for you. It's really tough to say. Uh, like the goo gets all chunky. We've some great hut and bantha lore today. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Well, we can we can move on to the next one if you you know. No, no, no. Let's no. no I don't no. think I, I like the hot goo. I like the hot goo talk. That's it's just that's my so vibe. Disgusting. I mean, that's what's making me enjoy it. 
<laughs> it's your is sheer chatter? level of disgust. Who do they want us to fuck or marry? Oh, or who, yeah, what was the who's the next super chat? Uh, the next one is play Hades, you cabbages. I already did. Yeah, it's good. Oh, it's very good. All right. I think it's on my wish list. I'm not sure though. I'm pretty sure it's on Xbox Game Pass by now. Oh well, that settles that. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I love drunk rags, but I want to hear high rags. Also, high hi. rags. Oh, hi. It's easier than ever to acquire now. Uh, I don't know what they're referring to. Like, high rags? Oh. Hi. Play cabbages, you Hades. Oh. oh. I mean, I had salad today. Does that count? No. Oh, okay. Uh, Just checking. White Wizard was meant to spearhead the fight against Sauron. The Grey Wizard traveling and mustering. Since Saruman no longer was doing the job of Valar, made Gandhi Saruman as he should have been. Yeah, that's what I understood it to be. Uh, I would like to note that Fleem is a medical instrument for bloodletting. <laughs> that's, that's great. It's not spelled the way I would spell Fleem, great. though. It's F L E A M, while well, I would say F L E E M. F L E E M. Yeah, that's yeah. E double E is objectively the funniest spelling. Yes. True. <laughs> it, is. it actually is. It's also you would, a you would say that it's... of sharpening sore teeth. What about F L E M E? Flem. Flemmy. Like, that's almost like maybe that's the, the high class spelling. Yeah, I guess. Like a guinea? Hmm. Because it's Character that's the kid's guinea is like twenty flame. What? Character plot world and flame. Character plot world <laughs> and flame. <laughs> um Don't kick Jay. That's fair enough. Uh high rags. You might like Doom Ooh. Eternal's horde mode. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I would. Maybe, Maybe I'd not. really enjoy it. Maybe that would just tickle my nipples the right way. Mm. I love tickling your nipples. With I hot goo. You. Oh, fuck, no. Uh. <laughs> Get it right on his nipples? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. Ah. Oh, chunky. like, it's weird. I rubbed my belly when you said that as if there was actually, <laughs> like, I, oh, god damn it. It's so disgusting. Does your cruelty know no limits, Jay. No. Oh, There's no limits it's to bad it. Bad enough when another creature was ingesting its own goo. It's bad enough when it's on me. Wait, it, that's its life cycle. It needs it. Oh yeah. my god. It's a part of its digestion process is that it, 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 it creates the goo on its body and then it eats it again. Yeah. Like it, it comes up thicker each pores? time until it's too thick to like, eat and then they die. That's like the life cow, cows oh like puke god. in their own mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a horrible. <laughs> wow. It just gets crusty skin and it clogs up all of its pores and it well chokes. It. <laughs> I mean, well, I'm just telling you the facts, man. I'm not, you know. <laughs> That's how they commit suicide. They just ravenously consume their own Which goods. They do a lot. You, I could tell they're fat as shit. How does that have why? <laughs> What a, I want to see what a buff hut looks like, you know? That would be awesome. What does a really buff hut look like? Hang on. I'm uh, sure you could Google it. Someone will tell us. Ugh. Hi, Rags. Hi. Also, thanks for so many hours of entertaining content. You're all incredibly talented. Aww. Mm. Oh, thank you. What, even me? Thank you. I was going to no. say, in some cases, that's very kind. In some cases, that's, that's a bit of a lie, but that's okay. You know? Lie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my neat animal for today is... Oh, no, it it, it jumped. Gave me a big lag. No. Oh. Oh. Must see what the neat animal is. God damn it. I'm so disappointed. I, I, I searched hut rule 34, and instead of, um, like, sexy huts, it's just huts, like, fucking attractive women. And it's like, that's not what I want. Anyway. Well, anyway I've, I've, attractive. I've, uh, actually, I've been, neat, given, I've been neat... given a picture from the comic. That's a Wait. that's a fit hut. That's a buff hut. Whoa! It's not nearly as bad as I thought. Look at Damn. him go! Man, oh, he eats it. a lot of his own goo. 
Uh, no, he doesn't. He, that's how he gets he... that buff. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's how that works. Uh, well, well, you don't know much about us then, do you? He lifts, and he does a lot of push-ups. <laughs> Imagine him doing a push-up. <laughs> 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 so, can he look behind him? Like, can he turn his head enough to look behind him? Or when he wants to look behind him, does he have to, like, turn all the way around? So anyway, oh Fringy, I didn't even notice that that was your people there on the bottom right. Look at those two guys with their beaks <laughs> in the hood. They got they got beaks, but just because I got beaks doesn't mean that they're my people. Well, they, they also have back? the hoods. I know they got the hoods, but just and because you wear, why are you these stereotypes? Yeah, man? it's a bit fucked up. You gotta work on that. Cancelled again. But first, you're racist against the huts, and now against the Fringies. The Fringies. <laughs> The frings. The fringless. My neat animal today is the cicada killer wasp. Those wasps are massive. Cicada. Oh, is that how it's pronounced? Yep. My bad. You guys have cicadas over there? Uh, Probably not, considering I didn't know how to pronounce it. Um, Yeah, but we, get them, we get them over here. They're quite a bit. They're loud. They're big. They're loud. Do they eat their own goo? I don't think so. <laughs> They're not that it's their loss. foul. They eat hot goo. You might have, you might hear them called seventeen-year locusts. You ever heard of them? Those are cicadas. Why? Why seventeen years? Because they go, they live in the ground as larva for seventeen years, and then they come out, Damn. and then they breed, and then they die. Wow. And I, I don't know. I don't know. That, I, that's all that's all I got any question that you have is probably the same as the questions I have because that is bizarre is that the but life cycle of the huts 17 years in a hole yeah they come out and breed and then die they goo um, the Zoidberg people only breed once before they die True. and they get immersed in puddles of goo well I guess steaming yeah I guess Probably a goo from a certain point of view. Nice. Yeah, I'm proud of that one. You look like a monkey. You smell like one too. Whoa. From my point of view, the goo is disgusting. <laughs> well, then you are found. You are lost. Well, then you are found. Uh, hi, Rags. All of these, I've looked through hi. all of these disgusting images of attractive women, and there's not one sexy hut. What's all huts are sexy. Chat? That's true. I'm sorry. Um, can you unblock me on Discord? I'm the Squid Game spoiler idiot. I don't plan on messaging you really, but it's sad to see this be blocked by you. This is, um, this is strange. I don't know who you are. Well, uh, the the name is Mr. Dark Two Seven Nine. Mr. Dark Two Seven Nine. Uh. Well, didn't they say who they were in the super chat though? No. Well, they said that the, the person who talks about Squid Game, I guess. Wait, didn't you get a DM mm -hmm. a while ago while we were watching that? And there was a spoiler in there or something? Or was that a super chat? Another one? I can't I, remember. I don't see Mr. Dark. No, what, what was the number? 279. I don't... I, I don't... Made a new account, blocked. I don't even know who you are. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, who that is. I only have 12 people blocked, it says. Which is not bad considering. But, yeah, I just, I'm sorry, I just don't know. I have any people blocked. Get on my level. What a level. I don't know how to do it. <clears throat> you right click and block. Oh, that, that makes sense. I've just Whoa. never really had the... I just never like really had the need to. Savvy. Well, I feel it's it's a useful useful skill to have in today's interconnected oh, yeah. technologic world, you know. Um, baby girl and I split up. She took the Mola plushie and I got the Rags plushie. I'm gonna start the YouTube channel nice. I didn't have time for till now. Oh man, that's so oh, sad. Did she really take one of your plushies? Took me. I mean, maybe, it's all maybe they had maybe they owned the plushies together, you know. Also, she maybe wanted to get another super chat from her. She wanted the tentacle monster plushie and not the doggo plushie. 
All right. He sounds pretty cool. I think he's cool, but I just didn't. I, you know, just, what do I know? You know, I just expected her to go for the doggo. Yeah. Well, maybe no maybe it's not that she went for the tentacle plushie. Maybe it's that he went for the um, rags one. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe he left that's me. what happened. I was abandoned. But, um, sorry to hear it, but hopefully it's for the best. I don't know where really else. Absolutely. I do hope it is for the best. Sometimes when you when someone closes a door, someone opens a window. A uh, draft comes through. I mean, yeah, sometimes I do like if I close the room to my, you know, I'm just like, yeah, I want a window open. I, yeah. It's not unusual. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it might just be it's a new it's a new um like an opportunity, you know, you're single again, you're ready to mingle. Things are really cool and awesome. Yeah. His ship is Slave One, not Fire Spray. Also, when did Bib double cross Boba? I don't know. I, I, don't either. Know was, no, I genuinely yeah. didn't know what that was referring to. Yeah, I've got no clue. I legitimately If someone in know. chat wants to help out on that one, because like, I don't know if we missed a line or something. But when the fuck did Bib have a chance to double cross him? Yeah, and, as far and, as I know, and they before never... before anyone thinks like, well, Boba wasn't allowed his ship back. It's like, no, he, he was asked why he didn't ask for it. And he said, because they might say no. That was his reason. <laughs> He's a fucking he idiot. He was scared, so he instead <laughs> infiltrated the base. God, I hate that character so much that they're calling Boba Fett. And he should have just come back and said, I survived and I need an employer. You want the best bounty hunter in the galaxy, like to do things for you, especially you now. You probably have got some people you want to knock out of the way, you know. Yeah, I bet if I was Bib Fortuna and Boba Fett came to me and said, "Hey, I'm back. You got any jobs for me?" I'm like, "Yes, boy. You got. I got to kill this person and this person, and I want this person." Well, you know, he's trying to. He's trying to prove himself, right? He's new in town. Like, like who, Bib? Yeah, he's he's new boss. He's got well, to prove, he, him, prove himself as, as competent and... Yeah, and you do that through, yeah, using Boba Fett to take care of enemies or bring people to you that you need and send it a message and, and all that. maybe the end of Season 1 Stinger should actually be Boba realizes that he's weak and decides, I'm going to take over, actually. You know what? I think okay. I can do better. Oh, yeah, that would be super cool. Wouldn't it have been funny, though, if he was, like, really stressed out? He's got Fennec waiting in, like, the bushes or something to assault them. He's got all his weapons ready, and he's just like, he turns Fennec up. waiting in the bushes. Yeah, <laughs> and then, uh, like, I, um, and I have my ship back. And Boba just, uh, Bib Fortuna just goes, yeah, man, here's the keys. <laughs> no worries. Glad to know I you survived as well, you. man. I don't know what the Absolutely. fuck happened to your jetpack, but... Yeah, can I have your phone number in case I need to, like, yeah, We got a couple, you, job, you know, or... jobs here. There's a whole bounty board. Just, you go right ahead. And, uh, hey, do you want refreshments? And, you know, just, why wouldn't you expect that? Why would you think that they're gonna go, Ah, Boba Fett, kill him. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> oh. Action scene, we need action scene, we need... Yeah, we well, need Bib, Bib double-crossed him. He, he, he was the one who, he sabotaged his jetpack. He made him close the distance. I just don't care. Um, Fringy Law. He's just an autistic guy in a costume. Head cannon. He has stage four Osborne curse. Why are his eyes yellow? What? Cause, yeah, you're cause you're gonna. I'm gonna hear that yellow again. Eyes, right? oh. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm sure that there are more things besides Green Goblin that have yellow eyes. Name three. I can't. But I'm Jawas. sure. You have different. yellow eyes, Fringy. You didn't even claim your yellow eyes. You're right. Oh. Ball. Yeah. Um, um, Anakin had yellow Satan. eyes there for a metal, spell. metal looks like he has yellow eyes. Yeah, he does actually. Mine are like, they look more brownish oh here, God. but they're kind of like a brownish gold. <laughs> Metal's a Sith. So... <gasps> oh my God. That's not tears, that's lightning. <laughs> goats? Some goats? cats? Yeah, I bet some goats and cats probably have a... Uh... Goats yeah. and cats. Um, Muscle Desires 3, and what it teaches us about post-African colonialism, a video essay by Bill Bulbo Boggington. 
Bill Bobo Boggington. Oh. I like some of his stuff. He has a particularly um, yes. easy to understand prose, you know? His prose is far be it's far better than his cons. Nice. Thanks. Hello, Massives. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Hope mm. the day has been long. I've recently been writing down questions and issues I've got with Book of Boba Fett, and it might be something neat. Well, well. Also, Evil J would be the very same except no DSL, and for the fun of it, could all of you talk like old Stan Lee for a bit? Um... I don't know how... Old Stan Lee? <laughs> I'm trying to think of what his... Because... What are some quotes from him, from the movies? Okay, are you Tony you Stank? Ha ha! Ha ha! That is hilarious! That was very good. Yeah, I don't think any of us are going to be able to pull off an old I, Stanley. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, just yeah. I legitimately don't really recall. Maybe Matt. And if, if anyone is going to be one of these other guys, because I, I, I can't do any of them. Well, Mel, you, well, but I could you, believe that you could do it. I just tried. It wasn't very good. Hmm. Well, so your belief you is, didn't believe is really in yourself. worth nothing, Jay. Nothing. <clears throat> the problem was you didn't believe no. in yourself. Morpheus would be disappointed in you. Wait, which hmm. one of us? Which one? The one who didn't believe. <laughs> what That's if I true. believe in not believing? Well, then Morpheus doesn't believing. know what to think about that. <laughs> Morpheus <it>? explodes. Yeah. <laughs> just stumps him. <laughs> Um, what would what would Morpheus think of Boogie's quote <laughs> about belief? I guess Hitler. He's starting to believe. I agree with Boogie. People who believe in things are better than those who do not. Even rapists. <laughs> Even rapists Morpheus, no. Oh. Uh, what do you guys think about the Fresh Prince of Bel Air reboot? There was uh, one. Yeah, there's a there trailer be one, think, where it's like a out. drama. It looks so strange. It looks nothing like Fresh Prince of Bel Air, but yeah, I guess it's, it's like not a, supposed to be. So uh. yeah, it's like a complete drama and just uh, lame. Don't care. Yeah. Good luck to it. I guess I ain't watching I, it. I I I uh, saw. It. The uh, that scene again today, where where his dad leaves again, and he has like the conversation with Uncle Phil. It's like, man, that's some good shit. Oh yeah, for, dude, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I think it's a show that pretty much everyone caught at least an episode of and has respect for. Yeah, yeah. It was happening one of those things that was left alone, but now it's not because nothing can be left alone. Uh, um, I'm surprised the missongs are not yeah, leaving alone. To be enough. honest, not oh, sorry. They're making a no. They're they're making another Fresh Prince thing. I mean, it's a movie. The movie? I thought it was a TV and, show. No, I think it's a movie. Oh, okay. At least no. Why? You're you're right. It's, it's a show. It's a show. You got Will Smith in it? No, but I think Will Smith is it's for like it. Dude, the police just I, ran I don't over know if he's girl. involved, but I saw the trailer on his Can YouTube channel. Your door? Like what? What? No, in the game. Hmm? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> so that, that's some important context. Okay, I was because I was, I was like, whoa, like you're taking this rather well. That's so <laughs> tonally, you know. This, the, I was wondering if you'd seen a, no, a news story, and it's like man, tonally that feels like a shift. <laughs> but when you know it's The Simpsons, <laughs> like, well, yeah. Uh, WWE Super Chat. Um, is that what it what? says? That's all it says. I don't know if you want to acknowledge that, Metal. Like, go. Uh -huh. As a, I'm not watching WWE. The poor shit. Damn. Wow. Sorry, Super Chat. Strong Chatter. words from the German. Hey, I just really don't like their content right now. It's pretty bad. They don't like your content. Yeah, they probably don't, you know. I mean, probably, <coughs> yeah. Um, why didn't Fennec throw her droid testicle into the pit to find Boba's armor? That's a good question. That is a good question. Maybe it wouldn't, mm. maybe it wasn't. Also, droid good testicle. job calling it a droid testicle. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> the droid testicle can't pick up armor, okay? Like, that's ridiculous that you'd think it could. It cannot. 
Uh, why didn't he remember wearing it to get out? Because he's stupid. He's yeah, really yeah. stupid. Um, Ringy, Jay, Mauler, Metal, and Rags. I caught a stream with the whole gang. Love you guys. Keep up the good stuff. Mm. Oh. Thanks. God damn. Well, it's, like, it's like, even, like, let's say, let's say Boba can't remember what happened to him. Let's say, like, it was a, it was a difficult time for him, and he, like, his memory just failed him, and he, he literally can't remember how he got out of the pit. Why would he assume his armor is still in there? Like, even if he can't remember, why would, yeah, like, why would I that got be an assumption? How did I get out, but my armor didn't? Yeah, yeah, so the only assumption that leads him to assume that his armor is still in there is if he stripped off and then escaped. What? Man. Why would you assume that, Boba? It's also been years. <laughs> Who knows what happened to that thing in there? His brain was addled by the Sarlacc's <laughs> juices. <laughs> the only explanation. EFAP movies, the original Karate Kid trilogy, when? Um, I don't think that's high on our list of things to do, no. but I mean, yeah. No, it isn't, yeah. Know. Never really care that much for Karate Kid. Why can't Metroid crawl? A fantastic fucking <laughs> meme. That when I <laughs> first saw it back in the day, I was laughing for a good ten minutes, I think. You might have to explain this one to me. Yeah, I don't so, know what this is. Once upon a time, the Wii was like, hey, let's get some Super Nintendo games on here. Like, alright, sweet. And so, I don't know what the system was called, or the uh, service, I don't know if Fringy knows, but... Um, Virtual console. That was that, everyone, yeah. So, that was happening, and a lot of people from a newer generation would get introduced into older games. Now, luckily for me, I had already played a lot of them, because I had been told to play them, because they are really good, and I was like, sweet. And I was like, oh, Super, Nin uh, Super Nintendo, Super Metroid, will now be exposed to a lot more people. Cool. The cool feature of the virtual console-y stuff is there's a community tab that was like, hey, post screenshots and ask questions, people can help you out. Like, oh, you know, where's this thing, or how do I get here, or, oh, okay. I love this game, this is happening, and stuff. Um, new players, now, in the beginning of Super Net Metroid, you, you, I think you can go left, and you'll see that there's a little hole that leads to something, and it's like, oh, I, I can't become small enough to get through there. Hmm. And then, you know, keep that in mind, come back to it when you have the ability to be in the morph ball. It's like, oh, you know, okay, simple stuff. Right. A lot of new players did not grasp that. And so they took a picture and they put the, 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 the there was a famous one, it just got memed everywhere. Just, they, they were right next to that hole and they said, why can't Metroid crawl? <laughs> Which is <laughs> oh, such, okay. yeah, okay. such a oh, They thought that Samus's name was Metroid? And that they... Samus doesn't crawl. Not <laughs> crawl. Why can't she crawl? Okay. <laughs> it's just, it's just this huge double misunderstanding. It is so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mario, Luigi. My mother is a name Martha too. Luigi, Mario. We have the same mother. Zack Snyder's Nintendo. <laughs> oh, super chats from this stream. I see. That's what. That's all the ones I've been reading. So. Like, Possibly. Shut up. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I just I just registered it now, and I don't feel I should be judged. I don't like being judged. You have Someone to be please judged. For me, that's like I'm for me, judging hard that's right like now. when that's like it's the same judge, experience judge. that Rags has when he sees a hut eat its own goo. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, that, <laughs> really that sounds noise. a bit sexual. I don't know. Also, yeah. Rags, you're notes. secretly covering for the fact that for you it's the most arousing idea that you've ever heard is the image of a, a hut eating its own goo. Disgusting. And you're just covering, you're just covering by, oh, no, 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 no that's dis disgusting. Oh, I, I would hate to see that. Ew. Writing that down, saving it for later. Do it. Well, apparently JCS, Criminal Psych Psychology, was able to get another video back up. That's, that's good. They're actually talking to real people at YouTube right now. <gasps> God forbid. I'm so genuinely, that's pretty cool. YouTube should probably want him to be able to keep going. He's a... Yeah. yeah. It's really good content. Weird. I mean, I almost certainly do, right? Yeah. I um, I really like JCS videos. I find it weird. Yep. He puts little kisses sometimes on his uh, at the end of his videos. Like, Wait, thanks really? for watching. I don't remember kiss. that. Right. <laughs> okay. What? Do you like being kissed? Yes. It's just it's just a bit strange. Sometimes. Well, some people just like to be kissed, Jay. No. Also, I'm gonna head out now. Bye. Because I'm to work okay. again right. tomorrow. Ew. So I shall see you all later. Go watch New Metal's Forge. Bye. Oh. That's right. Yeah, go watch it. It's about Matrix.
Oh yeah. I just left. Just like well, just like that. You said bye. That's true. I know, but you expect several buys, you know? Yeah, I suppose. I was supposed to be fucking hitting this guy. Um. Bye bye. Hey lads, start on my third draft of book. You guys really inspired me. Here's to another great year of EFAP. Oh. Oh, congrats oh. on getting to the third draft. You're doing well. Wow. Yep. Um, keep at it, man. Uh, can be a bit of a bitch, but. Ah, uh, yeah. Getting that far, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, by finishing a first draft, you're Go already. Go further than Ryan Johnson. Oh. Yeah. oh, shit. Um, uh, Ryan so, yeah, genius. push through. Good luck. Absolutely. And yeah, thank you. I, I'm uh, looking forward to a good year free fab as well. Mm -hmm. In the new Boba Fett episode, Boba rescues Fennec not long after the Tuscans are killed. So does the Mandalorian happen months after the return of the Jedi? Uh, Fuck if I know. I haven't even thought about how that no all lines idea. up. Ugh. <laughs> Rax doesn't exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Mola doesn't exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Frosto Milkshanks, live from G4 in the Shire. Frosto Milkshanks. <laughs> uh, that was such a weird, unprompted speech. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't I'm understand. making it. That's, yeah, that's the video I'm nobody, doing now. Nobody prompted yeah. it. It just happened. <laughs> I still feel bad for Gerard. Completionist just sitting there like, oh man. Oh, was that him? Yeah, well... He was the, so like Adam Sassler was clapping like crazy, and then there was like a black guy sitting next to her who was like, Yeah! True! Yeah! Say it! When she said something like, uh, when people say as a compliment, I jerk off to you, he's like, he just goes, It's weird! <laughs> it's like, weird, man. It's weird. <laughs> Thanks, cheerleader. You're great. Yeah. Hype man. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone needs a hype man. Um, that is weird, though. I think it's the greatest compliment anyone can pay to anybody. Especially huts. And their cream. Yeah. I eat my goo, I eat my <laughs> goo to you. Rags, do you prefer I to just... think of it as goo or cream for the huts? <laughs> Definitely goo. Cream is j often considered <laughs> more of a pleasant thing. Cream. Goo, <laughs> goo has right, more, I now. feel, negative comment connotations to it. Maybe mm. it's a you. <laughs> to everyone. It's a you? Ah, <laughs> oh, hut cream. <sighs> um, where are we here? Who would be the equivalent of Thanos in the NCU? That's like the Nintendo one. Uh, um, I guess it would be. I think it was. Was he called Nabu, the the bad guy in Brawl? I guess the Master Hand probably would be the more apt one. I feel like that makes more sense. It wouldn't be Bowser. Bowser's always felt like a. No, Bowser. It's not that kind of villain. Or at least. Well, it, in subspace emissary, the whole idea is that Ganondorf and Bowser are like bad guys that you interact with, but they aren't the big bad. The big yeah. bad is uh, Master Hand, and the big bad above Master Hand is uh, Taboo. That's his name. But I feel like Master Hand makes more sense uh, to do as the bad guy. Um, also, imagine if Nintendo did a similar scene in Endgame with all the characters assembled. Well, that's obviously what they would want to get to as soon as possible, basically. Wait, what was that, sorry? Assembling all of the Nintendo heroes together. Oh, be... well, I mean, to me that seems epic as all hell if you had, like, a portal scene with Nintendo characters. Like, you got Link there, his shield is, is damaged, he stands up, and then... I don't know, um... Would Iron Man be Mario uh, right, at that no. point, or...? It, well, so, my logic would yes. always be that Mario is Iron Man, uh, Link is Captain America, uh, Kirby is Thor. Donkey Kong's Hulk, obviously. Donkey Kong is Hulk, uh, and then, uh, Metroid... Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Samus is, uh, Black Widow, and Fox is Hawkeye. And then I guess you got two more as well. I don't know if, if we, if should we Star Fox be Star-Lord? Um... I... Well, I guess the thing is, is because if, if our if our Avengers starting roster is six, it would make sense that our starting roster for Smash is eight, the original eight, which would also mean that we'd have Pikachu somewhere, and, uh... 
and um man so i was just playing i'm playing mario kart 8 online and uh we're on the water park course and it's in reverse <laughs> and about five players turned right because that's the correct way to go on the real course they all crashed into the wall it's very oh, amazing no. uh but to get back on topic um back on track awesome, i can't believe and and yoshi he's another one of the uh starting ones i think it's hard to figure out because you got to think about the extended characters right like who who you know how how does uh what does Bowser slot in? Is Bowser Loki? I guess so. And if he's Loki, does that make sense? Shouldn't Meta Knight be Loki because if if Thor is is Kirby? Um, I I mean we we can work. Maybe we. It should doesn't. Just you know, it doesn't have to be one to one. Yes, it, it does. doesn't you know, have to be one. Literally, one. it has to be. Otherwise, everything dies. It doesn't. And we we can make it different. And in fact, maybe maybe that would be the way to do it. But uh, Mario has definitely got to be. You, you know, when you're figuring out who's important, and Kirby has to be important because in Smash Brothers, Kirby is very important always because of Sakurai likes Kirby a lot. Uh, you can make it drinking. Work. Nice about, oh, King that DDD. cream there. Yeah, Max. that's actually a good one. King DDD Loki makes cream. Sense. Loki, because he's more of a uh, sometimes a hero, sometimes a villain. Uh... You can make it work. Fringy, would people coming back to keep their momentum? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I, th I think we touched on that one. Uh, really enjoyed that animation you posted on Twitter, Fringled. Hi, Rax. Hi. Hey, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I hope to make some more cartoons in the future. One of those awkward ones where are saying like, oh, that's a great animation. I really had fun with it. It's like, yeah. Because... <laughs> screaming in agony, but yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help but feel sorry for him, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, surely that means that something's working, right? Yes. Mr. Milkshake is a very endearing character. Very well, now, character. with the interest having peaked, you need to make, like, a whole backstory that just keeps making that animation more and more tragic. Maybe, maybe I'll, uh... He's on his I'll way back to his on. kids with, with food because they're starving. <laughs> Maybe I'll get onto that one next time, like uh, next year. Ooh, the you tragedy know, of Mr. Thing. The tragedy of Darth Milkius Shake. <laughs> the wise. Um, how did the stones know what counted as cloths and clothes and what didn't, I guess? Uh, you gotta do better, Mr. Stoneter. Also, hi, Fringy. Hey. Who knows how it decides anything? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a good, I mean, it's a good question. I mean, that's an Infinity War thing, right? Because uh, the, the people disappear with their clothes, they don't... Yeah, but I, I guess at that point, it's just about the thing of awkwardness, right? Do you want to deal with the awkwardness of, uh... Of, of everyone of reappearing battle, naked? Or just have... Yeah. Or would you prefer to not have to deal with that? And I figure that one's... They don't want to deal with yeah. anything. Well, they don't want to deal with anything. That is much lower on the scale of things that you need to think about with the snap. <laughs> What if that was something that they specified, snap everybody back to safety, but naked? <laughs> like, Hulk, why? And he's like, I don't know, it just seemed like the right thing. Like, what if someone... It just seemed natural. You know, just yeah. seemed like the natural thing. It could be, like, if someone... You don't want their clothes getting they got tangled snapped up. snapped in summer and it's, and it's winter? What if it was winter and now it's summer? You know? Then maybe Make sure get, that the clothes are adjusted if... relative to the climate that they are being returned to so that nobody's too hot or cold, all right? You want to make sure don't make sure nice but don't make sure they appear somewhere safe don't don't no, don't that's no, the no, only no. thing don't, they worry no. about this drone is like should i bother with that no 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 that's cool uh, <laughs> don't worry about that no, that's fine. fine hi rags did i deserve to get the coof oh. because i didn't get poked no i don't think anybody it's if anybody says you deserve to get an illness because you didn't get a vaccine that deserve is a uh, a strong word yeah well We've we've had many arcs related to this on EFAP. For someone to deserve something, it's like you better have a pretty strong argument for that one. It can be tough. It's a moral argument. Or is it? I still remember Aiden Paladin throwing like the curveball with what well, if you um if you help uh people with leprosy, do you deserve to get leprosy? And she says yes. <laughs> well, yeah, that was uh, like, uh, I think that's she, bizarre. Well no, I don't think it's that bizarre. I think she was using deserve to mean like uh should something lot, like as a result of it well, happening? So well, no, no, I, I understand. It's just she was using. It's bizarre because she was using deserve in a bizarre way that I don't think anyone uses it. Well, I yeah, certainly would use that way. Though. Deserve, deserve has the moral implication of it is fair and right that that happened, yeah. as opposed to that is a 
that's just a logical conclusion of it. It's just cause and effect in action, right? Yes. Like if you good. jump off a cliff, you are going to fall and hit the ground, but whether or not you deserve it is like, wait yeah. a minute. Uh, Ringy, which is the better flightless bird, Kiwi or Kakapo? I'm actually not familiar with that second one, cause, and I'm in the middle of a Mario Kart race. Can someone look that up? Ranks, Kiwis do are it. pretty adorable. Say that one more time. Uh, it's a K A K A P O. That's how it's spelled. K A K A P A O. No, just P O. Kakapo. Oh yeah, these were the things that shagged that one guy. Um, let me oh, Stephen Fry on his head. Yeah, I yeah. That. Let me get your picture. I'll post some. Let me click the room. Well, there you go, Fringy. Do you prefer that or Next, Kiwi? Uh... Oh, it's still loading for me. Uh... Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's pretty adorable, but Kiwis are, uh... Kiwis are pretty, pretty neat. That's a cool bird, though. I think. Bird birds are cool. I feel like I'm gonna enter birds my are bird cool. watching phase way earlier than I'm supposed to. I've birds are cool. It. I think I've birds are cool. I've thought about doing bird watching. Yeah, I'm, getting a little I'm pro birds. Going out and looking at birds. Uh, doo -doo. On my way to get breadsticks, nut, and then the, the symbol for water droplets. I grew up surrounded by water. I grew up surrounded by breadsticks. I know everything there is to know about bread, because my planet was made of bread. Do you think Tony's final dying thought was, Ooh, I forgot to specify about airplanes. Oh no, I fucked up my ultimate sacrifice. I'm lame. He did That wasn't him. That's, no, he, uh, he just snapped Thanos' army away. That's it's yeah, all that's all he did. It was all Hulk's thoughts. All Tony was thinking is, Oh gee, I hope Hulk did it right. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, bye. Do you think there is a lawyer hut in Startis named Lionel Hut? Rags acting like he's never drank coom before. Drank? I don't think drinking is how I'd describe it. How would you describe it? Do we want to have this conversation right oh, now? Oh, you're the one who's fucking pushing us yeah. off at this time, huh? I think, um, I think the word is savoring. Or goggling? Yeah. <laughs> I it love that made Rex laugh. Thing. <laughs> I have, I definitely haven't gargled. <laughs> Rex, how like would you I describe just... consuming cream? <laughs> consuming cream? Consuming cream? I guess you just eat cream, right? Because you'd use a spoon and you'd eat it. Uh, you maybe you would, pussy. Maybe you would with hot cream, I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, I would never do that. I would never do that. So anyway, uh... Hi Rags, enjoy this nutritious glass of hut milk. Thanks. Uh, did you see Star Wars Theory attacked JJ on Twitter? He called him trash for wanting to blow up Coruscant and TFA and said Star Wars isn't made for directors to do whatever you want with it. Okay. Coruscant? Well, we'll pump the brakes I a have, little bit. I have bit. so many problems with that. There is nothing... Inherently wrong storytelling wise with destroying Carson. Um, could be really yeah. impactful. That could, it could be incredibly yeah. impactful. Uh, as for that would be you one cannot of the, do whatever you want, important. I, I'm assuming we, we agree well, with him in, in terms I of what he's trying to say. You can't do whatever you want uh, yeah. in terms of damage, you know, like yeah. basically destroying what came before. But like, my, my criticism wouldn't be like. If I, if I was phrasing that, I would say that's a really stupid decision. Not You can't just do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. My, my main complaint would be I want it to be made well, not like anything about you can't just do whatever you want. It's like, well, as long as you do it well. Yeah, because to uh, some I degree, <clears throat> we encourage you can do whatever you want, but you have to earn it. You just got to work for it. Yeah. Um... As for, like, I I was on, I, as many of you may know, I fucking called it Coruscant in my first TLJ video that got blown up. It's, um, it's 
fuck, I for, I've even forgotten what the planets are called. It's some the something. Osnian says, Prime. Osnian Prime. That's the one. Yeah. So I don't know why I know that. I thought it was Coruscant just from the brief look we got at it. Um, and so like, I, I don't I don't think I was especially pissed off that Coruscant would have been blown up. I I maybe there's an argument I'm forgetting that would make it so that I should be, but um. I, I guess it's just the idea would be that it's disrespectful to the previous films. You just blow it My up for like, spectacle. My argument would be that uh, there's a lot of use you can get out of Coruscant. I want to keep it. That was one good argument. Yeah, we still surely, got surely it blew up to be a payoff. Where yeah, uh, yeah. If we a... make use of it, yeah. but like we've got many centuries of Coruscant haven't existed that you can still make use of. Yeah. Sure. Um, I, blowing I it up though, like yeah. You, if if you're gonna blow up Coruscant, hopefully you make use of it. Yeah. Is that like a population of like three trillion or something as well? It's the most populous planet in the I would the imagine yeah. universe. And yeah, we should be spending way more time there than fucking Tatooine. Yeah. yeah. Apparently I'd everything's... love to see more Coruscant adventures. So would I. Think of all the cool stuff that probably happens there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Star Wars 1313, do that. Well, no, don't do that anymore because I don't trust you. But... No, Star Wars Tatooine, a Tatooine story starring Tatooine. Yeah. Moss Esper, Moss Islesber, Moss, Moss Mimble, Moss Milk, Moss Cream. Moss Milk. <laughs> Skew. Moss, I was, Moss Mimble was about to be the one that did it, and then you <laughs> fucking brought out Moss, Moss Milk. Rex, are you disgusted by the idea of a rhino drinking its own milk? I don't know. I don't know. What about its own cream? Hmm... They would you rather? This, would you they rather give me the lick, same vibes, honestly. Would you rather lick off uh, a hut's goo or watch a hut eat its own goo? <laughs> I'd rather watch a hut eat its own goo than have to be the one licking it myself. What if you only have to lick a little bit of it? Otherwise, you have to watch it do it for a whole day. Oh, I think I'd still go with watch. Well, that's just a day of your life gone at that point. I, I'm just I'm what licking that fucking week? hut. I'm looking that hut, not because I find watching that disgusting, but she's like, I want that fucking day back. Give me that day, I don't, don't want to spend so it. So you're licking the cream is what you're saying? Yeah, I'm licking the cream. Right, Honestly, so if I told I'm you the cream was the really cream tasty. Just to save a couple of hours. If the cream was really tasty? Yeah. I don't know, you'd sound like a drug dealer. I'm just a truth what dealer. What if it's like literally, no, like what it is- <laughs> I only <laughs> deal in truths. <laughs> <laughs> what if it is just the most delicious thing you've ever tasted? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I still know what it is. That's what I deal in absolutes. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Yes, I deal in absolutes. Only a Sith deals in Sith. cream. An absolute dealer. <laughs> cream salute. <laughs> I am a cream dealer. Uh, thoughts on Microsoft buying Actibliz? Um, I don't know that more media consolidation is like a good thing. Uh, Monopoly yeah. scary. Hopefully, games get better. That's well, I guess I guess the idea that a lot of people I think have in terms of the silver lining is it is Activision Blizzard, um, and maybe if they get brought into the Microsoft fold, they'll be able to sort of root out and address all that uh, rampant like workplace uh, mismanagement and that culture. Um, maybe I guess I'd like to believe that there's a world where we can do that without just having massive amounts of media consolidation and just less competition. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what comes of it. Uh, though admittedly, Sony's probably in trouble. Uh, like, if Call of Duty is exclusive to Xbox, then... Ouch. I can see That's that. a huge I can see deal. That, like, Better start releasing hurting. all the Spider-Man games. Well, they need to start releasing shooters. That's what they would need to do at some point, because they don't really do shooters anymore. Surely they can just release a couple of uh, third-person action adventure story. Uh, I, don't forget light, light stealth elements adventure. too. Ooh, light yeah. Stealth element, yeah. Can't, don't want to forget those. I doubt they'll do that with COD. I would. If I was in Microsoft, I'd do that. Yeah, why wouldn't they? I don't know. Seems like the thing to do. Well, I guess the idea would be, are you going to make more money from that being a multi-platform or a... Uh, are you, Sony is still bigger, dude. Microsoft is a much bigger company than Sony. They already were. It's it's it. They've always been bigger, as they've far as I know, and much bigger. Sony. And it wasn't yeah. even close. It wasn't even close. Like, Sony doesn't have seventy billion dollars lying around to throw to, at publishers. To buy, yeah. And remember, this is after what was already a pretty big deal, right? I think it was six or seven billion dollars. Was to seven, buy, I think, uh, for Zenimax. 
Yeah, that's that's already big. This is as much money as Disney spent buying Fox. This is big. This it's is the biggest huge. acquisition in the history of the gaming industry by a significant margin. By like 10 times. Yeah, uh, hmm. it's huge. Destiny is also... Oh, uh, wait, no. Destiny's uh, independent now. I think Bungie is uh, publishing independent. Yeah. Uh, and, and remember, we're, we're, we're just thinking about Call of Duty, but there's also like, again, Blizzard's assets. World of Warcraft, Starcraft, Diablo... Overwatch. Uh, I think it includes King as well. Yeah, so Candy Crush. Because um, the thing is, a lot of the conversation on Twitter is like, oh man, Crash now owned by Xbox. It's like, again, that's like, that's really small in terms of the bigger picture here. Um, and I mean, if, if that's all getting folded into Game Pass, mm. then I don't know that there's any other company that could offer a competitive service to Game Pass. No, yeah, Game it's Pass getting ridiculous. Is Especially since I'm pretty sure that uh, at Microsoft has no a humble bundle with EA. Well, I think uh, I think EA even has a deal where like you get the EA Origin Access Pass just with Game Pass, and I think it includes your uh, Xbox Live subscription as well. Meanwhile, you pay for Sony's, and what are you getting? Crash will go to the graveyard with Banjo. Well, maybe not though. Maybe maybe this is the point that Microsoft is reaching where it's like, oh, we have all these assets. What if we did like a Crash Banjo Spyro uh, game, have all three of them together going on an adventure? I don't play a single big. franchise mentioned. Yeah, millions of people do. <laughs> I don't know well, what to tell that's, you. That's great for you, buddy. I don't play Call of Duty either, but it's insanely much, big. Again, no, I, I again. don't play a single franchise mentioned, but like, Again, I'm <laughs> Jay doesn't play them. You. How are they even successful? I hate to break it to you guys, but Call of Duty Warzone made like a billion dollars in a year. I'm pretty sure that Call of Duty Warzone, like FIFA Ultimate Team, made more money for EA in a year than all of their games say, sold combined for the sale. FIFA's the killer argument. None of us fucking touch anything FIFA. to do with those games, and they are FIFA. incredibly yet, uh, monetarily FIFA makes advantageous. So much money, it's unbelievable. Uh, and yeah, now someone's pointed out in chat, Microsoft can make a better uh, Sony All-Stars game than Sony can. Yeah, now they can. Now they can. Because they got all the Blizzard stuff. They got like Crash and Spyro. They got Banjo. They got... They could expand to TV shows too. Uh, well, I mean, is. what if they decided... Yeah, what if they... Did, well, they're doing a Halo TV show. What if they're like, hey, let's do a Crash TV show. Let's do a Crash and Spyro Saturday morning cartoon. We got the money. cool. That would be cool, but again, not so cool that I think I'm happy with like these massive no. <laughs> acquisitions. Um, they just need to buy Konami. I don't I mean, know what... if Sony has the money to do that, man. Like, I don't know if they got that kind of money. I know that Konami's not worth that much anymore, but even then. What, imagine if, uh, imagine if they bought Take Two, which meant that they would get access to, uh, to all the Rockstar games. Just be over at that point, wouldn't it? Uh, Fringy, I know your experiments are classified, but can your goo be useful against the tripods from World of uh, War of the Worlds? Also well, I mean, not... you've answered your own question. It's classified. C continue. Fringy, oh. do you ever eat your own goo? Wait, well, what, what was the what was the cream? follow up question? <laughs> well, it's a, you ever it's eat a your own goo? question, but I do you ever I eat your make... own goo? Or cream? No, I well, don't. Why? Use cream. Dude, the police made it so I fucking won the mission. Thank you so much. <laughs> they bumped you into the car. And then I killed the one that almost got to me. <laughs> Lisa, like, you've got a bad girl streak. So now we know the goo isn't edible? I didn't say that, I just said I don't eat it. Is it edible? Bring, have you considered a cream division? Wait, I didn't know about this news. Apparently, Take Two bought Zenga last week for like twelve billion dollars. Jeez. Oh, Zenga. They're the big in the mobile stuff, I think. They are because mobile gaming makes a ton of money. The second question is, how would you fix Dune Part Two? It's not out yet. <laughs> I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know, know how, how to fix something that doesn't exist. Yeah. Like, uh. Yeah, I'm not I sure. Gotta, I gotta see what they do. I want to see what they do first. We'll be looking forward to that one. It'll be fun, hopefully. Um, Twitter at Happy Nihilist for some fan art show rags my Boba Fett meme. Also, Marvel didn't even hint at hint at 
mid-air respawns being impossibility. Hi, Rags. Hi. No, they haven't yeah, yet, and I, I imagine they've already. wanted to avoid confirming as you know anything basically because well, yeah, they, none of them know what the, the fuck's more going that you on. you confirm, the more things might contradict. Uh, vague is the way to go. Is why the time travel mechanics are so vague. And uh, yeah, we, I've, we've seen a few of the Happy Nihilist stuff. We'll try, try and grab them as they come, but we kind of get them all. In fact, we got some memes shown in uh, in the next Boba Fett recording. You'll see. Yeah. Uh, there is a CW show where a telepathic ape tries to kill Obama. Yes, this is real. Also, bonjour to the Australian prairie dog and rags. Oh! The Australian prairie dog. Hello. Telepathic ape tries to kill Obama. It only makes sense. Oh, well that'd be Gorilla Grodd, right? Zooming, so yeah. Hey, moldy boy, can I get you to say Dumpy Grimbo? In a smexy French accent. Dumpy Grimbo. The best. That, that's great. It's great that you 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 accepted that request and partook. Also high rags. Hello. If the huts are like slugs, then the reproductive process is rather involved compared to other species. Slug cocks are easily more you than fifty percent of their bodies. Yeah, really? You met me. Yes. Fifty percent? Apparently, I don't fucking know. <laughs> that so is that is pretty incredible. Speaking the audio on your mic. So I'm googling this. We're learning a lot this EFAP. Maybe don't Google that. <laughs> you really don't have I've, to. I have done. Um, I'll send a few oh, super chats. Oh jeez, okay. that's oh. that's really summon. I'll send a few super chats since I miss you guys. Thank you very much. Uh, pick game you, seven, yeah. story nine versus both eight out of ten. What if all plus negative one? I feel like that's one you need to write out for us in the text thing there so I can follow it. I will do exactly that. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. It's a bit hard to. Um, pick game seven, story nine. Pick game seven. Maybe it's pick game seven story nine versus both oh. eight. Guys, yeah. please punctuation. I promise. Yes. It exists for a reason. Please. Um, so Probably game seven eight, story eight. nine or a game eight story eight. I'm going game eight story eight. Probably yeah. same here. If we have the chance to push the gameplay, I'm probably going to want to do that. Yeah, I'll push a gameplay at the expense of story if it's a game. Eight's still pretty great. In yep, terms of eight story. is still quite great. I mean, a game with seven out of ten gameplay, that's, that's, that's I'm happy as well. Pretty so, good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Right. Yeah, that's a good game. That is good. Question one. Muller, it's been four years since your TLJ series. Do you think that there are any criticisms or commentary you consider inaccurate today, in retrospect? I'm sure there's plenty that I haven't given further mm. detail on, or I got facts wrong, um, or... I presented the point in a way that kind of fucked up the point because of particular words, um, but I'd have to rewatch it to give you more specific details than that, I'm afraid. But yes, yes. I don't know that I've ever made anything that I was like, well, that's perfect. Um, I have. Certainly <laughs> that would be an interesting place to be at. Yes, perfect. Nothing I could have made improved. Um, do you know Quinn Curio? She does essays about Harry Potter, could be a good guest. She said that seeing long videos makes her want to lick the screen. Um, yeah, I really like her stuff. Yes. Um, though I don't know that there's a fit for, for EFAB. I don't think she's the... I, I don't know if that would work out. Um, I could ask her, but I, I'm not sure. But, um, I think I even spoke to her once in a call. I, um, about one of her Harry Potter videos. That was neat. She's, uh, she's cool. Um, question two. I'm very sad to have missed the plushy sale since I wanted myself a little rags. Any chance we'll get another sale soon with Fringy? Also buy rags. Uh, bye. Um, that's honestly the, the intention. We're going to try and launch a second generation and it should be me, rags, and Fringold. That'll be fun. Um, so yeah, catch them then, hopefully. I kind of just realized you guys have no inspiration... The Stan Lee. I got the idea because of Cream Crew's newest podcast, Timestamps 4840. 
We have no inspiration for Stan Lee. I think I think it meant like uh, that that if we watched that episode, maybe there'd be some references. Maybe they meant impression. Use. Yeah. I just don't know much about him. Um, I know he little about him. I just fellow. I just don't think I could I, pull uh, off a good impression of him anyway. Oh, like in an oh an impression of his voice. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. I misunderstood. No, I I don't know enough of what he sounds like to really do one unfortunately i do i just not good at it <laughs> well i mean at least i had an excuse oh yeah my excuse i'm not good at it <laughs> well that's fine question three any chance efap will resume the dceu arc with aquaman soon i'm sure we're all burnt out by the horror of snyder cup but i am curious um, I think Meme Repository tweeted today that he's, uh, he's getting on with the Aquaman EVAP movies, so. Ooh. Um. Only a matter of time. Yeah, it should be coming to your doorsteps in, in an eventualness. Interesting. Question four. More or less, since you're Welsh, would you recommend any sightseeing in Wales? I'm an international student in Scotland. I'd love to see more of the UK. Hmm. That is an excellent question. You know what, though? The thing is, I'm going to be useless compared to, like, there's probably just some website or pamphlet that's going to be way more good for, like, I don't know what the tourist areas even are in, I guess, Cardiff? That's, like, the capital of Wales. You go there. <laughs> there's got to be something. Um, there's a lot of good sightseeing in Scotland. Like, Scotland's got a lot of Scotland. natural landscapes that are, yeah. when you go out to the Highlands. Oh, landscape. yeah, you want to go to the Highlands, like, if you've not done that yeah. already. You definitely should. It's it's really amazing up there. Yeah. So yeah, um, I guess I wouldn't be a good person to ask. Uh, try websites. Web Google zones. Google is your best friend. Yes. They even have directions and shit. Moller, I'm a I'm a I'm a transfer student in 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 Scotland. What's your address? No street number three 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 three. Why don't you? Why didn't you do the Simpsons one where it's like one two three four fake street? It was one two one, three, two, three fake, fake street. street. God damn! Yeah. Do you even watch fan. the fucking show, Rags? Jesus! No, I don't. I don't. I just remember there was like a fake street sort of thing, and you could use that because you guys do like. Do you remember Simpsons. what happened in that episode, Rags? Do you? Nope, I don't. Remember the robot? Nope. Ugh. Do you even know what his name was, Rex? Whose name? It was Linguo. Fucking Linguo. A lot of good robots in The Simpsons. The bomb diffuser one <laughs> in yeah. the movie. Ah, uh, so much pressure. Pressure. <laughs> Just grabs the gun and shoots himself. So... <laughs> we were talking, talking about, about it, it yeah. but I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, insane Atlafan. Mola, I saw what you saw and heard what you heard, and I'm telling you, Atlas is a masterpiece. All right. It sounds like no, you're trying you sure? to stir up something or something. What are you up to, person right. super chatting? Hmm. I don't. I don't know though. You I know, know I'm not if I could go on a holiday to a like a video game place, Donut Plain seems like a nice place to go. So calm and relaxing, beautiful green rolling this, hills and some circular. reference to your little children's video game you're playing. I'm I'm on Donut Plains three. It's a nifty. Charming oh, I guess the first course. two were good enough. Um, I'm, the first two are pretty nice, but three is pretty cool. You know, there's just, you got, you got all these big, tall, circular, you know, the, the, the really tall hills and the greenery, the grass. It's, it just seems like a nice, pleasant place to go. Can I just say how sad it is that you're playing a literal children's game based on some kind of cartoonish IP where you're driving around in your little, little cars. So I get so it. I'm on, a, I'm on a bike. That's even worse. Bike, the thing that kids ride? Yeah. Yeah. A motorbike. A little motorbike. The thing that kids ride? <laughs> motorbike. It's like something, you know, my kids aren't pussies, so. Yeah. They eat motorbikes for breakfast. Yeah. And then they eat their own food. Imagine eating a motorbike for <laughs> breakfast. You have it on a plate and you're just chopping it up and eating it. That would be silly. That would be silly, but imagine. Have you ever seen. Wanna... Attack on Titan. Have any of you no, seen the that? first few episodes? I saw the first episode uh, back in the day. I didn't continue with it. Me neither. 
feel weird because I'm pretty good. sure a friend showed me the first episode and I didn't like it. But, I've heard it gets real good. I've also heard it gets real bad. Is that, yeah, I can't remember if that's... Is that the show that got real bad? It is, right? I think so. I can't remember anymore. So many of them do. It's cruel, really. Oh, well. Um... I really recommend seasons one through three, but four right now is a mixed bag. Season four, part two is airing, and it's good so far, but you'd have to sit through a lot of weird and bad tisms in part one. Very well. Anyways. Maybe that's... it'll all be explained. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Also, like, um, I feel like when we're to part four, like part four, season four of a show, you no longer have to persuade us to continue. Like, if we've got that far, we're, we're probably going to do it, right? Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> um, Stuff could go I wrong. Mean, unless, it just, unless it just flat out starts to sabotage itself or get dull. Maybe getting yeah. dull is the biggest, is the bigger killer as opposed to like it turning completely bad. You well, know? Let's be honest. If there were eight seasons of Book of Boba Fett and I was like, we need to do as many as you guys are willing, like, how, how much would you guys actually want to do of that? It would make a good mm. kind of like Batwoman style show where we just comment on how terrible it is. So you're saying indefinitely? Well, there are only seven episode seasons. So you are, yeah, you're both saying indefinitely. All right, there you go. Yeah, if it was, yeah, I, I could see myself if it was, yeah, I, I could see reference, by the that. way, a Batwoman episode has been cooked, and it's on the way. <gasps> um, we have slowed down watching it, but uh, we're still, we watched a couple episodes of season three, so there's still plenty to come out, and obviously as soon as they start coming out a bit more, Frequently, we'll probably kick up watching them again. Uh, but without Jacob, it's been tough. I'll be honest. Yeah. Best character. We never even found out what they brought him. Anyways, oh, no. that's all for the questions for now. Much love. Thank you very much. Uh, damn, Fringy, I'm adorable. Read my name, Mola. Uh, they're called Black Kiwi. Oh. Yeah, he may be muted, but he did say like he was cute. Oh. Um, stones literally snapped half of fauna and flora. Did they say that? I can't even remember. I don't think it's plants. No, not or, not plants. Or animals, right? But he said sure? all like living living creatures. I think was the term. I have like a memory so of that. that. Is fauna. I could have sworn they. Do they not confirm that? I can't remember. Because plants don't start living creatures everywhere, right? No, don't worry about trying to figure out whether or not it makes sense. It's just, um... Oh, it's a quote from the Russos. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I remember having a memory that that was confirmed. So, like, someone... So, it's, like, just in someone's, like, home somewhere, like, you know, everyone else... Someone's just plot... A uh, pot plant reappears. <laughs> it's like, oh, Oh, that's really plant, important for Batwoman. Huh? That could be really meaningful for her. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, that's another one of those sort of, like, why even make it more complicated? Uh, doesn't even seem to, like, really help his goal. Does he think that trees were taking up too much resources? Do we need to help all the... Oh, that can't whatever. be true, right? I don't know. Uh, watching predatory birds is the best. Do it, Fringy. He's, he's currently on BRB, but I'm sure he agrees. Uh, who will be Captain Marvel in the NCU? Waluigi? Dude, we love Waluigi. Oh my god. Who's like a lame Nintendo I'm, I'm character? Just, I'm just picturing him, dude, like, like... Flying through and destroying Thanos' ship. Okay, going, I'd like him to do good. that. That would be cool. Yeah. Exactly, now you're on board. Well, yeah, but I also I don't, understand. I don't want to be the... I thought the idea was like, who could we pick that would be the, the hated, annoying one? Well, I don't think that they intend for Captain Marvel to be the hated annoying one. And yet. Yeah. Sort of messed that one up. Mm. Yeah, they could have done better. Why would do anyone... better? You gotta do better, Marvel. Why would anyone live on Tatooine? Mando and Booba make it look like a useless nightmare of a planet. Hyrax. Yeah, I wish there was something about it just seems barren. why it was Yeah. Well, like, I mean the stuff there, right? The only argument I think that's left now is just it is a place of interest and a lot of people go there because 
natural resources seem to be at a staggering low point compared to what we saw in the OT. Um, and then the fact that they have the huts referred to it as a useless rock as well. It's like, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, I it's, um, it's, a, it's a, most of what we see there is uh, ports as well, right? So you might assume that it's a stop in between other places that people, uh, that people go to. Yes, but, uh, like I said, it used to come across as a place that they could also, well, they even made reference to how spice is being, uh, taken from there. And I'm just starting to think like, wait, are you just relying on us knowing about Dune to have any clue about what you're saying? It was like. Weird, maybe there's some other info I'm unaware of with spice on Tatooine. I know the spice miners of Kessel. I know that. That's a thing I know. Oh, they use slaves, so they're bad. I know a lot Which, of people who use slaves. No, according to Boba. Like well, Tuscan. no, yeah, so, no, no, so, yeah, the, um, the, the Kessel mines, they use, um, slaves, so they're bad. But the and. Tuscans, um, are native to the desert, so they're good. They don't use slaves. Shut up. So, no, no. They don't even say anything. No. Oh. Um. Hi, Rags. Hi. How did the Hi, Rags meme originate? I do not know. Pretty sure Rags might have been drunk. And he's like doing all kinds oh, of I said... things. And then he super chatted Hi, Rags to the stream. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was fun. I don't know what episode that was, though. Someone in chat might. Uh, imagine the horror if Disney bought Nintendo. Ugh. Oh boy. There's a lot of wood to burn despite having no trees. Yeah, well, they're like banthas, you can just summon them. Yeah. Trees? Uh, yeah. Apparently, they're just always burning something. It's just dead people. Everyone keeps dying. Uh, or everyone just kills themselves because Tatooine's shitty. Mm-hmm. Uh, if Rags... Oh, wait. Hi, Rags. Question for you all. Guns versus fairies. Are we asking whether or not the fairies would survive when shot? Are we asking which we find cooler? Or... A gun versus fairy? I don't even understand the parameters. Well, fairy is a very are... small target, right? So maybe. Yeah, I'm not alive. Use... What does it mean to defeat a gun? Like, what does that mean? You destroy. Wait, it? wait. Well, which... I, I think you're trying to kill a fairy with a gun. That's the only logical interpretation and of this. Just because you're saying what fairy, not furry, right? I believe so. Okay, okay. So the question is, which is cooler? Is it? Or, or, or I, I don't know. What was the question? Guns versus fairies. I mean, I assume, well, I guess you could use like a shotgun with birdshot to kill fairies. That would give you a better chance of killing the fairies. Um, it also depends on how quick the fairies are and how large they are. G generally, they're pretty small and fairly quick. Yeah. So it would be difficult. And they have and I magic imagine they oftentimes, could be very... so. Yeah, the nature of their magic could also be very important yeah. as well. So I think I might go with fairies. But there, there's a lot of variables here. So that, that is not a... I'm not holding fast to that uh, of the two. Yeah, I'm going to go with the fairy. I don't really have an answer, so... Mola didn't get my JCS reference. Fake fan detected. I have only seen the videos once. And it feels like it might have been like a year ago now. So, I'm sorry. My deepest, deepest apologies. Uh, sorry if my super chat's confusing, I just ate an entire pizza and it's starting to hit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like Boba in the desert, I'm going on a trip. Alright. Oh, I because of the pizza? Put the pizza in your nose. Hell yeah. That's how they eat it on Tatooine. Molio, out of curiosity, do you know a good class, book, etc. for me to check out that teaches how to write a good story? I'm looking into it a bit. 
best bet you got there is going to be Fringy, not myself. I have not had any formal training in any way about stories. I just kind of... Well, I don't I think have the, any the class is called EFAP. Stuff. Yeah, I, so I, I got nothing to recommend. And I wouldn't um, even want to recommend ones that I'm aware of as being decently good because I have not read them and who knows what they say. They probably even say consistency doesn't matter. Shut up, Mola. And I'm like, wow. That's the problem is they probably are some things I would recommend if you have like absolutely no idea at all about structure or like, um, or just the fundamentals, but I feel like most yeah. people do. Interstellar Marines, maybe? Well, that, that, well that, that book doesn't teach you how to write. That book is just well, legit. I think, I think you can argue it can. Well, I guess anything can teach you how to write in a certain sense. What about Interstellar Rangers Commands? That's not, That's a, book. not a book. It doesn't need to be a book, man. It's just an experience. Yeah, but True. they are books. And I'm offering lessons. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, look up the guy who ate an entire airplane. It took him about two years to eat it piece by piece, and he didn't die till much later in life. Oh, Why? Okay. To did say that he did. I'm sorry. To say that he what? did. There's a guy who ate an airplane over two years, apparently. I'm googling this. So uh, yeah, I guess he just sort of yeah, little tiny pieces. Rip it up, tear it up. Maybe turn it to dust and put it in your tea. Rip it up, tear it up, put it in a stew. Oh my god, it's one of the top suggestions. Nice. Well, how many times are you gonna- Well, that's a small plane. Oh, I think any plane is... gonna be substance, you know, big enough, right? To qualify as something impressive, surely. Deliberately consuming indigestible ob- He became famous for in deliberately consuming indigestible objects. Um, okay. Did he really eat a plane? Yeah, yeah, it took two years to be eaten from 1978 to 1980. He, he claims to have suffered no ill effects. Okay, good for him. Can he, what, are you sure he, can he fly? Did he drink the jet fuel? Jet cream. Jet cream. I guess if you get just a drop here and there, you could eat, you could drink all the jet fuel if it's in tiny little pieces. And other things, right? It's probably... I bet that would be one of the worst possible parts to drink, though. Or to, to eat out of the whole plane would be the... Um, like, I bet I bet the oil... Because the plastic and stuff, if you grind it down and put it into some other things, your body might not even notice too much. But yeah, I feel cool like the plane. oil and the, the fuel will really get you. I, I'm, I, I'm happy, though, that that Super Chat brought that to our attention. Thank you, Super Chatter. That is interesting. Uh, also, how soon till we get a Matrix EFAP? And Molly, you massive EFA part four? I know it's a dumb question, but someone has to ask. Who knows? Who could possibly know when something like that would be released? And I look forward to the day that it is. As for Matrix EFAP, it was something we were tooling around with. I don't think I regret the idea that we didn't do a you made the right movies call. on a fucking Resurrections, but maybe one day we will do coverage maybe of the trilogy, one day. and then the we'll have to. one comes out. Oh wait, uh, we'll have to invite everybody to do an EFAP movies from Resurrections because I don't want to. I don't even want a moment where I have to listen to that film. Everyone's just talking, talk, talk, talk. I'd really rather not watch the Matrix Resurrections ever again in my life. Know that, that movie was shit. Sometimes we have a responsibility to help the audience understand that something is hyper garbage. Or Metal watched it recently. He loved yeah, it. Voluntarily. I don't know if we can say that. <coughs> he was coerced. Damn. By uh, eight. Um, my honest to god issues with Boba Fett is that everything we see him do is unbelievable. That is easily the biggest issue, making it hard to watch. You mean unbelievable that he would make those choices, or they are unbelievable in terms of his survival? It applies to both. <laughs> Probably, I'd say that. So. He got punched in the face by Machamp and it didn't do anything. Hey, he was like, oh. No, people, people feared those 
Those you know, were legendary. People feared those, you know, remember? In Smiling Friends, they did a joke where there was a little character that goes up to Charlie and goes, <laughs> and punch him in the face. Charlie says, I'll punch you if you do that again. And then later he goes, <laughs> Charlie punches him and he gets winded. And he's like, <laughs> as he like curls to his knees and is gargling. And it's like, so Smiling Friends, a show about these crazy, weird characters react incredibly realistically to circumstances by comparison to the book of boba fett yeah i think that was jeremy right smiling friends it's great renew it for a second season please yeah and and in this new episode we learned that this man's electric fisticuffs were more feared than blasters no. yeah yeah i love that they had that line where he just didn't bring his gun to kill boba did he get hit on Boba with the fisticuffs? Wait, do you think that's what that is line that is for? Like... To be like, well, hey, they're more feared than Blast. So. Maybe. But that, that's thats some cr pretty quick self-awareness. Did, um, did to he make. actually get uh, a hit on Boba? He smacked him, punched him right in the face. With the... More... With the uh, yeah, with electrified... The... Yeah, he punched so Boba right in the face. So why is it more right feared than a blaster when it's... Because it doesn't make sense. A blaster, he would die. He would just die. If he shot him in the face, he would die. But then ah, the, but this, this tickled him a little bit. You're doing a... You're nitpicking. If people fear being tickled more than dying? Nitpicker, nitpicker. Yes, in this world. In this world, yes. That's just part of this universe that we... This is world building that you've heard so much about. You just don't like that things are good and you think they're not. Muller, how do you eat with your mask on? Uh, straw. Yeah, Muller. Oh, okay. Also, oh, you're is... like the Tuscans. You don't have to take it off. Mm -hmm. You also, just put is... it up to your face and slurp. Why is Fringy dressed like a wizard from Clash of Clans? Uh -oh. What? No, I had I had no idea that you were dressed as a wizard from Clash of Clans, honestly. Not either. Yeah, I had no clue. But now you say it. It's a pretty good costume, actually. I don't know. I'm not familiar with Clash of Clans. Like one of the most famous mobile games ever. Yeah, I know, but I've never played it before. Isn't it just famous because like children spend all their parents' money in it? Probably. I think that's definitely a possibility. And why is Rags named after a wiping cloth? A wiping cloth, right? Maybe it's the other way around. Wow. What? What? So like you were so you were so like known for your wiping that people named the thing to do it after you. I was the best wiper that ever wiped. More feared than blasters. I was. <laughs> I, my wipes were more feared than blasters. Uh, I thought the animatrix was pretty neat. My favorite section is the second Renaissance parts one and two. Better than the new Matrix, anyway. That I've not I seen the guarantee. animatrix. I believe you, though. I think I saw it back in the day. I don't remember much of it now, but definitely better than Resurrection. Yes, Jay. I'm snorting the garlic dust. Let's go. Also, Jay, how do you feel about your massive DSL? An honest love. Sorry, and... I don't know what this means. I looked it up last time. Definitely you super chatted. It means dick-sucking lips. My lips aren't that big. Dick-sucking lips. Does it need to be big to be... We really said massive good. DSL. Massive can mean a lot of things in this community, okay? Oh, I saw a teammate and I, I, I sniped them instinctively before I registered that they were a teammate. Oh. Oh no. Um, and honest love, mailers and rags, boba accents. Oh, thanks. Uh, where'd you learn to write? On a farm? Yeah, why not? A good place to learn to write. Oh, far yeah, you can learn about farming. On a whoa, whoa, fart. Uh, uh, fart. My client didn't kill the victim. The bullet in the gun he was holding did. Zack Snyder as a lawyer. I'm trying to what remember. Is that in what reference what to? is this referencing? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You're gonna have to help me out there. Chat, maybe if you can. What was that? It's referencing. Fun fact, Snyder shot an additional six hours of assembly footage that he couldn't include in his Justice League cut. I can believe Thank that. Thank God. You better a 10 hour Justice League. Oh. Uh, hey, maybe, maybe it would have more story and character in it. 
Maybe. That's worse, though. Oh, yeah, right. Matrix Force. You guys hate storytelling. Yeah. No. Pretty neat. Matrix 4 was such an annoying film, the first half uh, upset me with how they wasted time on meta stuff, other half was just boring basic bitch stuff. Kinda. Yeah. It's just, ter it's just a terrible movie. A lot of people ended Sometimes up you like could a... be like, oh, I guess it's slightly aware of itself, or it's referencing itself, but that just means it knows it's bad. Uh, I listened to the general peen diddling episode while doing weights. I laughed so hard I leaned the wrong way and hurt myself. Oh, oh, oh leaned the no. wrong way. That's not good. Harry, hopefully you had some fun with general peen diddling, though. Uh, to be clear, on both options, his actions and how he got where he is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why doesn't he want to be a bounty hunter anymore, and why does he want to be a Don? No idea. We haven't learned anything about what he wants to do and why. Some people are happy enough that he was in a desert and swallowed by a sarlacc. That's that's all they need. I feel like, to me, like, the threshold for understanding character is a little bit more than was in a desert. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit better. Because one thing should reasonably lead to another. Mm -hmm. He nearly died, so he just he developed a new personality overnight. Yeah. Um, why is he so incompetent in general? Why is he only cool in his flashbacks, but man, the pre he's fucking stupid in both, let's be fair. Uh, he's a seemingly more competent in the past than he is in the future, though, I'll give you that. Um, why isn't he ruthless, competent, a leader? Because that's question. not what a Disney hero is. Don't you want to look at him feed the banther and say, go make bantha babies? Mm. Anther cum. Anther cream. Gritty live action reboot trilogy. Clifford the Big Red Dog hunted for his biological secrets. Clifford versus the US Army. Clifford versus the Deep State. Clifford versus Washington. <laughs> Clifford has had enough. Clifford has had enough. Uh, we get, uh, and the th by the third film, we get punished Clifford. Punished yes. Clifford. Of invades course. Iraq. Punish Clifford Desert Storm. Punish Clifford uh, uh, Wounded Knee. What farm did you learn to edit on? On a farm? farm? Yeah. Nice. Uh, yes, Jay, it is I, the Kiwi that obsesses over your DSL. Never forget the day you learned the truth. <laughs> the truth of his daddy had one? Yes, so. I don't have one lip, I have two. <laughs> Loser. Lip. Uh, emus are like a weird bird version of llamas. Um... Is it just because I have long necks? Is that all there is to it? Oh. Are they also kind of- I mean, they spit on you, right? There's like, personality-wise, I think they're probably pretty similar. I, can birds spit? They, they, I mean, they peck you. That's the same thing as spitting. It's, it's really not. It is. It's, no, it's really not, what? Jay. I'm gonna have to draw a line here. I mean, in in terms of like the vibe, it is. I don't. I, I don't know. Disagree. I don't know. I feel like spitting gives me a different vibe than pecking. I feel like, oddly enough, I feel like spitting is far more of a personal insult or a, a personal thing than oh. pecking is. Hmm. Like, if a bird pecks at you, he's like, well, I guess that's pretty normal, because it's, it's like your mouth, and it's kind of a hard beak, and it's kind of at a point. And you're like, yeah, I get it. But if an animal, like, spits at you, that's some process that they had to plan and work towards and aim at you, and, like, they had to gather shit up in their mouth. Like, ugh. Like, when a woodpecker pecks a tree, do you feel like that's them spitting on it? Well, that's a different thing. Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay, I see. I think so, yeah. I need to use the loo real quick. I will That's be back okay, soon. That's okay, you're allowed. I don't agree with that. As long as he doesn't peck anybody, right? Yeah. Where did you learn to farm? At the store? <laughs> no. Is it the same person setting all of these? I, I think so. Um... 
You know what, Rags, I think you're right about what Disney heroes are. Honestly, the funny part is that Boba unironically acts like a hero. Um, yeah. That's pretty much the problem. But, I mean, he was in a desert. Yeah. And just, I think we, we all know desert living, man, makes you into a hero. Like Luke, that's why he was a hero. He lived in the desert. And then, why did Vader become a hero at the end? Because he had been in a desert. Yeah. No denying it. So, if nearly dying makes you a, like, a completely different character, why doesn't Vader become a completely different character when he nearly dies? He does. Remember, he goes from being like, oh yeah, I guess I'll kill a few children, to, I'm definitely evil. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Those two things are very different. Yeah. Um, the spicy flu got to my dad. Pray for us, oh toxic brood. Yeah, man. Uh, I hope it... Hope you get the zero symptoms and you come through. Mm -hmm. It comes through all right. Uh, Fringy, I laughed at your whetstone joke. Oh, thanks. <laughs> there you go. I like how that comes like an hour later. <laughs> hey, I liked it, all right. Um, Zack Snyder super chat was about how he thinks Batman didn't kill people in BVS directly. Oh, did he actually think that? I can't remember if what? that was a quote. Is that, is that was, something he said? I thought it was the guy that was checking out Jay's videos. No, that guy's... Like that. Yeah. Obviously, that guy's not Zack Snyder. <laughs> Last time I checked. Well, I mean, it, he I sounds like Zack Snyder. Uh, yeah, that's kind of like being Zack Snyder. But, um, yeah, I, I, I remember him saying, like, trying to defend. Didn't he say, like, the one that got the... A crate into his head. He was like, he might not be dead. Well, he's like, yeah. He's like, um, his quote was like, "It's never confirmed that Batman actually killed anyone." <laughs> and there are a couple where he like could have, but it's not confirmed. Later though, he sees the guy getting um, getting his his like head caved in. He's like, yeah, that guy's probably dead. The thing is that the thing that is weird to me about that is that no one like seems to comment on the fact that he fucking airstrikes people like in the footage that yeah. Well, like I'm playing, he's fucking like you guys are all discussing. Hey, that guy, you know, he got his he's got his head caved in. He almost I, certainly died. It's that's like, a on lie. Screen, I cited the about one this, where he flattened airstrike. somebody with a car. That is absolutely yeah. Okay, but no death. one, no one was citing the fact that there was literally him air striking you people. You can survive on an airstrike. You cannot survive a car being put on you. He, they are engulfed in flames. You can survive flames. Look at Anakin. I guess that's true. He was in a desert as well. Is Mustafar a desert? Is there any precipitation? Oh, I just meant Tatooine in general, but... Yeah. I mean, it's got a lot of clouds, but... Those might be ash clouds, actually, so... Can Bill Boo hurry up and show up already? I can't stand this show anymore. I could use some of his commentary, yeah? That'd be nice. <laughs> you wanna be a leader? You're not even so, killing yeah, anyone. So what happened to you? You fell into one Sarlacc pit and now you're all... You went back and there and you fucking fell inside it by accident? How do you even do that? <laughs> and he's like... Boba has to escape the Sarlacc pit again. <laughs> it's so st I can't believe we watched that scene. What was that? I don't know. And like, you know the hunting down so of the bikers? It didn't accomplish anything for the story. You're hunting down the no, bikers and shooting them. In retrospect, that, that scene feels, like, a little awkward. It's just Why? so much power over these people. Well, we already went over the oh, fact yeah. that he's very arbitrarily decided that they need to be eradicated, but the Tuscans were the best people ever. I um, guess they did kill the Tuscan children. Did we see the, the Tuscans enslave any children? Well, no, that's the problem, though, right? We didn't know. We don't know which bikers these even are. He was just like, there they are, and then Fennec nods, <laughs> because why not, I guess. You did it. I don't know, it just, it's just, it's, it's, the scene felt a little like, okay, well, there you go, that's that. Maybe it's because of the fact that he just hasn't done anything like that for so long, that it felt just weird. Uh, Zack Snyder, oh wait, yeah, read that one. Rags, oh, he's not back yet. Well, it says, did you know that England isn't your city? I don't, I don't know that. He's not going to find that shocking, honestly. 
Boba Fett. I'm a bounty hunter, Disney laughs. Funny story, Boba. Anyway, put on this funny hat and dance, monkey. Oh. Implying there's very limited meaning in this show when there's clearly all kinds. He was in the desert! He nearly died! Yeah, it's like you think characters literally can't change. Ever. Yeah. Which is so dumb and stupid and stupid and dumb. Um, kind of wish Toby Spider-Man went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Goblin in No Way Home. Four-hour Watts cut of No Way Home when? We all want that. Um, I would gladly take more of them just talking. Put them on a bench. Any matter? Just talk. Uh, I want a character in BF to actually have a gun, only for them to pistol whip someone instead of shooting them. I'm back. Um, didn't we, and like, that see that today? Happened. Well, we saw a lot didn't of guns being happen? shot in this episode, to be fair, which was nice. Which is weird. Weird, but nice. Yeah, it didn't feel it right. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> this is Star Wars. People don't really use guns, you know? No, not really, no. They use really hot sticks. Yeah. I believe they're called hot sticks. You can buy them in the supermark. The guy who's really big called Mark. Oh, he's super Mark. I get it. Well done. Nice. Um, EFAP's Bill Burr sounds entertaining. Keep going, you massives. Uh, Jago. Or Bill Burr. Uh, um, I, I don't know how to do him. I've never seen an episode of his, I Rags, think. do some Bill Burr. Um, Bill Burr, what would he say? Um, it's like, uh, he's, he's got that voice, like, um, like, so I was in Star Wars and I was playing this part of this guy and, and this, this, this dude had a helmet on and I told him to take it off, but he said no. And so I was like, I was just asking him why, what, why you have the helmet on? Why you did that's yeah, it's just sort of how he sounds, I suppose. I was I was I was engaged. I was waiting for you to do some up to date commentary. I was waiting for the punchline. No there no that no, I, 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 I didn't know there was a like no joke. There's no punchline. It's just um that's just kinda how he sounds. I think you had it pretty good, I agree. Um, also, my pops is watching Injustice animated movie. I feel tism right now. Injustice animated movie is that is that known to be bad or good or it's what? The video game. I don't know. Well, but I yeah, I don't know if it's good or bad. Since they said animated movie, I figure it's like an animated movie, I it's not bad. a game. But yes. Well, I mean, based off the game, that's what I'm saying. Wait, the Injustice game? I don't think. Was there? Isn't Injustice like a thing before the game was? A... I thought the game was based after a comic. Uh, I thought no. I thought the game was the. Uh... I legit don't know, so I'm just going by oh, random. I certainly wouldn't know. I just figured that. Then I started doing comics for Injustice. Ah. The movie is awful. Oh, DC animated oh, movie was wow. good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Get your story straight. What's with this chat? There have two minds. Mario Kart 9 was trending a while ago, rumored in development with big changes. As fans, would you want them? What would you want them to do? And realistic expectations. Mario Kart changes? I don't. It's um, more of a fringy because he plays it. <laughs> um, I think a lot of people said Nintendo Kart feels like a good place to go, and I think I agree. Just have it be a crossover game with like all bunch of Nintendo characters. You have some really cool carts. Like imagine yeah, you can have cool cards, cool abilities. Levels. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it was like the next logical. I mean, step Metroids. Yes. Maybe Metroid you could. Card. You could have a little Metroid card. Yeah, you could get really creative with making like little vehicles. Just say for the, the joke. Different world. It was like lost almost there because we all thought of a Metroid cart. A like, Metroid cart, yeah. exactly. A literal Metroid cart. Um, a friend did the maths. If Clifford had a handgun sized for him, it would fire bullets the size of a toddler. Nice. Cool. That's perfect for shooting toddlers. I guess so. You just yeah. want to obliterate the toddler. I'm assuming that's what you want to do. If Clifford makes a big red mess, <laughs> I'd say so. 
Nice. Think of the flashy chunks of cream just everywhere. Mm. Yeah. Little toddler cream chunks. I like it. Man, every time I ask for EFAP to give me some in impersonations and y'all give gold, thanks. Oh, sweet. Alright, you must have not been the person who asked for Stan Lee then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sorry that Freak didn't just feel up to it. Oh. I gave it a shot, it just didn't work out. I don't remember you giving it a shot. I did. You, all right. you guys are all great in person. <laughs> you guys are all great at impersonations though. I, I feel like I'm the only one who's not. You do a great J. I... That's true. <laughs> You gotta impersonate it yourself. So anyway, also that that's a nice compliment, Jay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Ew. Uh, You're welcome. No one can take that from you. From what I've heard, the animated movie was bad, but the order is game. Oh, the order is game, comics, and then the animated movie. I see sense. Okay. Alright. Shit, I'm gonna have to amend a lot of my Snyder jokes if I'm remembering it wrong and that it was a Stan who said that. This is life-changing. Yeah, I don't I don't remember Snyder saying, because remember, Snyder's the one who's like, Batman totally killed everyone. <laughs> He's like, 100%. He killed every... atrocities. He lied to America. <laughs> I think that was the funniest to me. <laughs> Batman getting up on the kind of interview. And he's like, so he just talks about Big Pharma or some, he's like, talking about how great something is and then behind the scenes he's, uh, got all the stocks in it and stuff. Just, Batman, how could you? No matter where he's at, what he's doing, he's in the Batman outfit. Of course he is. Take your bat pills today, Robin. They make you strong. They'll make you bat strong. Uh, Alright, chaps, time to watch Boba Fett episode 4 and take notes. Also, obliterating children. Wow, so basic. Also, nice. I heard cream. Creamy sheave. Oh, we must be basically here, basically to the end, if, if we're getting already to the obliterating children. Well, that just means that we then move back into the backlog. We talk about obliterating children. Yeah, maybe we obliterate children often, or at least discuss it often. Meow. See, there's already two more. Yes, it was me who asked for the Stanley impersonation. Yeah, that sucked whale coom. Sorry. Oof. Well, we Gosh, didn't try. Man. That was the thing. Like, <laughs> well, we, were all we just didn't like, try. No. Uh, I, bet, I, bet, I bet Wombo that if you listen to his voice a lot and then you, uh, and then, and then you, uh, you tried, you could do a pretty good banger impre impression of him. Maybe. I don't know why that sentence was so hard for me. I guess it just was. You're getting tired. You could be getting yeah. tired. Maybe. Uh, last EFAP was great. Hummingbird moth is neat. Hi, Rags. Ringy, tell good. Hi. Oh, no, nothing from Fringy. Okay. I, I didn't Fringy tell Goo. I, I don't know what I meant to say to that. Well, you could at least say that so that they know that you heard it. Well, I just said it. Well, I had to prompt you. Yeah, you have to be prompted. Really okay. unacceptable. I'm sorry. Oh. It's gonna have to be a meeting. About goo. But, um, yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the last EFAP. More on the way. Who would we Fit Trainer be? Can be man or woman. Oh, do you mean like the equivalent in the Marvel Universe? Maybe they would be Captain Marvel. Yeah, that's fair. Mm. Yeah, some soulless woman-shaped husk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> woman-shaped <laughs> husk. Uh, it's almost like you don't like Captain Marvel or something. No, she's great. What do you have against Captain Marvel, Rex? Nothing. I don't want to have anything to uh, touch in her. Would you rather touch her or a hot skew? I'd it's rather touch her. The goo. Oh, okay. oh, definitely her. Just put a little finger in there. That's all you have to do for the goo. I think to make sure it's a challenge, though, we'll say you have to sniff it. Put a little finger in there. That's all you have to do for Captain Marvel. <laughs> put a finger in Captain Marvel? <laughs> yeah. Sniff it. I think I'd still rather do that. 
does 50% less flora factor into endgame critique? Do we see that well, it's, though? It's um, that... it's a it's an external source, isn't it? So I was gonna say, he doesn't, Fring wouldn't have to worry about it if it's not mm. in the stuff. Yeah, no, I don't. And so. well, I don't even think they have a reference to it visually or. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, um, boop, boop, boop. Tried out Deep Rock Galactic after hearing you guys praise it. Great fun, and I think it would be great for EFAP Gaming. Rock and Stone. That's that, yeah, it, it would be a really good one. I only have it here. It's definitely a good choice. But is it better than Tetris? Hmm. Hmm. That one stumped rags, too. I figured it would. I... Uh, Tetris. Versus Tetris? What? Alright. No, really. Can you tell Jay to calm down? It's getting pretty unreasonable. Jay, you need to calm down. Jay, when, ah! the, when the fans are pointing out, really casually, I feel like... Ah! Oh, jeez. Sorry, guys. We can't do anything. Mola, put, ah! a little, put a little finger in there. Me. I'd rather have rags blow my brains out. Laugh my ass off. Oh. Oh. You don't even put a little finger in there. You don't have to be so extreme. You know. One little finger. Doesn't even have to be yours. All righty. Uh, Lord Longbone of Mewtrington Abbey, have you given any more thought to a Kong fap of Peter Jackson's Long Kong? When there's less going on, it'd be a movie fap for the ages. P.S. Hello, Wagsy's scritches for the good boy. Oh, hello. Uh, yes. Who knows when exactly it'll happen, but yes. You need to watch Scream 2022. The killers are part of the toxic fan base that hates Stab 8, the Ryan Johnson stab movie. I'm not joking. Also, hi, Rags. And oh, hello. Hilarious. Yeah. Um, apparently, Scream's newest iteration is like, lol, the people who didn't like TLJ are toxic. Like, okay. That's funny. And that's all I've got to say about that. Maybe we'll watch it at some point. I could see a Scream arc. We can watch how it went from being an influential, revolutionary little horror film that changed a whole bunch all the way up to what sounds like ass. But, uh... That is not this day. I don't even know how many people have actually, like, seen it, you know? Yeah. Um, have you guys seen Smiling Friends? What are your thoughts about it? Also, hi, Rags. Hi. I've seen it, really like it. Watched the whole season with Fringy. It took ages, but we got through the entire log, the, the whole thing, every single episode. Yes. Uh, yes, we loved it quite a bit. It was a lot of fun. I want more. Give. Recommend. Uh, you guys seen Arcane yet? No. Also, hi, Rags. No. And S Hello. Rags and Stout? Rags and Stout? Yeah. Or st is that S T O A T? Stout. Stout. I don't remember there being a Stout. Uh, I don't either. Oh, what, are we talking about Doomer? Is Doomer a Stout? Could he be confused oh, maybe. with a Stout, perhaps? Hmm. Perhaps that is the answer. Uh, just passed the physical ability test for Fire Academy. Wish me luck in PT Hell. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, Jay, why are you such an E without a bottom line slur? I don't know what that means. I don't I don't get it. Help. E, e without, without a bottom... Oh, line. F slur. Oh, I see. Um, I, I don't know. It's just, just, just how I'm... How I am, you know? How you're built in a factory. Yeah. That's, that's how the factory made me. I'm trying to keep the chats coming, lads. Uh, tig, biddies, or thighs? Uh, I'm more thighs. I'm more thighs, man, myself. You know, I don't see why I should have to choose. I don't think I've ever picked between those two before. Like, I don't know, I like them both. I chill on I that like one. them both, too. How about but one have, thigh and them? one titty? Yeah, there you go. Everybody wins. 
Also, TLJ was such I'm a just, traumatic I'm, experience. I'm, I forgot my sister was there with us. Oh, God. I'm, I'm just imagining the thigh tit creature that is just like a thigh and a tit. It's interesting. It's beautiful creature. Sounds like it would be in Spore. I mean, I could make that in Spore. Um, but yeah, as for that, I, uh, that's, it, yeah, uh, I hope your sister made it out okay. Goodness. Any of you long men heard of Ted Lasso? Theories about an American coach who takes charge of a British football team. Good comedy and great characters. I have not heard of it, no. Neither have I. Maybe these will jog your memory. I'm assuming Jay and Fringy haven't either. Yeah, I got nothing. No. No! Oh, what? Duma kind of sounds like he'd be a sad Kuma. Tell me about the crap <laughs> well, like, do a sad cum? I don't think he'd disagree with that. Or be like this. Uh, seriously though, play Hades. Its story is great, especially how it is integrated with the gameplay. Hi, Rugs. Hello. Hades. Uh, Fringy, have you played that? I know Metal has. No, I haven't, but I want to. Well, um, maybe someday at some point. I'm not against it. Mola, watch Maxwell's Bloodborne video. I will keep super chatting. This is a threat. Also, Hyrax. Hello. Maybe at some point. Maybe. Uh, snowing in Texas right now. Also, arcane, you massives. Oh my. Oh, very One day, pushy. maybe. So pushy. Yes, it's long bone, not bone. Long bong. Long bong. Long man plus Brit bong plus aristocratic downtown accent and plus goddamn fucking massive equals Lord Longbone. Long bong of Mew Swing Time Alley. Has it been long bong the whole time I've been reading it bone? That's one of those well, I don't see why totally people would call bone, you right? Lord Longbone. I find that's terrifying. I mean, like, it's changed my entire worldview. I say, G and E aren't even that similar looking letters, to be honest. I don't know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think my eyes don't work. Uh, Jay, what the fuck? A thitty? That's it? Time to get banned. Your DSL won't a save what? you this time. A thitty? I, I don't know, I thought that's... Is that a thigh titty? I guess so. Yeah, that must be it. A thitty? A thigh titty? Dem, dem titty, right? But you I'm legitimately know. confused as to what a thigh titty is. Like a mole? A really it's a creature. horrible mole? It's a creature mole? that is just a thigh and a titty. Yeah, if it can it sustain its own life? That's what I need to know. I think the answer is yes. It's a very successful species in the, in the evolution place. Who is a talented actor slash actress who you wish was in more good movies but gets saddled with bad scripts despite their ability? Irax, Jay, and Fringy. Hi. Charles Dance. Hey. Yeah, Charles, Charles Dance, Dance, definitely. Yeah. yeah, actually is a really good answer. He was in the Kong thing. He was in Ghostbusters 2016. He was. Fuck, yeah, you're right. He was. Ugh. <laughs> so he's in the Kong thing. <laughs> King Kong movie. He's in Godzilla. Mark Hamill, that's probably a good one, yeah. He could be doing a hell of a lot more, but he doesn't end up in... ...greatest of things. Yeah, like TLJ. You could you could say that's not a good one, yeah. Yeah. Um... Anyone else? You're, you're, you're Shrekin? Um, Which let was? me see. What about, um... I always forget his name. He was the guy who played Rhino in the last second of Spider-Man. Paul Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. I just like him. I like him a lot. I like him too. Someone said Tamura Morrison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's yeah, never been in anything fair. good. Aww. Oh, no. It's true, but he hasn't ever been in anything hey, good. Hey, he's in the star. He's in. He's technically, he's in the OT. Yeah, he got he's, added uh, in. He reached up so. Boba Fett's lines. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I approve of that. He's in Empire. There you go. It's, it's we're all, it's Yeah, good. yeah. A lot of the special edition changes are good changes. It's a lot of them are, They're famous yes. for the bad changes. They're famous Some of them, for like, the random yeah. CGI goo everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. 
That is true, though, but there are a lot of good changes in the special editions. Name three. They're just... Okay, well, we have the Tamura Morrison one. One of the ones that I really uh, like. The Cloud, the Cloud City overhaul no, is fucking no, awesome. making rags do it. That, that was actually the one I was just about to say. Discounted. Um, I think there was a lot of really good stuff that they do with windows and kind of CGIing some background for Cloud City that really brings a lot of good world building details to, um, uh, yeah. to you know, just the place that I really like. And there's multiple instances of that, so I'll count those as my other two. I remember, um, I, remember to... I used to, I, I, I like, as a kid, I, I just had the special editions. To me, those were just Star Wars, right? And um, yeah. I ended up seeing, um, as an adult for the first time, just the original Cloud City, and I was like, man, that, that sucks. Oh, it's so good. It looks ugly in comparison to what I'm used to. Well, I couldn't possibly forgive having Beta say, No, no, no. Yeah, no. I, mean, I mean, what we wanted, what we really want is someone to compile like the, the, the correct edition. Like, the, the edition of Star Wars that has the good stuff and doesn't have the flames. I guess. I I, guess. I think that um, when the... I'm fine with at the end of Return of the Jedi showing, like, Naboo and Coruscant celebrating. Yeah. I like that. Especially post... Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, I like that. You like that. it in Rise of Skywalker? They're like in Rise of Skywalker. Oh yeah, I forgot the heroes won in that movie. <laughs> um, when the rebels are approaching the Death Star, I think it's I think the CGI of all the ships coming in, I think it looks pretty good. I think I like that. And I think there is a scene, and I'm reading some of them here. Um, I there's a scene where in The Empire Strikes Back, they have a you have the Emperor talking to Vader as a hologram. Well, yeah, they they update it, yeah. Yeah, which I'm, yeah, I'm down with that. Um, someone said the Wampa scene in Empire Strikes Back. I can't quite remember that one, but I guess they did like this expanded take on how Luke escaped. But I think that's enough. I think. Uh, bleh, where are we? If Mola, Rags, Fringy, and Jay were playable characters in Smash Bros, what would their move sets be? I have no idea. I'd have like Mr. Fantastic y stuff, I'd imagine. I would. Um blast? <laughs> I would have a cum blast. Rags would have like those weapon related ones, probably. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I get a quick. Yeah, stuff like that where I pull out a, a, a bazooka or something or a gun. I would like to use goo and potions. cream. Yeah. Potions. That seems to have been something that's very much settled now, as Fringy throws vials of things at people. Yeah. As plague doctors do. Someone said a sonic bark. Yeah, I like that. Well, that's <laughs> what a bark is. That's your smash move. No, I know that's technically what it is, but it's like still, like a sonic version of what a normal bark is. is like What about like a, a physical punch? I like laser eyes. Would your ultimate be that you drown the entire screen in goo? Um, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know. That's a thought. I mean, like Uber charges you and slows the enemy down, so it's not too overpowered, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, Jay would definitely ride a rhino. Oh yeah. Got yeah. some uh, right, some some merch coming soon that involves a rhino, you know. Whoa! Ooh, wow! We Ooh. killed rhinos for it. Ah, that's impressive. There's a great super check catch-up reference in Hades. There's this dude who is punished by having to push a boulder up a hill only to have it roll back down, meaning he can never finish oh. his tasks. That's um. Mundane Matt. <laughs> no. Monday Matt is Sisyphus, like, reborn. <laughs> Pushing his boulder. He's picking up boulders forever. Can't move it off and can't let go. 
Because Jay said something about a thigh and a tig bitty. Come on, guys, get with the lore. Hey, we figured that out. We figured it. Yeah. We, we, we were on point with that. We know. Yeah, we got that. Finally uploaded my first movie review on Dune. Huge thank you for all the years of exp uh, inspiration. Many more to come. Hi, Rags, Ringy, Jay, and Morley. Hello. Awesome. Keep it going. Keep it going. Uh, what can we look forward to in this upcoming EFAP? Hmm. We don't do in spoilers here, okay? I'm assuming they mean Saturday. It could be oh, yeah, anything, no spoilers. okay? It could be the heat death of the universe. I wouldn't want to, you know, rule that out. I would like to rule that out. I know you've told me what it is, but I've forgotten. <laughs> well, that'll be great. It'll surprise you. Morrison has never been in anything good. Sad Star Wars bounty hunter noises. Well, I think I said when I was streaming that game. I'm not sure if it's good. I'm still not sure. It very. I feel like if we did a deep dive of the mechanics, we'd probably conclude it's like it's, it's air or something. I mean, the movement mechanics alone, right? They're a little wanky, sure, but they're consistent. I don't know how much that counts for. Lil Wanky would be a good side character. <laughs> Your rapper name. Lil Wanky. I would I would never want to wrap up my Lil Wanky. Uh In the newest Boba Fett episode, Boba claims the Tuscans rescued him and took him in. Guess he forgot about the enslavement and beatings part of the story. Guess he yeah, I mean, if, do you guys really need to watch our coverage if like you're just going to guess all the commentary like <laughs> <laughs> They've been trained well, Jay. They know the answers. We don't even need- they don't need us anymore, but I'm pretty sure they'll enjoy it anyway. It's bad. Uh, it's very bad. I remember being a kid growing up with the PT, then watching the OT, and my first question to my father was, Why does everything look so old and shitty? Oh, Did he beat you? I hope he <laughs> beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Some- Children deserve to be beaten. That's just how it works. Cycle of life. It's like the slime eating, you know? Also, not gonna lie, knowing Mola has tentacles just makes things weird now. What things does it make weird? I don't think it makes anything weird. Fine. Things can have tentacles. Things can? Alright. Please tear into the channel Movie Shortens. It's literally Blinkist, but movies. I think there are a few channels like them. Ew. What is that, but movies? I'm assuming they just, they like summarize movies. You can watch them without, you know, like what, like crush movies into 10 scenes or something. What channel was this? It was described as Movie Shortens. Oh, I mean, that, that basically does what it says in the tin, doesn't it? Yeah. Someone said he was in OG Battlefront 2. Yeah, he was the narrator. He was a clone voice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, by the time I figured you all figured it out, I already sent the super chat. Mold man. Actually, are you bald, Mola? No. I've still got a full head. But... Oh, well, that's good. I, um... I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't really mind that much uh, if I went bald. I'm not. I'm not really that. I do like having hair. It's neat. I um, like having eyes. Ooh, I'm big on with. Yeah, eyes are cool. I do like eyes. They are pretty great. Uh. Of all of like my body parts, I think hair is the one that I'm least attached to. Um. Trying to think of, I was about to say skin. <laughs> like, but... No, I think I'm pretty attached. I'd rather to skin, lose but... my hair than my skin. Well, it just depends, right? How much of a skin are we talking here? Like, <laughs> lose I feel a like bits. I'd rather lose all my hair than any sizable portion of my skin. I mean, like, yeah. if, I, if I lost like a millimeter of skin, I guess I'd rather that <laughs> than lose all my hair, right? Yeah. <clears throat> As long as we're clear on that. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, hey, Dumbos, play Doki Doki Literature Dildo Club. Uh, also, hi, Rags and Jay. Hi. Oh, my partner really wants me to play that. Do it. Which I probably will at some point. Do it. Now. One of my favorite quotes from a bad video essay is, research is really subjective. You put that in text on the screen. What does that mean? Research is subjective. I, I don't even know what that means, though, when, yeah, when what, you say research. What does the that mean? Research, the research itself? Your interpretation of the research? Because, like, you know, there are aspects of, like, finding stuff out that is subject. Like, you know, everyone interprets information in, in their ways. Like, you can always add subjective stuff on top of the objective information. But, like, at that point, at the point, like, research is subjective, just everything is subjective. You're one of those people who believes that. And it's like, that's cool. That's a cool philosophy, but it's not really a practical one that you use yeah, in your but go, life. Yeah, it's, that's great. <laughs> go away. Yeah. That's a great philosophy. Can you do it somewhere else? <laughs> oh. They're going to write a book, and it'll be really popular, and that'll show you. Okay, silence. You were defeated. I feel I've said my piece. Are there any more pieces? Uh, there are six. Can I make the jigsaw yet? You can make whatever fucking jigsaws you like. I'm not the jigsaw boss. I haven't even seen Saw. You're right. I don't really, I don't really vibe with that kind of movie, personally. Wow. Me neither. That movie vibes with you, bro. Well, that's cool for it. I think so too. It's fucking great for Saw. Hi, Rags. Kick J. No Fringy. Hello. Damn. Oh god, Boba and Tusken Raiders honestly looks like Boba has Stockholm Syndrome. And yes, I was beaten. It made me the damaged man I am today. Nice. Yeah, I think Boba really wanted to fuck a Tusken guy. I think that's what it was. He didn't get his chance. Yeah, Boba was just looking for that, that sand pussy. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if what they look like underneath there. And yeah, they probably are really gritty. And he was close to getting oh, there's that. There's probably some like media explaining it. what they look like under there, right? I'm sure there's something. Yeah, probably. Uh, where did this quib business come in again? Mass Effect? Lol, remember to be proud of the ship. Quib quib, rags. Yeah, the quib quib is a ship in Mass Effect that one of the... Yeah, one of the Quarians is captain of the quib quib. Noise. Does most of the general public know demons exist and encounter them in... Uh... Well... <laughs> uh... That will be discussed at a later point. Don't worry about that. I'm sorry, demons? Mm -hmm. Demons don't exist, Molly, you fucking moron. See, I haven't yet what? told Rags and Jay about the demons. Uh, they know about the whole imagination thing. I mean, the, the hallucination thing, but they don't know about the demon stuff yet. I'm so confused. The fuck you talking about? I'm so confused. Don't worry, Fringy and me know exactly what we're talking about, so it's fine. And that's all I that see. matters. That's all that matters. Uh, found you a great animal to check out today. Short-nosed unicorn fish. Oh, that sounds fucking great. Short-nosed right unicorn now. fish. That is an interesting... <laughs> yeah. It's interesting to me there's no space between... <laughs> The three unicorn fish. Funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, saw, I saw it in the middle of my sentence. Oh, that's a funny creature. I could just picture being like, yeah, go ahead and laugh. <laughs> the second you see him. I, I picture him being I, I picture him in I picture him being more like, mm, yeah, go ahead and laugh. Yeah, he's definitely got that kind of voice. Yeah, I didn't I didn't choose this nose, guys. God cursed me. He's so he great. I pain. love him. Um, he was trying to defend why the material of a channel he liked was actually well researched by saying research in general was subjective. Oh. Oh. Who said that? No, uh, the the same guy who apparently said research is subjective. That the the, the they were saying that's oh, why. Oh, that's he did. why he did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's not good. 
when you just say it's all subjective to defend something you love. That's not good. I'm three hours behind. No matter what you're watching or plan to watch, Cobra Kai is better. I'm almost 100 billion percent certain of that. With everything I've heard sure. about that show. Yeah, I've heard it's good. Sure it is. Um, but you see, the thing is, we're watching Boba Fett, all right? We're going to get through those yep. seven episodes. We are going to talk about them. Then, is Kenobi next? Um, well, I mean, we're going to be watching, I guess, Moon Knight before that. But then I think oh, I'm at Star Wars. I think Boba Fett's next. Uh, Boba Fett's next? Uh, no, sorry, uh, Kenobi. Hmm. And that one I will be, um... Yeah. I, I don't know what word to put, uh, I will, I'm... Just, I will be keeping an eye on that one. For sure. Boba Fett is someone that... The prospect of destroying him, I'm like, that's annoying. But... Obi-Wan Kenobi? Yeah. It's like, hmm... Mm. That's rude. He got through all three prequel movies without being destroyed. Yeah, he just suffers from general stupidity like everyone else does. Yeah, it's not the worst thing ever. Uh, yeah, it's not terrible. It's not really character stuff, it's just you're dumb. But everyone's dumb, so that's fine, I guess, in a weird way. <laughs> My boy Kenobi. Yeah, Bo but he's not hes not as dumb as Boba is in the new stuff. Correct, no. I don't think. Yeah. Boba Neither is this one's most crazy. people. Maybe my arm is in Sarlacc pale. Let me go have a look. <laughs> it's like, new Boba is genuinely, like, too dumb to function, like, in, in life. Sad, but true. Like, he go, he's like, oh, I need to put on my clothes this morning. Oh, I'm gonna go down the Sarlacc pit. Because I'm pretty sure I left them there. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's it. I think I left my armor in the Sarlacc pit. I got you. It's, what are you I'm talking gonna, about? Gonna, yeah, looks. Yeah. What are you, are you fucking okay there? Oh no, I left my toothbrush in the <laughs> Death Star. Oh no, they blew it up. I'll have to check everywhere. Oh, I have to check all these exploded particles in space. Before. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I can put it together I'll again. I'll reassemble it. We have the technology. Boba, just yeah. buy a new one. No, that's no. not honorable. It won't be the same one. I grew up surrounded by toothbrushes. I know them better than any. And this one is super duper special. I'm three hours behind. Oh wait, that's the Cobra Kai one. Jay, please don't play DDLC by yourself. Do it with these three Dumbos, or these Dumbos, whenever they get around to doing an EFAB gaming on it in four years. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do both. Whoa. Instead of that. Wow. Intense, bro. Uh, best posh British accent. Ah, yes. I don't know. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Sorry, I don't know. Yes, right. Indeed. I indubitably. Sporting. I find Fantastic. that it's easier to oh, imitate charming. an accent that you've experienced more than other ones. Cheerio. That just I think, I think it follows. I don't know. Yeah. It only follows. It just we follows that that would that. be easier. It seems to me. Damn, damn, damn. Damn. Oh, darn. Drats. Lost it all. Lost it all. Yeah! That's how. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's Australian, are. yeah. Yeah, that's Australian. Bring you like that. Yeah, that's the I'll voice of your Australian people. Australian accent. Yeah. Dude, I fucking love the bug in this game where uh, the AI will just shoot corpses instead of you. Nice. Like a Double fucking, tap. fucking Dude, huge um, squad of enemies all just crowding around and shooting a corpse when I'm right there just picking them off. You've been playing funny Battlefront 2, right? Yeah. The uh, on Naboo, there's just like I can't remember which side of the map you have to be starting on or whatever, but like there's there's a one of the areas of the map like. Fucking 50 soldiers can get just caught in and just run around in circles. Oh, that's great. Um... Battlefront 1 doesn't have any of these problems. Wow. Are you sure? Are you sure? Um, also, the AI in this game is, I think, distinctly worse than Battlefront 1. I, I'm pretty sure it's not the case 2? in Battlefront 1. In Battlefront uh, 2, the AI is retarded. Well, like, so... The, the uh, AI always prioritizes manning turrets over everything else. 
So you can literally be in the middle of a gun battle, and if a turret becomes available, the guy will just turn around and walk over to the turret as you're shooting him in the back. Um, I believe you. This is a great way to farm as well. Count Dooku on Geonosis, just you stand on the um the AT whatever T uh and people keep climbing into the turret and you can just kill them and it gets you loads of your health back. Good yeah, that genuinely. The, I think that unfortunately the nature of how important AI are in that game mean that the really bad AI in that game are legitimately quite a problem. Oh yeah. No yeah. Um but like it's fun in a mindless sense, but objectively there is a lot of issues with that game. Yeah, as, like if, in, in regards to the AI, if you and a lot of these issues serious, don't exist uh, in Battlefront One. If you and I had have a serious fight on that game, I think we'd both be pissed because our teams are useless. Or yeah. sometimes they're absurdly good, like and they'll they'll just crush the other side, and it's like, oh okay. Yeah, I I, I have been playing, and sometimes it's like, oh, I guess we're losing this one. Um, okay. Well, oh, I guess we're winning now? Sure. It is very strange, um, but it pretty much is you trying to carry an entire team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which can be fun, because it's that's, just like that's God That's your mode, experience in a lot in of a shooters, though, isn't it, Rags? <laughs> uh, sometimes it certainly feels that way, but um, if, if you had... I... Uh, that game needs work. It's fun, but it's not like objectively solidly designed good fun. Like, don't I, even I, get me started on balance in terms of the award rifles and things of that nature. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, Which Jesus. rifles? The award. The, so, you kill, for instance, kill streak, point if, streaks and kill streaks will get you better rifles and shit, and then you become yeah. like unstoppable. Yeah. Oh, so the yeah, 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 the award are, assault yeah, rifle crazy. shoots the burst of like the purple burst, and it's just yeah. insanely it, accurate and deadly. I was wondering why my gun was suddenly getting better halfway through. <laughs> yeah, you get the um, you get frenzy. I think uh, it's not just frenzy. You get you get different medals, and when you get them enough times, you and it gets easier and easier as you go. You start to acquire bonuses, and those bonuses then become permanent once you get the medals enough times. So you will spawn in with the award rifle, uh, and it is just it will. It's insanely powerful. It is shockingly accurate. It absolutely decimates anything in front of you. It's like every time you pull the trigger, something dies. And it's just nasty. Yeah. The old games definitely had a lot of issues. Um, I, I do... I'm, I'm, I'm becoming of the increasing opinion that the first one is the more solid game. Yeah, it very well might be the case. I, I just can't remember them that much. Well, it's just, it's just a, a very unpopular opinion. Is is it? It? Like whenever I tell people and play, it, it does seem to be. Whenever I tell people, oh yeah, I play Battlefront One, people are like, why one? Why aren't you playing the second one? It's way better. Like that's, that's like, that's just the default response I expect when I tell people I'm playing the first one. Interesting. I know it's unpopular to say that either of them are, are bad, but I, I thought a lot of people thought the first one was better than the second one. Well, may, maybe I just haven't experienced those people. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think the first one is a much more solid game. <clears throat> Basically, what I want is I want the first Battlefront, but with all the content from the second. Yeah, I think that's that might be what people sort of remember. Um, Kenobi, more like bend over be. I don't understand. And die with decency. It's, I, I'd love it if it was uh, canon that Kenobi's first name was just Ken. His name was Kenobi. I'd like that. That'd be funny. I wouldn't like. That's the, that's the con contribution contribution Disney should make to the law. Kenneth Ob. Ob are his initials. It's, it's like second and third initials. He's just Ken Ob. Hmm. Um. Look how they masked the other boys. Honestly, how do you fuck up Boba just for consideration? Or JF, what does JFC mean? Is it just? I don't just know. fucking I don't know. come. I, I don't know. Also Australian Boba? Oh, why not? Yeah. Uh, play Gary's mode. Froggy, their thoughts on... I think they mean Nietzsche and F-U-J. 
Oh. Uh, I don't know what those last. Oh. Oh, <laughs> the act. Right, okay. Uh, Nietzsche's interesting, but I don't know that I'm the person to ask if you want really meaningful insight. I haven't read enough of his stuff. Hmm. There you go. And uh, as we're playing Gary's mod, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe someday. Just found out Tonald unlisted his cooking videos. Sad clown boy noises. Really? Why? why? But those were why would he ever do that? I'm legitimately... Why? Those were great. It's like the best thing he's ever done. <laughs> I spawned at the wrong hangar. I spawned at the opponent's hangar. I don't know. Is that a feature? Is that... Is that something that happens on purpose? Or was that just a bug where I spawned in the wrong place? But yeah, Tonald unlisted... What? what? I'm so I... sad. But those Does anyone have links to them great. so I can rewatch them? Uh, wait, Jay, you're talking about Space Battle? Yeah. Yeah, have you got one of your main capital ships in the hangar? I have, is that it? Does that let you spawn in there? Yep. Oh, cool, that's that's neat, I guess. It's a great way to fuck them up. But yeah, that's sad. His videos on cooking were really fun and good. That is legitimately... I have no idea why he would do that. I'm gonna ask him. Uh, that was a good rat. Hopefully that uh, changes and he makes more. Hell yeah. To previous Super Chatter, nope, Arcane's better than Cobra Kai. Speaking of, Jay, your EFAP face reveal has Mola looking like a guy from Arcane's Dishonored games. He does! I thought that. You're right. The whole art style definitely is like the uh, Dishonored. Yeah. Uh, art style, which is a really cool style. Mola, particularly, you look like a member of the guard in that. Sweet. Uh, by the time you massives finish all the media out there, you will all be converted into AI units making the beep boop noises, pleasing the robot masses. It's definitely a possibility. Just plug us into a piece of media and then we go. Bad. And they're like, oh. All good. Oh, we're talking about 05 Battlefront 2? Oh boy, such memories. Yeah, I've got very good memories of that game. Good times back in the day. Very fun mm -hmm. as well for being a fan of the prequel movies, which I was. I was, yeah. Was? Wow. I mean, I kind of still am. I yeah. still kind of am, yeah. Like, they're bad, but I like them. Oh yeah, same. I'm a fan of them. So they're bad, but in like they're not ways they're not that are less insulting, insulting than yeah yeah. Like they're trying. They're doing they have, their they best. They have ideas. They have ideas. You know, look at them. Look at those ideas. Uh, if you're used to like the OT as your standard, you might feel that yeah, those movies are insulting. But we we're used to a much lower standard than that now. What I find weird about this game is that the rebels use um in the space battles they use the um the clone gunships. Yeah, I think that's because they just they didn't make them... them. It always felt to me that it was just like I guess they ran out of time. I don't know. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure that that does not match at all. Um. Oh God, the award rifle is. Stupid OP. I remember when I got it enough times to spawn in with the award rifle. Balance was never considered. No, it wasn't. It's not like, here's an option. It's like, no, this is the better gun. Yeah. Uh, Mando is five years post Return of the Jedi, so either Boba was with the Tuscans for years, or he roasted the desert, or roamed the desert for years until finding Fennec. I don't like either of those options. Mm. What a schnitzel world we're in. Also, we are at four and a half hours. I don't know. Do you guys want to keep going or, or nay? I can go, yeah, but... Time to progress. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, what? How's, how have we gone in terms of progress? Well, we're fully up to date with today's, and we knocked out the Streamlabs and the Boba Fett ones, but we're still chugging away on everything else. Uh, well, I mean, I got time, but I mean, I could, I could, I could do with You do with what? I, 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 like, I'm, I'm okay to stop. 
I can continue if you'd like, but if you would like to stop, I can also do that too. I do not feel strongly either way, but here I am. If I, I am need, also capable of stopping. I th I, th I think it's probably a, a th we should probably. Well, end yeah, you combine five, that with yeah. how long we've uh, we did the Boba Fett as well. It's uh, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, uh, Batman movie thoughts just came in. Uh, it ain't out yet. Trailer look neat. We'll have to see. Yeah. And, uh, I remember when I had to sneak into my brother's room just to play BF2. All I remember doing was crashing spaceships because my tism brain. Good <laughs> times, good times. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll probably stop there then. Uh, What's everyone up to? What, are you, what stuff you got going on? What stuff do you want to talk about? Go nuts. Well, I mean, um, um, actually, this is this might be actually important. I hey. just as you were no 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 though, seriously though. Um, so right right as you guys were saying that, I got a message from someone saying um, if just say if anybody anybody sends you a link in discord do not click it um or just out just like and le like because someone just said um so a friend of mine who i hadn't talked with in a while sent me a message that said for you bro smiley face and then a discord a, a seeming discord link for you've been gifted a subscription Discord has gifted you Nitro for one month, and it pops up as a Discord thing, and it looks... Here, I'll even show you what it looks like. I'll cut out the name, but this is what it looks like. Yeah? And then instantly, he said, don't click that, don't, in caps. He's saying the hack is going around, they got my account, so please be very careful of any link that anyone sends you in discord yeah be very just be very very wary of it um if anyone wants you to play their game don't fucking do it if anybody like no just be very very suspicious because there's a lot of these discord hacks and bad links that get sent around and um if i was idle-minded i could have legitimately clicked that so Just making sure everyone's aware. Yeah, fair enough. What were you saying, well, uh, Jay? I've got a new episode of R up. That's that's now available for your viewing pleasure. We've got Frongo in it. <gasps> if you want to catch some more of myself and Frongo, head over to R. That's two A's followed by three H's. That's the name of the channel. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ah. Oh. Do not, so said, do not go to jcum.yum. <laughs> no, the virus. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how right. people know about R or not. The, but that's will show that uh, Fringy's often on. And if you like yeah. that guy, then uh, you know, give it the old Chakaruni. That's its own channel called R, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Go and I... go and look see. Molly, you're gonna be on the scene. Oh my god. Terrifying. We have, I have already informed you of this. What? Terrifying. Yeah. Uh, I made a cartoon about a guy called Mr. Milkshake. It's, uh, he goes on a whimsical day out, all right? I promise. I mean, uh, that would work better if we hadn't already talked about the, that, the ending of that cartoon in this stream. Uh, oh, true, but I mean, there are people who probably haven't seen it, so I figure it's probably worthwhile. They want to check it out. I recommend it. Hopefully there'll be more of those soon. Also, relaunch Cosmoronic episode one uh, is going up tomorrow, so make sure you go. A, a link, do not trust. Oh, right, don't worry. All right. <laughs> That's, you can just look him up. Mr. Milkshake. Cosmoronic, go check it out. New episode is up tomorrow. I'm going to do one per week over on me live stream. Uh, and otherwise, I'm just chipping away at some projects. Awesome. What about you, Rungo? All right. Well, myself, <laughs> I, right. I'm 
I'm still working away on a big video. I'm still, you can still catch me. I got, I got open bar tomorrow. We'll be talking about all kinds of things. And uh, you, you'll you find me on Real Babissa. And of course, EFAP on Saturdays. And the Boba Met, Boba Met, I need to go to sleep, I think. Boba Fett Mini. Boba uh, Fett. Will be cooming. Myself and Frongo are gonna, gonna tackle that big boy. Yeah. Um, and then and once I'm done with that, I can get back to my big Chungus project as well. It has been a bizarre working schedule since Boba Fett started up. Uh, well, yeah, three days of the week are kind of reserved now mm -hmm. for that. Yeah, uh, can't wait for the things to happen, whatever they may be. Um, anything yeah, else I'm excited. Anything else you guys want to say? Before? Nah, I guess not really. We've been talking. That's all I got. Okie dokie um, then. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for the donations. Thanks for keeping us company. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Goodbye, bye, everybody. Bye-bye.